Hello, chat. Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Happy Monday. I think it's Monday, right? Yeah, it's a Monday. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, chat. We're back. It's my birthday. Hey, Taylor. Happy birthday. Hope it's a great day. Hope it's the be actually. Hope it's the best day ever on Earth. Uh, Miyagi, thanks for the 39 months of tier two. Good morning, chat. Good morning. Dual Dan, thanks for 300 bits. Appreciate it. Yeah, chat, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit later than usual. Um, I need sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. In the past, like, three days, I have streamed for pretty darn close to 30 hours. So I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little E.P. Jones, but we're good. Dr. Derp, thanks for giving a sub. NL6, thanks for giving a sub as well. A Goldfish Anxiety, thanks for giving 10 subs. Chat, if you could give this sub, please say. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very, very kind gamers. Welcome in. I know I have push-ups too. I know. So, last night, chat, if you remember, at the end of stream, I did a little bit of walking. Big man walking with wife. And I would, I'm happy to announce that to my knowledge, because I did a little bit of swapping, off stream, I checked uh, before before I went to bed, and then this morning, and I'm not gonna lie, to you chat, Dang. pretty much everything is purified, which is really sick and really helpful. I think there's all but like two or three that are not fully ready to be purified. So we're gonna start stream just doing that, and so we'll have a whole arsenal of Pokemon that we can use for like the rest of the game. Uh, which is about half of the entire dex, which is huge for one day, I would like to think. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm Sherry, thank you for the two months of Prime. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna do 10 push-ups, and then we're gonna move on. We're gonna get to it. Feel free, to feel, feel free to join along. Or don't, I don't care. The clap push up. <laughs> no, that was really good. That was really, it was really sick. Anyways, come along, chat. Let's see, let's see how we've been doing over, over the evening. Still here, huh? Okay, well. We're here. <laughs> how long has it been since I streamed? Well, like 16 hours, right? Ish. 13, 14, it might be 14 hours. 14 hours. <laughs> okay, so it's been about 14 hours. We've been walking, and um, let's just see how that worked out. I did a little bit of swapping off stream, and I think pretty much everything's purified, which is gonna be a huge time save in the long run. So we go to my Pokemon. These are the three that I didn't finish. I think Makuita is good. These I know are done. We'll see a Furret and Remoraid in the, I think it was like two, or maybe it was like an hour. I swapped it about an hour ago. Yeah, it's not done. Remoraid, almost done. Makuita, Meditite, and Sudowoodo, and Yanma are all completed. But it doesn't stop there. Let's go this way. We go into the PC. I'll show you the collection of guys that we now have. <clears throat> so, obviously, you know that these ones are purified. I didn't purify anything off stream. We have no other Pokemon. Those are all the boxes. Largest one, most important one, Suicune is fully purified. Which is huge because they take forever. As well as literally 
every other Pokemon. All of them are purified, ready to go, so we can go and take them to the shrine right now and get that taken care of, which is going to be very advantageous. It might take a while, just letting you know. <laughs> Anyways. And I do believe that my Japanese Coliseum should come in today, I think. Let me actually check on that. Third gen best general. <laughs> Did you put a period at the end of gen? No, it just said general. Okay. Let me see where that is. I think I can track it. Tracking. Out for delivery today. Cool. So I'll have it tomorrow. I guess I'll- I can start it tonight, I guess. Flute. Huge. And here's one other really important thing, because as you know, we have to get Raikou at some point, and we do have to purify that. While I can still do the same method that I just did, I also do get one more time flute before I'm done with the entire story. There is one more on top of Mount Battle, but there's no point because we'll have everything purified by then anyways. So, this is still really good. We should be able to get the rest of these relatively quickly. Nah. Not sure if you know about this, but there's something called a cologne case that you can get in a gate city, mm. and you can buy cologne to use on Pokemon, and they can help them unlock their heart faster. Yeah, I do know about that. Um, we'll just have to figure that out for Raikou. Uh, you don't really need a name. You don't. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 300 bits. But the goal today is to finish the storyline, which I would like to think is feasible. I think we can make it happen. By the way, this is a huge one because it's not an emerald. So this is a great find, even though we have to get all the Pokemon. But What's the Japanese copy of Coliseum for? Celebi. Not only do I have to basically 100% this game, I have to 100% the Coliseum version as well. I will not be doing that on stream. Because you have already watched all of this, and just the only difference is that I'm doing it in Japanese. <laughs> so, it's kind of not very entertaining. How are you going to get Mew? Mew's an emerald. <clears throat> it is in Emerald. Oh, and my capture card shows up today, too. Why not just play the Japanese version? Um, that is a great point. A hundred percent. I think that is a worse streaming experience. If I have no idea, especially when, like, I'm- it's pretty foggy, this game. In my head. When I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what I'm reading. It would probably be a little bit of a mess. Do I want to play it twice? Absolutely not. I'm having fun now. But when I'm going to have fun when I'm playing on my own? Not really. That's okay. It is what it is. Okay, I think I have like, what, seven? Seven-ish more that I need to? Is that Japanese Emerald only? English copy of the games, but I will be using a Japanese copy. Yes. The event was Japan, Japan only. Oh, I'm beyond prepared, chat. I'm ready to go, ready to game, ready to ball, ready to play. Oh, I have six. Okay. Cool. I didn't even see the nature on Suicune. Was it good? Impish. 
No, that's got to be good if you really think about it. Did I get Jirachi? No. And you know what I realized is I could have got Jirachi a long time ago because I realized something last night. <laughs> I could have had it in my playthrough of Emerald. Not that it would have really made a difference at the end of the day, but um, so here's the thing. They have a cable. The way that it works is you have to connect the, the GBA to your GameCube or Wii, right? And this is the cable. Right? Seems, you know, GameCube, Wii, GameCube. It, it makes sense, right? Or Game, Game Boy, GameCube. Either way, the cable works, right? That's the process. There's one small issue <laughs> with that logic. It, uh, it has some prongs on the end. And so it only goes in part way, so I can't record it. And that was the whole point of why I waited. You may be saying, John, those pins aren't important. Why don't you just bend them? Well, in the hypothetical scenario that I do bend them, this device, this thick thing, still covers up the port <laughs> that goes into the back of the dock. So no matter what, I can't record it. But that's okay. And is okay, I can just hold it up here and be like, hey guys, wait, no, I can't. I had to use my Game Boy Advance. It's only compatible with the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it should have been on the side. Surely they had a reason. What Pokemon can you only get from Coliseum? It's a pretty fat list. Celebi, Jirachi are the most notable ones. Um, Convenience-wise, the Johto starters. It's not not. It's not exclusive. Good luck on Coliseum, Mr. Jonathan Stonian. Chief, thanks for the two months. Thank you. Um, Metatite. Lunatone. Maybe that's XD. Ho uh, no, Ho-Oh -Oh is also an emerald. Lugia is also an emerald. Technically. <laughs> Technically not. I'm not doing the events though. I'm only doing the events that I have to do because there's no other option. Do third party GBA link cables exist? If so, how, how are they? They're good. I have one. Um, you know what I guess I could do? Hold on. Because I'm already past getting Jirachi, so let me just see if they have one on Amazon. Game Boy to GameCube link cable. <laughs> you know, chat, actually, I have an idea. I have a small, small idea. I'm gonna order another one. But what I could do, because realistically, right? What is the point of this cable? Like this part right here with the prongs. It's to hold it in, right? What if I just unscrewed it? I don't think really- if I buy another one, it shows up tomorrow. Worst case... You know, I broke it. Oops. It's a $10 cable. I think I'll, su I'll survive. We'll try that once the uh, once capture card comes in. Cool. Alright, well another one's coming tomorrow. So in the event that I break it today, it's a good bit. Where do you get my copy of Coliseum? Um, GameStop, believe it or not. 2020, I bought it. Slug. Rhythm of Silence, thanks for the Prime. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Coliseum. No, that was XD. It was XD and the Coliseum bonus disc I bought from GameStop in 2020. <clears throat> But regardless, I did buy Coliseum from GameStop. Um, yeah, they did come uh, disc only, which sucked. So I bought the the cases for them. Hmm. 
Good name for this one. Finch. Alright, one more and then I think we're good. You know you can shiny hunt shot Pokemon? Yep. Two more. I do, I do. I will not be doing that. <laughs> It is cool though, because some of the some of the Pokemon in this game have different shinies than the regular games. Like um Rattata. I know that's a pretty bland example, but Rattata, even though you can't hunt it in the game, if you transfer it into this game, it's a different shiny color. There's like a whole list of them, but Stadium shiny models, yeah. Are there any Gen 3 ones that are, that are different though? Voltorb, isn't that, is it green? Goes from blue to green. Something like that. Or purple, I don't know. Okay, let's go this way. And so if you weren't following along yesterday, we ended with getting Suicune, which is in the under, and now we're going to the under subway. So. We're making good progress. I think yesterday we definitely cooked. We're, what was I live for? Eight hours? Just short of eight hours? Something like that. Uh, don't need you. Add Entei. No Slugma. Am I going to transfer up to Emerald today? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to do that once I finish Mount Battle. Boingo, for sure. Place you with Flutterman. And actually, I'm gonna add Ledian because Ledian is level 40. Hmm. Yeah. Oh right, I have Florida Man. But I do also have Suicune. Okay, either way. Oh, also. In case of an event. By the way, as you can see. <laughs> I did literally leave it on all night. We have come a full calendar day. There's now a gift of the clap push up. Oh my god. I can add on 7 TV. What were the other two shot poke one? Don't worry about it. It's fine. The under. Get ready for great music, everybody! Oh, boy, boy, I love this music here. It's good. So, what we can do is we can go this... Who's in my lead? Both the... And I want to, I had to insert the right disc, I think. I saw there was a shortcut I can do. Where I, where I can go to a healing station, which is um, nice. I just don't know where that is, but I read up on it. I did, I did a little reading, a little reading this morning. Is it this door? Oh, yeah, okay, that makes way more sense. Gotcha, okay. That thing's, makes things way more convenient. So, now we have to go through this. Oh, that's right! And so, she was climbing into here, and now we have to go through a whole gauntlet of trainers, I believe, and that's why I was like, nah, I'm good. Let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> Bro cracked out the Prima guide. Wait! Wait! Oh, wait, I don't actually have it. I don't have it, but I do have a really pristine 
Pokemon XD. Look at that. That's like brand new, is it not? I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a poster or something. Oh yeah, it does. It literally has the poster. This thing is uh, like on top. All right. That was in Pokemon XD. Okay. I really don't want to fire. I have to heal so much. Yeah, I don't think I have Emerald, which sucks because that's like you know obviously the, the cool one to have. I guess I could buy it, but... <sighs> Splat. What a great name for that. <laughs> mm, is it working? Oh, it needs to get approved. Oh! Shadow Pokemon. I didn't even know that. Okay. Oh, wait! I didn't know that! No! No! Okay, we're good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you ate that, but you did. That's a cute little animation. Um, swap into Boingo. Doing a little catch rate calcs. 23% ish. But with Boingo, it should be way higher. Yeah, I'm still, it's gonna be a while before that gets approved, to be honest with you. Because Bone Zone, the one that I did, is still not approved. It's approved only because it's my channel. Um. Yeah, cuz I it when I'm looking at my chat like that's in my OBS, it doesn't show up because it's not me logged in, I guess in a way. But if I go on to the actual Twitch website, I'm the spooky bone man. Yeah, that's true. It's a huge spoiler for today. Yeah, all right. Teddy. How far in the game would you say you are? Okay, so yesterday I thought I was like halfway. Chad said that's not even close, so I'll leave Chad up to answering that. <laughs> We're a decent chunk through the game. For sure. Because there is a lot of post game that I have to do at some point, so that will take a bit. Did I play this game as a kid? Yeah, and that's like my, the extent of my knowledge, truly. I genuinely think the last time I played this game was for the Ribbon Master video, and that was what, 20, 2019, 2018. So. Unfortunately, that is a very long time ago. <laughs> the 
The mount battle stuff I can do a little bit off stream too. I get through like the first 50 that way it's it's like a lot more enjoyable to watch. Weird Pokemon Battle Revolution bootleg skeptical. True. Kappa, thanks for the seven months. JK, thanks for the 19. Ryan, uh, is it Ryan? No. Vanward. Thanks for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes. If you're mean to me, I'm gonna cry. Okay? <laughs> what, what is this dialogue? What am I supposed to say to this? Yes or no? Yes or no? No? But I want to cry. Okay, well, th then suck it up! What's this little boy and girl doing all the way down here? Gaming. That's what. Likes. Chat, tell me your favorite, what you likes the most about this game. Um, I'm actually just gonna heal. Fire Blast Gloom. The music is pretty banger. I'll be for one, one outlier. She'd be walking. What's the video? Whole Pokedex. The whole thing. Rosalia is so sassy in this game. Am I gonna do an uninterrupted 100 battle mount battle? I mean, I have to to get ho oh, but I don't know if I'm gonna do all of it on stream. Number two of the day! Get a Stantler. Ooh, Intimidate actually might be clutch for later. What level is this? Forty-three? That's my. It would be my highest level. What? If I have full health it right now, it's a 10% chance. I'm a gamer. Through and through. One time is all I need. Rats! It's already been 30 minutes. Oh my god. I've done nothing. Dead. Boingo, save the day, please. Yeah, I'll definitely add this to the team, because having Intimidate is going to be lethal. I would imagine, at least.
Okay. This should just catch. I, I can't imagine it wouldn't. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do push-ups, and if I don't catch it, if I if I don't finish my push-ups by the time that it's caught, I blow up. What is it by the time I catch it? What's your catch rate? You're asleep? Oh, it's a 50-50. Oh, it's a coin flow. I thought it'd be way higher than that. Okay. I'll get it, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not doing more push-ups though. <laughs> what? Do you get knocked out? No, okay. Okay, I'm actually kind of worried I didn't save. him. <laughs> If I lose this, I lose my other Pokemon. I had to reset. Florida man. Do you think it's been 10 turns? I counted it out. It's 50%. I think it's been more than 10. Eh, we run it. Around these parts, we run it. Oh my god, okay. That was one turn away from disaster. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I didn't even check these off. I'm goober gaming right now, that's for sure. Where, where are you in the decks? Gligar. Gligar and Stanley. Go back up. Are you still crying? If you mean to me, I'm going to cry. Well. <laughs> well, she did say she would. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> Talk to the woman, not the machine. The woman controls the machine. How fun would be a Gen 1 or Gen 2 living to XP? It would be like a weekend event. I'd be done in like two days. This is an emerald? Oh my god, you're right. Stupid, stupid, stupid! No save. I was actually testing you guys and you passed. Nice round of applause, you guys did it. You passed. Huge test today. Oh my god. Yeah, the piano is so bad. I cannot wait to leave this area. Surely the music doesn't get worse.
There are a few more shadow Pokemon I believe that we have to get here. Oh, I should have added Sandler to the team. Too late. <laughs> I love how they're all set in the exact same location. Oh yeah, there's two more. Ripped lady, once again. Giant woman is back. Do I have a spreadsheet? I do. I do, I do. I'm just not showing it. Um. Oh yeah, you have Gust. Okay. Fire Blast. I'm gonna dual slot Masquerade. I think that's just gonna be annoying to take down. Yeah, I'll release the spreadsheet once I'm done with it. I just don't like spoiling all the things that I do, but also, one thing with the subathon is that people would look at the spreadsheet and then they would analyze everything that I put down and be like, why are you getting it in this game when you could get it in this game? That happened way too often. I was like, because I want to. <laughs> John, why are you getting why are you getting Pikachu here when in this area it's five percent more? I don't know, man. I felt like it. I will say though, in on the other side of the coin, there were moments where you guys were actually really helpful. Like for example, Alamomola. Where I forget exactly where I was gonna get that, and you guys were like, oh, just go swim in Oras. I was like, oh yeah. That's a good point. I found it in like five minutes. I was gonna, oh yeah, I was gonna get it in like black two or something. I was hoping that's a Shadow Masquerade. No. Is it? I think there is one though, isn't there? Not in this game. But maybe an XD? Let me look. Yeah. It, oh, sorry. It's an Oasis Poke Spot in XD for uh, Surf Skit. I didn't do all thousand though. You have to remember those. That was pre Scarlet and Violet. Time flies. Yeah, I really don't know how the Poké Spots work, so I'm uh, curious how that's gonna go. Um, maybe I should swap. I feel like this is a. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna get knocked out anyway, so why not? I wonder why this game in XD didn't lean too heavy in the Hoenn decks. Oh, they did it on purpose. Because between uh, all the GBA games, there just were not enough of the Johto Pokemon. You had to keep in mind from when Gen 3 came out, it cut off all the access of Gens 1 and 2, so they had to compensate for that or else people were going to get really mad. Which they did. <laughs> So they said, okay, and they made two more games to fill them in. Could they have done it in one? Yes. Did they? No. I think Jota has a lot of great designs. It's probably, eh, it might be my second favorite Jennifer designs. I really don't know what my first would be, so maybe it is my first. You guys ever see that video? It came out like uh, like a year and a half ago, two years ago. It was somebody who f uh, made their own code and formula to make it so you could trade between gens 2 and 3. Super, super creative video.
Are there training stars in Emerald? Yep. Do you make a video on that? Nope. No more questions on that. No more questions on that, chat. Yeah, I like those videos. The only issue is that I'm not smart enough to know all of what happens. <laughs> There's a lot of tiny little aspects of like, yeah, we're doing this and doing this. I'm like, okay, uh-huh, mm-hmm, okay. In one ear, out the other. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna surf and then I'm going to side beam Don Sparse. Stamps are obnoxious, but think of the rewards. The rewards are actually really good. Linguini Lord, thanks for the 19 months. A little dramatic, I would like to say. A tad bit dramatic. Pile of swine. Ooh. Ooh. Another shadow. Ice Beam? This is the weirdest Don Sparse moveset I've ever seen. Uh, I'm gonna go for... Wait, do I have any other Hypnosis Pokemon? I think I do. I think I used them all. <laughs> Oops! Okay, at least it, there, yeah, it should be the only one. So now we just have Palace Wine now. I didn't even notice how much damage I dealt to the Palace Wine. That's crazy. I can go into. Oh, yeah, I don't. Boingo's gone. Okay, quick calc. Oh. Like 41%. We're fine. Why are you so bad at the game? How, how, what have I done so far that's been bad? Check this out. Boom. Pile of swine. Yeah, I think I'm just playing the game, chat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing bad. Uh, yeah, I gotta heal one more time. Wait. Oh, secret lore. Wait. Oh, what? Potions. What's this? Timer ball. Wow. That's actually going to make a big difference in the long term when you really think about it. Okay, let's go back up. And there is, spoiler, one more shadow Pokemon. Don't forget to move team members. Yeah, I'm gonna, well. Yeah, I can add Stantler to the team. Oh, excuse me. Only need him on top. Wait, Stanler can probably also learn hypnosis, right? Who was my other sleeping Pokemon? Was it Swablu? No.
Noctowl. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I just couldn't. I just kept going over it. Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm really sore from doing push ups. Can I just do curls instead? Can we meet in the middle? I'm still doing an exercise. I'm really straining myself. I just go until I can't. But, like, I'm, like, so sore in my arms. And chest, especially. Clap push ups? No. No more splats. Ten laps around your room. I feel like that's really underwhelming. This Chad, do you think my room looks big? Because I mean, I guess like when you look at it from a camera perspective, it looks like I do have a large room. It's really not big. It's it's pretty small for the most part. It's like I think the dimensions of the room are uh, eleven feet by fifteen or something like that. It's a little larger than an average room. Like a bedroom. Uh, yeah, I don't really need Mr. Evis. Ten laps would take like three minutes. Okay, chat, I'll, I'll humor that. Let me do one singular lap around my room. It needs to take me three minutes to do Just ten. Just emerald living decks myself. Good luck, smiles. Okay, I'm gonna do the full border too. Okay, so like, this is as far as the room goes. Okay, I'm touching the back wall. Wait, hold on. Any <laughs> yeah, music? Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay, you you can see, Chad. It's this is if you think. Ten runs is gonna do me three minutes. <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? So I'm gonna do hammers. I'm gonna do hammer curls. So you have regular curls. Then you have hammer curls. I can also do the sideways hammer curls, but I'm gonna do the forward ones. Ooh, feel the burn, baby! I switch to one hand at a time so I can get like a little extra break because <laughs> doing both at the same time it's still heavy. I don't know how many that was. First Poke Tour with muscles? No, I know a lot of ripped boys that I'm not one of those, by the way. <clears throat> that gets a whole. The whole part of your arm, you get a really good pump, and your arm goes large mode. Hi, radio. Alvin, thanks for the prime. Nikori, thank you for the eight months. Master QR, thanks for the two months. <sighs> also, if I do those, I'm way less sweaty than <laughs> doing push ups. Absol blogs deadlift 700 pounds. I've seen it. You know what's crazy is I've gone to the gym with Matt before. When he came down to visit, we went to the gym one time uh, with him, and this man just went and biked five miles. <laughs> he did it shockingly fast. Which I know you can bike fast, but like he wasn't kidding when he said he did five miles a day. It was like maybe 20 minutes and he was done. I was blown away. Whew, yeah, my arms feel. Look at you guys see that. They feel thick right now. Okay, I think it's the last battle here. Oh. 
All right, Sneasel. This probably will not be easy to catch. The Intimidate, though, is going to really help. Um... Yeah, I think that's good. Sneasel's still really strong. What? I know Sandler's level 43, but... You guys feel as thick as that x Loud? No, because it's a Loudred. It also gets your forearms, too. You get thick forearms. Yay, Boingo. You did it. Ew. Ooh. Wait, why does Survivor have an underbite? <laughs> Do you see that in the picture? His little tongue is sneaking out through the bottom of it. Uh, okay. Do you know what Marsh Tom looks like? So basically, it looks like, um... <gasps> no! Okay, I'm gonna throw... Oh, I have, I have a few Ox Balls, okay. is your catch rate. Oh! Yonster numb. It's not that bad, it's like 30% right now. Stanley, you did a great job. Master, thanks for the seven months. Um... Wait, how much do I do to Sneasel? Okay. Jeez, dramatic. Oh, you had another! Oh, okay. Okay, I was confused. I thought that was it. Um, well. No, you eat. Oh, you eat so well. Oh, you hit the wrong Pokemon. That happens a lot. Is it just random AI? Like, they target whatever they want? Oh, right. I see when hits both. Never mind. <laughs> nope, you're on to something. You're on to something. My bad. Okay, this should be like... Unbelievably easy to catch. Yeah. Oh! Uh, I thought you were stuck for a second. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait. I can Mega Drain this thing. I didn't even think about that. Observe. Easiest catch in the game. Never mind. <laughs> Lightly salted almonds are a top tier not. You know it's an underrated one that does not get a lot of love? Jeez. Macadamia. Ooh, love macadamia nut. Especially the cookies. There's expensive. Cause I believe that is an island nut. I've only had it like three times in my life.
Okay, I think we're done with Shadow Pokemon for right now. But knowing me, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Great, the Andes. How you doing? Water. Yeah, so that's it for the under, which is great because I'm done listening to this music. Not this music, but the other music. Yeah, Jeff Love is a little bit of a drama queen, but we, we allow it just because of how good it is. Before that horrible boy can meddle anymore, I'll link up with my Ein at with link up with Ein at the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Reading comprehensions is zero. Oh, why'd you have to chase me here? It's so unfair! This isn't good. I can't lead them to the lab. As she goes into the lab. There's gotta be some other items we can grab though, right? Oh, what's this? What do we got in here? Oh, the secret server room. Oh wait, never mind. I think that leads to them. <laughs> Hold on, I was I was gonna look outside of it. Wait, what? What? You're so easy to dupe. See, the key for the shadow liner is right here. Oh, did I do the actual right thing? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay. okay I don't know what just happened. Because this was locked, wasn't it? I assume. I don't know. Okay. Because I wanted to check this out. I want to see what was over here. Nothing. Boxes. Great. Oh. You know what I really want is Expert Belt. Anything here? No. Anything right here? No. Pushing my wife onto the tracks? Yep. There's gotta be something here though, right? No. Oh, we were supposed to go there and then... Uh, jail key. Hey, G, thanks for getting five subs. I appreciate it. One step closer to Pokemon Box. Wait. Oh. Once you just drop the key on the way out. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of an oversight, wasn't it? Don't you think? Okay. Oh, right. Can we, does it, oh, okay, 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 okay. We're good. Fastest go. Where are we now? Banger? Oh. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Yo, how's it going? Just getting off shift. Huh? Wasn't Lady Venus supposed to be coming today? I've seen your face somewhere. That's it. The blacklist! You're John and wife! How'd you get down here? This won't do. We won't let you two get into the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Goofiest walk in history. Alright, Chad, I gotta do more. Hold on. I'm gonna try and do them sideways. This is 25 pounds. I don't think I can do them sideways, but I'm gonna try and do it. This looks like a very underwhelming exercise, but it, it's really good. <laughs> okay, I guess I can do. <laughs> don't, don't see jerk while I'm doing this.
<laughs> oh my god, that's so heavy. Yeah, you guys can't swap hands. You're stuck. I'm really farming emotes this week, aren't I? <laughs> like new Johnstone emotes to add. for me to finish off <laughs> like <laughs> bro what is he doing why is he just standing there lifting weights we're like we had a whole plan we farmed the bombs nine minutes ago it's gonna be something over here right a little maze yeah one u disc okay can only imagine what that does wait up up Take that and weep, you'll never be able to chase us now. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> okay. Main gate key. Okay, does that mean I have to go back into the under? I really don't want to. I don't want to go. Cause right, I, if I look at my key items, forward, right, yeah, okay, so there's an, an up disc. Or it's short for you die disc, which that would be really bad. Surely it's not that. Oh, right, I was waiting for the elevator. Oh! Do I need the disc to go up? No? Okay. <laughs> I really thought so. Party wants to order a coffee. But it's also 12.30. So. If I made it this far in the day, I don't think I need one. Okay, let's go this way. I really need to save right this moment, but I will. Order a pizza? <laughs> no. Where's the left disc? The L disc. Okay. Uppies. Oh, uppies. Okay. Oh, time flute. Oh, okay, that's where it is. Cool, I mean, that will be helpful for later. That's when we get Raikou. We'll be able to instantly purify it. And that's really the last tough Pokemon that I need to purify. Seems like a technical nightmare. We're, we're combating, pacing with a windmill. The time flute. If you save all the time flutes and purify all the shadow Pokemon, it becomes the Azure flute and you get Shadow Arceus. Guys. Wait, I think that's real actually, now that I think about it. When you really put it all together, they're onto something. I 
I was gonna be I was I was a little dismissive at first, I'll be honest. But you know what? Math is mathin', baby. Okay, so uh yeah, I believe we have to go back here. I love she covers her ears. I can't imagine how loud that machine is. Uh, where is... Uh, team is actually looking fine. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. In here? Hey, John. Good luck today. Don't forget to use the Master Ball on rare Pokemon, like Tentacruel. I can't use it on Shadow Shiny Arceus? Oh, right! Sorry, I was looking at, at this guy and it was saying that I can go back to Agate Village, or not Agate Village, but I can go here. And it allows me to um, rebattle people, which I don't. I don't care. We're gonna go to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Thank you for the 24 months. Two years, V. We've known each other for five years. 24 months, five years. The main gate is closed. Oh, I have to use this. This is a key slot. I assume this is the main gate key, right? Good. Come on, wife. Let's go. This is my wife, by the way, chat. If you didn't know. Oh, it's on the outside? How how does this not kill me? <laughs> it looks it looks like it's deadly. Yeah, secret lore chat, this is area 51. We have broken to the government base. It's really quiet. The shutter is locked, okay. That one isn't. Easy hack. Okay. Huh. Here's the shutter switch, oh. Science. Done. What is this supposed to be? Nothing. Great. Okay, that's not a good sign. Okay, stairs. No. Oh, children's puzzle mazes. Oh no, I'm already falling for it. This is discrimination. Why do they single me out for these extra assignments? There's still packing left for the move out of this lab. Oh. Who are you? You're suspicious, therefore, you must be intruders. Kill. Kill. Chad, what are you doing on your Monday? What are the vibes this Monday? I'm actually gonna order coffee. I changed my mind. It's happening. Homework and then gaming? It's the only way. Oh wait, Sandler knows hypnosis. That's gonna be a, an enormous help, considering how high level it is. And it was strong too when I used it. We're getting Kofi. Yep. 
I always want to get a bagel from Duncan. Their bagels suck. They're so bad. But I always want one. First world problem, I know, but like... Isn't that their whole thing? It's supposed to be, we're really good at breakfast. <laughs> and they're not. Oh, I'm in hyper mode. Uh... This is dry. And here's a funny thing, for the longest time, I would have I would have Dunkin' Donuts bagels and be like, oh, they're so good. Because I lived in New Hampshire and there was like no actual bagel shops that you could go to. At least that I knew of. <laughs> and when I went to an actual, I'm like, whoa, that's what they're supposed to taste like. Okay. My mind's changed. Uh, I'll go into Florida, man. I think I'll have to do PC swapping for healing, which is kind of lame, but... It is what it is. I eat. We're good. A little targeted? No! 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 What is this turn? Okay, at least I land the surf. Torrent surf? That's gotta be dead. How's Kelsey going? Pretty great. I'm having fun. I'm in the part where I don't really know what's going on, which is nice. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised every second. I'll make you regret seeing me. See ya. Oh, wait, is that what we need? Oh, that was easy. Okay, well, let's go use that now. Oh, it's a card key. Now we can get to the lab. Real. What's down here, though? Oh, this is where they blew it up. I assume at some point this gets fixed, right? <laughs> Someday they fix it. This is a weird lab, too. Why is it? Why is there nothing? Oh, because they're moving out. Never mind. I solved the puzzle. This music is a vibe. Okay, and one more. Cool. Should be all healed. Right. <laughs> Card key. We see the return of gay rights in Gay Center. I actually have a funny story about that. This was like maybe five or six months after the subathon happened, which we didn't know. I had, um, we had a Suiku named Gay Rights, and then I believe Entei was Gay Left, and then Raikou was Gay Center, or something of that sort, right? Six months later, I got a random text from Austin John Plays at like 11 at night. And he's like, bro, I can't believe you named a Pokemon Gay Center. That's crazy. That was the only thing he said. That was the entirety of the conversation. <laughs> I forget my reply to him. It was something in the equivalent of like, yeah, man. <laughs> ah! He was just up one night watching some Johnstone videos. <laughs> And keep in mind, that bit was like, what, three seconds of the video? Frosty, thanks for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes. Ew, I don't want that. I don't want this Pokemon. 
Caught you lacking? No. Caught me being supportive, actually. Calling Sandler. <laughs> Caught me representing. The levels are going up high now. Are you feeling swagged out today? No. It'd be against John's best interest to not be an ally. <laughs> well, I also just wouldn't lie. <laughs> you know. Oh, can I? Can I surf? I don't know if I can. I think I'll gust. Oh, wait, Eevee. Is hypnosis increased in this game? Because I've been so lucky. Why couldn't you surf? Because it's rain up. I think it would knock it out. We're looking for a Coliseum. Everything. We don't necessarily need everything, but why not? Is the reason there's not a lot of ROM hack stuff on YouTube? Like for my my own uploads? Uh, because I don't care about them. I mean in the nicest way. I just don't. They have they, it has no interest to me. I know that they're great. It's not that it's not like I'm not hating on them. A palm. Oh, I don't care. I don't, you know, it doesn't. I see it, but no, it doesn't bother me. Not at all. I'm never bothered by people talking unless it's really cringe and I get uncomfortable. Why did I send Entei out? Question of the day. What was my thought process? Who knows? What do you think of a Battle Royale game in the Halo universe? I don't know if you knew this, but they were doing one. For like the past years, they were- past two years, I believe they were developing one, and they just scrapped it, like last month. <laughs> they were- they were gassing it up so much, too. They're like, yeah, it's gonna be so- we're- we're doing a Battle Royale, it's gonna be in Halo Infinite. It's really gonna change the game. They held on to that for so long. Stomp. Okay, now we're really good. They never commented on it? Oh, really? I th I swear it was in like their roadmap. Their really terrible roadmap that they've been doing. <laughs> Interesting. Either way, they've been working on it for a long time and they gave up on it, I guess. Let's see how good Stomp is. Not bad. Yeah, the game is actually good now, but it's it's too little too late. They had so much traction when the game first came out, and it would just was not great. Out of curiosity, what did um Oh, what was that space game that did so bad when it first came out? Because it was just so broken and like under delivered. You go like to the different planets. No, not Starfield. No, 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 no. No Man's Sky. Yeah, No Man's Sky. What did they do to like bring themselves back? Obviously, they fixed all the things that add all the things they promised, but like why, why did they come up from that 
and Halo didn't? Like, what was the difference? Because I think that No Man's Sky is still, like, somewhat popular, is it not? For being a pretty old game, too. Timely updates, yeah. It really does blow my mind, like, why large companies just don't hire more people. You can say that about Game Freak, you can say that about Microsoft, Sony, whatever. Why don't they just hire more people? Are their margins that bad for their video games that they just can't get more people? Because <laughs> that, that has to make, like... The better the game is, the better the game sells, no? Like, that just had, like, we've reached that point where people have got such poor games that they're, they are yearning for, like, a game that is complete and full and has a bunch of stuff to do. The better the game is, more people talk about it, right? Like, Elden Ring is a great example. People did not shut up about Elden Ring. It was, like, every hour of every day of every minute, people were talking about Elden Ring. That game sold amazing. Yeah, they communicate better as a small team. I know, but... <laughs> that doesn't really... Communication is cool. You know what's a great way to get more communication? Have more managers. You know? Like, have different sections. <laughs> and then have those managers talk to the other managers. What do I know? I'm just a silly little guy who's never worked in a corporate building. Uh, wait, which one's, which one's the one? Oh, I can't see which ones are sick. Yeah, I feel like it, it's it's uh, an old conversation, especially in my chat, to talk about Game Freak stuff, but just in general. Are, are games, like, do you guys get excited for new games every year? Because I feel like... I don't know. Nothing really, like, moves me. I know that's like heavy bias because all I do is play Pokemon and Nintendo games. But like if it's a if there is a really good I don't know. I I don't know what I want. I think I'm just like just too indecisive. Hey now, you don't need to live with you. That's what he sounds like to me. That's what all scientists sound like to me. Maybe it's because I'm just getting older. That has to be the reason. Just because I'm old and negative. Did I not heal Stantler? I swore that I put it in the PC. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that. Yeah, a big thing that I try to keep in mind. Last month you told me to believe in you and you'd be able to beat the news lock by my 40 month anniversary. Anyways, hope you're doing well. Did I really say that? I don't think, I think you've got me mixed up with someone else. 
was me. It was not me. Yeah. I think one thing to consider that if you haven't thought this way, I think it does change your view on like playing video games as an adult. Is that typically when you're a kid, you don't have hundreds of bucks every year to spend on video games. You get like some money for your birthday or like Christmas, you'll get one game, maybe two games, you know? So those games have value. So you like really, the games that you want, you really want those games. And it's also, I grew up in an age where like buying digital games was not huge. It was only until I was like in high school that buying digital games became kind of the norm, right? I know, I'm old guys. But now that I can buy games whenever, or at least I can buy, even before YouTube, I could buy games more frequently than when I could have as a kid because I had at least a little bit of money on the side. It's still not like as exciting. It's like that instant gratification. Like you just kind of, if you want it as an adult, you know, if a game is 60 bucks, you probably have close to 60 bucks to spend on it. You know, if you're anticipating for the game to come out anyways. It's a lot easier to get games on release as an adult is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I need to heal again, which is crazy that I need to do that. How big is your Steam library? I have bought in the past five years on Steam, maybe, maybe 15 games, which is a lot of games. But before that chat, I used to be a Steam summer sale maniac. I think on my Steam account, I have 300 games. That's not even an exaggeration. I think 300. And I've played maybe 50 of them collectively. Completed? Ooh, that's a different story. That is really the Steam lifestyle, is just buy games and then never play them, ever. Why would you- you bought them? Why would you- why would you play them? That's ridiculous. I wish I could mass refund my impulse Steam sale purchases. What if they have that that thing? Remember that it was last year with Fortnite where you could just re uh, refund all of your skins because they had like a a court case thing and people just started refunding everything that they had and they were getting like hundreds of dollars back. If they did that for Steam, I probably wouldn't get that much back. I probably get like fifteen hundred bucks, which sound that is a lot of money, but for three hundred games, that's not that bad. That's actually <laughs> it's a pretty good deal. I didn't heal Ente. Yeah, he's fine. Cause Steam does have really cheap games. Hello? Hi. Zeke, thanks for the 40 months. I appreciate it. No, I'll beat it next month. Don't worry. You show up at 41 months. Woo, I'm done, baby. I'm done. You think this game is worth playing? Um Yeah. It's expensive, but yeah. They should put on modern hardware? No. They shouldn't. You know why, chat? Because that makes too much sense! I mentioned this yesterday. I think it's a a conversion nightmare. Like trying to get to put these Pokemon into like Scarlet and Violet. Say you wanted to use Magneton in Scarlet and Violet. How like what would happen? Like how is the process of getting that possible? Goodbye, Suikun. Have you seen the Apple Vision Pro? 
I'm aware of it. Listen, I... Uh, VR headsets are cool. I own one. I use it sometimes. It's a fun party thing. But is that not... It's not really a VR headset. It's just kind of a headset for your life. And that feels a little dystopian. It feels super dystopian. Like, that just feels... <laughs> insane. I'm not gonna buy one. No, I have no interest. <laughs> Cause like what what realistically, what would I get done more in my day with having it? Because that's a lot of Apple's things. Are they're they're things of utility. Think of the Apple Watch. Apple Watch, you can track your calories when you're working out. You can they have like the hiking one, so you can check like altitude and stuff like that. Cool. That is applicable to my life. In what realm would I need a helmet the whole day? The only good thing is editing on the go? For a headset? You think I'm gonna edit videos on my headset? <laughs> How? Why am I getting rocked by everybody here? I know I have two water types, but like... Oh yeah, I do kind of have an electric weakness here, don't I? I have uh, four Pokemon that are weak to it. Good to know. If you're on a plane, you can connect the headset to a laptop and have an extended display. Do you work for Apple? <laughs> it sounds exactly like... That's insane, chat. That's insane. By the way, just out of curiosity, how much are they? How much is an app, like the base, the bottom, bottom. Not the best one, the bottom one. 35, okay, right. What, the, why, why would you ever spend that much on a headset? 3,500 dollars? When you make six figures, 3.5K is nothing. I think that's a really terrible mentality to have. <laughs> yeah, chat, if you have money for anything, it's nothing. But then you don't have the money. Chat, I'm gonna say something that might shock you, but I am in that demographic. I never in my life would I buy that. In no realm would I ever buy that. <laughs> I'm not rich. I promise you I'm not. I know a lot of streamers say that. I can assure you that I am not rich. I live comfortably, for sure. For my age, I do. Far from rich. I'm in severe debt. Yeah, also, chat, I, I'm going to be straight up with you. Your boy's got some debt. Because I own a home, obviously. Uh, wait, how do I see if you're healed or not? Oh, HP. <laughs> That's so silly. I just stare at the HP to determine it. Okay. 
What if you sell your home to pay off the debt? That actually is, uh, I know your meaning, but that would work. Because I bought my house for very cheap. It's actually tempting, Chad. I may consider doing that, like getting a new home. Because I would profit heavily. Student loans, I have like 10,000. Which if you, if you know US education, that's actually not bad. <laughs> Moving sucks. Chad, if I ever move again, best believe, best believe. I'm paying people to do it. Oh wait, I already did- okay, I had to go out of here. Yeah, I feel like most people who went to college have between, uh, I think it's fair to say 50 to 100,000. Not even an exaggeration, like truly. Unless you went to community college, then you probably have the same amount of debt that I have. But uh, the average person has that much. If you're going to get a PhD, you're probably in like the quarter million. Uh, oh, I have this, right. What is with people flying in this game? Can we talk about that? Oh, my food! Master's 30k, but think of the money. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really tough conversation. Is like college and debt. It's truly like. And it's, it's crazy. The hardest part about that is that you have to like make that, that mental monetary decision at like what, 16? Be like, yeah, I want to be a doctor. And you add 16 out to be like, yeah, okay, so at one point I'm going to be like 200,000 in debt. <laughs> like you are not old enough to make that like conscious decision of like, yeah, that, um, we'll figure it out. 10 years from now, we'll be good. Don't worry. I got it. Mercro. Um, yeah, because when I was younger, when I was in high school, I wanted to be an architect. What you may be saying, John, there's that's crazy. But here's the thing. Staying inside, drawing, I like art. A little bit of maths. It's like streaming if you really think about it. <laughs> Gaming. It's almost the same thing, actually. Can I catch Pokemon while they're flying in this gen? Or in this game? Because you can in Emerald. Draw something real quick? Alright, just tell me what to draw and I'll do it. Draw a Murkrow? I can do that. Just give me a second. I'll make it happen. You guys think I can't? I feel like I have the ability. I just need to pull up a picture, like a reference picture. Look. Oh, I'm gone. Oh no, I died. Just wait. I can draw this, look. So, I need... So, it's really simple. So, basically what you want to do is just do a little... Let me, let me move myself over here. Okay. What you want to do, is you want to start... It's all about circles, right? You want to start with a little, little circle right here, okay? And then you got to do the body, right? And then you got to do the legs. Legs are important. You got you got to draw all this out, right? Make sure you get the beak too. 
Wings, of course. Any other attributes that a bird has? I think that's pretty much most of it, right? Very simple. And then you start like getting really into it, start shading everything, start getting the old, the old details, right? And eventually, the more that you do it, the more it comes together. And essentially, you should, in theory, have a complete and beautiful looking Murkrow. He looks so ugly in this game. <laughs> oh, that's your only- okay, you're done, so... You are probably really hard to catch, so I'm gonna scythe. Up, oh, see ya. If you be a gym leader, what would your theme of the gym be? It'd be something, like, pretty close to this. It would be really close to that. Can I put you to sleep? Ow. Oh, it has insomnia. Well, that's not good. What's your catch rate? It's probably... Ooh. Murkrow. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be really hard to catch. It's 14%. Great. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll use a timer ball. I think it'll be good. I'm gonna throw this ball, I'll be right back. When I come back, you better be in the ball. You better be. I gotta be careful opening up this bag of Dunkins because they dox you about nine times when you're opening it. On the front, on the side, inside, on the labels. I remember drinking a coffee on stream and it was on the label of the coffee and I was like sipping it and I'm looking and I'm like... <laughs> Yep, they did it again. Time. Toby, thanks for the 10 months. Ooh, you want to be on the team so bad. Ooh, you want to be on the team so bad. You love being on the team. It worked. Mmm. Yum. Murkrow. And where is that in the decks? Okay, there we go. Cool. 
I definitely... Do I need to heal? Oh, wow. I started to believe the guy who said Coliseum was going to take 30 hours. Psh, what do they know? Probably a lot. Excuse me, sir. I don't think I need to fight you. So glad that you've been streaming a lot recently. Smile, my health is in the dirt, and I've mostly been watching the VODs later, but glad to be able to pop in today. But anyway, thanks for the 41 months. Sorry to hear that. Tier 2, by the way, as always. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry to hear that. It does get better. Let it be known. But, uh, hopefully you start feeling better. Hopefully I'm helping in some way. Just think, you could drop Pokemon, you could pop Pokemon Coliseum, find Pat, and get that Halo 3 rematch for content. I know where Pat is right now. I know where he is. He is currently on a cruise ship. <laughs> In Miami. <laughs> I know that because I was supposed to be on that cruise ship and I'm not. Oops. Yeah, that was my financial L of the year chat. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! My guy! Yeah, it was a boys' trip, and, um... <laughs> uh, we were gonna go to a basketball game, rent out an Airbnb in the in the Bahamas, and <laughs> ride on a cruise ship. Um, and uh, with flights included, I did not get refunded for any of that, and I think I spent about $1,500. <sighs> Oops! Live and learn, baby! Live and learn. Can I ask why it didn't happen? Um, half and half my own fault, the other half, dumb. Dumb, not my fault. So what ended up happening is I needed to renew my passport. Called my mom, she's like, I don't have your passport. I don't have my passport. So I'm like, okay, that's not good. So I had to get a new one. Uh, I had to go to the library. <laughs> to like sign up for one or like send out my application and so what ended up happening is I brought them my birth certificate and they said they couldn't accept it the reason why because when you submit a passport you have to have a birth certificate obviously so they know that you are who you are right there are two types of birth certificates you can get. You can get the full birth certificate. And then you have the small card birth certificate. They are both, you can look online, both legitimate forms of identification as a birth certificate. It's basically, the it's like the same size as like your social security card. It's like a little, just like a little card, right? It has all the information you need. It has the identification numbers. It's embossed, it's stamped, it's signed by the state. It's a legit form of identification. I showed it to them and they said, no, if you submit that, they probably won't accept you. And in that moment, when she said probably, I was kind of like, I don't know if you know. Because I told her, I was like, I looked it up and it said that it was of legitimate form. And she's like, she's like, no, it's not. So I don't know if she was just wrong. But what I ended up having to do is I had to submit a form with the state of New Hampshire to get a new birth certificate sent to me because I wasn't gonna fly to New Hampshire to get a birth certificate and then come home, right? That's just ridiculous. Should I have done that in hindsight? Yes, but that's not important. And the turnaround for them to send that to me um, was about oh, like two weeks, week and a half or something like that. And by the time it happened, I couldn't schedule an appointment to get a new one. So I said, all right, that's that. But I got the birth certificate now.
Because here's the thing, at the same time, it's my fault because I should have been more proactive about it, for sure. But I think that's a really stupid rule if that's actually true. The requirements are strict. All right. Well, there it is. No, we're not duplicating. Nope. No need. Ah! Okay, maybe we need to. Does that mean you have a new birthday? Yeah, as of um, February 3rd, I am now one years old. So if you want to give me some birthday primes, link your Amazon account to your Twitch account. Was this the fortress that was also used in the ribbon video? Come on, baby. Come back to me, my little ribbon rock. I missed you. Okay. Can you go to sleep? Happy late birthday. Thanks. Thanks for the sub, guys. I missed again? If you're one years old, are you allowed to be on Twitch? I don't know, are you a narc? Chat, I'm scared. Wait, this ball matches, kinda. It's destiny. Yes! Yeah! I love that little guy! Will I use it on the team? Probably not. It's not, it's not really that great. It's cute. It's cute guy. What is my team looking at right now? I'm just gonna take a little quick peek. Oh my. Yeah, chat, we are still, like, there's, like, seven more battles I have to do. What was the best year? Best year for what? How long are we streaming today? I don't know. Ten hours? Nine hours? My best year? Um... So far? That's a good question. I think my best year was probably... That's a really tough question. 2022, maybe? I feel like I accomplished a lot. I don't know. That's a good question. I think in terms, like, year by year, every year for me gets better. Last year was a really good year.
I don't know. I actually really have to think about that. Can't you quick select in boxes by pressing Y? <clears throat> you can now. All right, I got I got some lifting to do. Hello, fellow big men. It's time to do big lift. <laughs> yeah, all right. You did it! All right! <laughs> Dual Dan, thanks for gifting a sub to Happy Birthday, John. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> I know my name is ultra common. There's no way you didn't just make that account. Are the bicep curls replacing the push-ups? They are for right now because like, I am so sore from doing push-ups. <laughs> Is there anything over here? I feel like I already checked this, right? May 2013. That is when I started streaming, so I guess it does add up. Oh, my arms are so sore and stiff. <clears throat> and fat. Hi. How many more do I have to do? Oh, I think that was the last one. I tried to match your push-ups yesterday. We love to see it. We love to see it. Ariados, one more. I think there were a couple more shadows that were in this area, but we're getting close to the end. <laughs> We're just gonna double hypnosis, are you those? <laughs> Go to sleep! Bedtime! Oh! That's cruel. Input audio from the game sounds a bit distorted. Ow. I think sounds fine. Um. Hmm. Sandler's almost ready to evolve. We're not, <laughs> hello? <laughs> to be purified. <laughs> Technically that's not wrong, but it's definitely not right. Primal, thanks for giving a sub. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Bot needs emotes, real. Grovile. Interesting. Okay. Um. Shadow. No, what I'm going to do is, let me check the catch rate on this. I I can't imagine it's like ridiculous. 25. It's about 25. Mm. 30. It's about 30. So, I'm gonna throw a ball. I 
And then we're gonna swap into Entei. I will say, soon we do have another tough, tough battle. Little tedious boy. But I think it's the, it's, I think it's the last one, last tedious one, right? I think so. Uh, I'm gonna Shadow Rush, and I'm just gonna throw a ball again. Cause I think I might have one more turn with Ariados, so if I can just knock it down just a, just a teeny tiny bit, we're good. Except for Mount Battle. I did say I might stream half of it. Like, I'll get to 50 on my own. We'll see. Cool, Ariados. How, f how far are we from Raikou? Uh, we're pretty close. There's a lot of battles I have to do. Like, force ones. Let me see how many Shadow Pokemon we're away. One. Two. Three. Three big battles away. Yeah, I never realized how annoying <laughs> this location is <laughs> for healing. You're in Deoxys and Mew? Wait! I need that. That would've been so bad if I didn't teach that. Uh, I don't think I've ever used Leer, so. Yeah, I'm excited to do the Deoxys event, because, uh... I don't remember the last time I did that. It was a very, very, very long time ago. I don't remember the pattern, and I'm not gonna look it up. So that's gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Um, where is this? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's really not good. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's another shadow Pokemon, and I am not prepared. Also, Gramble's head is nuts. What were they doing? What were they thinking when they made Gramble? <laughs> It's so big! <laughs> the proportions are weird. Okay, well, let's try and put you to sleep. Yeah, I'll Shadow Rush and then I'm gonna do sleep. I just need to catch this fast. You are asleep. Oh, thankfully this is really easy to catch. Right now it's a 45% chance. Okay. And Gramble. Easy. Watch this. What was that thing for the 2000s with the giant dog heads? You know what I'm talking about? Was it just called the dog? That's what I'm seeing right now. No, not Clifford. There is like a little cute, like... Yeah! Yeah, it was called The Dog. Oh yeah, it was like, it was like a collection of binders and stuff like that. Wait, nope, don't wanna do that. Look. These. You got 
You had like the the you had the dogs. It's just like a big head on a dog. That's really it. That's all. It was just it was just like a super close up shot of a dog. Like little puppies. I don't know. That was just kind of it. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Another one down. Now keep in mind, I do have to breed uh, pretty much all of these Pokemon that I catch. Figured that was obvious, but. So I need to go back and I need to heal because we are not, <laughs> this team is not looking very good. Why is Lenny standing? You find a couple like really early on that look like that. I think Vigoroth is scarier. I don't know. I did also buy a little turkey sandwich. Yummy. Probably go. Thanks for giving a sub. Wait, I already said that. Well, I'm saying it again. <sighs> Chad, I'm getting old. I'm forgetting what's going on. We go over another ribbon master. You know, in a way, it would be fun to do it again. And I'm already kind of set up to do it. It's just there aren't a lot of Pokemon to do a full Ribbon Master on. I will say, there is one Pokemon that has consistently been in every single Pokemon game in some way um, that could be a great future Ribbon Master. Scyther. Yeah, Scyther is good, but there is, in my head, a better one. Um, and it makes sense when you really think about it. I'll let you guess. There's one Pokemon that has been in every game except for one. It was because it was a version exclusive. Think, think original Pokemon chat. Think of original Pokemon. Like the beginning, beginning of Pokemon. No, not Snorlax. That's right. Rhydon. Rhydon has been in every single Pokemon game, with the exception of Pokemon Black. And considering that it's one of the first Pokemon, it makes sense. I feel like they, they do that on purpose. Is it Shadow? I believe it's an XD. It's Shadow. I don't remember, to be honest with you. Um, but I looked it up one time because I was I was annoyed that that fortress wasn't in um, uh, What game was fortress not in? I don't remember either way Sword and shield right um, but Yeah, the Rhyhorn I believe was a white forest exclusive so in a way it's technically in pokemon black um but white forest is so annoying when it comes to getting pokemon in black and white um how did i get in here <laughs> and how do i get out The Ribbon Master Challenge is definitely fun. It's just, once again, just like this video, it requires so much of you. <laughs> like, monetarily, it is so not ideal, especially nowadays. When I did that video, the games were so much cheaper. Back in my day, the games were only $30. It really does test you. This game is super confusing. Tell me about it. Wait for XD. You're gonna see me at my worst. Why am I why am I saving before I heal? 
I think I said there's what, one? Oh no, I think that might have been everything. No, sorry, there's one more Shadow Pokemon I can get. Did I use Entei? I think I did. This song is a banger. It's definitely better than the Under V. Have you played this? Best way healing? In this area, this is the only thing you can do. There's no healing stations. Why? I don't know. You might be saying, oh, John, it's because there's not an attendant. There's like five other places I've been to that have had no attendance, but I can heal. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, we are 300 away. You have it still? You have the bonus disc? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I mentioned that. I mentioned that my my capture card is coming in. But um, my copy Coliseum is coming in as well today. With the bonus disc. And I got my copy of Japanese Ruby two days ago, I think. Which, hey, side note, chat. If you have any interest of owning the physical cartridge games, it is a little bit annoying, but if you've played the games enough and know them, the Japanese versions of the game are actually affordable. Like, Emerald is... It's still the most expensive, but it's $50. Is that cheap? No. But it's at least something, it's feasible. It's like a reasonable, for the average gamer, <laughs> Having $50 for a video game that you want is, like, not the worst. Um, I bought my copy of Ruby for 30 It's a DNA analyzer. Oh. This DNA sample was that of Croconaw. Oh, I have you. Okay. What... Was there more to- was that just it? Was that oh okay. <laughs> I thought it was- I thought it was integral to the story. I thought we were gonna unlock something crazy. How do you know if it's a real copy or not? What a great question to ask. The most obvious way, and I will say over time, the fakes are getting better. I don't have a fake to show you, but you- if you have it and you have a good picture with good lighting, you can tell immediately. The most- the easiest way to tell is if you just look at this copy, you see how it, how the back of it, like, like, look at that. You see how it reflects? See how it kind of reflects a little bit? Also, this cartridge is clear. It's not a solid, um, which is much harder. A lot of fake rubies will have the same casing as fire red, except it will be a lot less, um, see how it's like, obviously a different color, but it's not as transparent. The fake ones, the, the most common fake ones, are very hard to see through, which is an, an instant tell. The only other way that I know of, and this isn't really something I can necessarily show you, I can try though, is if you look inside, this is more of an in-person thing, because I don't think eBay sellers really care about showing this in a picture. But if you look at the board... Nah, I don't think I can do it. You can see inside, in the board, it should say Nintendo on it. Um, and the reason why they don't do that on the fake ones, 99% of the time, is because they don't want to have to pay. They just buy, like, plain PCB boards for uh, Game Boy Advances, so they just don't, like have any reason to fake that because no one's going to look there. But those are the really tell telltale ways to see. It's just the label more than anything. <clears throat> Arguably, Gen 4 games are easier to tell when they're fake. And I can show you that one too. Gen 4 games... This is a this is a blank DS cartridge. You see how it has the sides on it? This is exactly what they buy. They buy the fake ones and they have little indents on the sides of them. And on the back, it will have 
an SD card slot. Like I said, there are more expensive fakes. Think of it like a, like a designer handbag. There are some really bad fakes, and there are some really good fakes, and it all depends on how much money you put down on it. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the best way to go about it is just do your research. 3DS, I don't think there's even a market for people to fake them. So, I, you don't need to worry about that, in my opinion. I've never seen a fake 3DS cartridge. I got another email from my HOA. They're mad that people are leaving garbage out. HOAs are the worst. Genuinely. They are just, they are such not fun people to interact with. When I buy another home chat, I will do everything in my power to not live in an HOA. They do absolutely nothing for me and I had to pay them yearly. One crazy thing is, um, that they did last year is if you, um, they had a, a new rule that you had to sign a contract for. If you, if they thought that your lawn was not to their standards, you couldn't use any of the amenities that were available in, in the uh, community. Which just feels illegal. It just feels like they're not allowed to do that, but they can. Yeah, it was, it's their own personal opinion. If they think that your grass is too long, if you if they see weeds, um, if you don't mow often enough, which keep in mind, there are sometimes I, I I let the grass grow. Sorry. Um. Yeah, and then they just charge you a whole bunch. I install a fake lawn and tear it up. <laughs> I don't think that would work in your favor. But let me, let me give you a story. I did, um, I have definitely told this story before, but there was a, my neighbor, um, in front of all of the houses on my street, and I feel like most houses in general, there's a garden bed, you know, where you can either have like shrubs or you can have plants, whatever you want, right? Most of the base houses came with, like, straw. It's, like, uh, dried out straw, and it just, like, it's, like, woven together, and it, you know, just, like, keeps, uh, I guess the ground, whatever. I don't really know too much about it, but, you know, it's, it's, like, the cheapest version of mulch that they can possibly use. And here's the thing, is that you have to refresh that every single year, and if you don't, they will charge you for doing that, for not keeping up with it. And so, my neighbor was like, wait a second, I have a great idea. Why would I spend $300 a year refreshing the straw when I could just use rocks? I can just get little small stones and just replace all of that. Just dig it all up, that way I pay a whole bunch of money up front, but over time it pays off and I never have to worry about it again. You know, it's like a grand probably to just like put rocks in your front yard. And so he did that, installed all of it, and it looked amazing. It looked like his house was the wealthiest house on the street. A week later, I'm leaving my house to go to the gym. He's digging it up with like his employees because he's like, he like knows contractors or whatever. I was like, why are you digging it up? And he said, oh, they drove by the house and they said that they don't like the rocks. So they said they can either take him to court to dispute it, to see if they're, <laughs> to see if like it determines who is allowed to do what, or he can dig it all up and put mulch back. And I believe from the way he put it, he took them to court and lost.
because they wanted to have a reason for him to slip up to then charge him again for not refreshing his mulch. Yeah. And what's crazy is in my head, I was like, ooh, I, I think that's a really great idea. Like, I want to do rocks too. I'm really glad I didn't. Uh, I'm getting rolled right now. They should throw rocks through their windows. Chat, the HOAs, the HOA does not live on in the community. They live in mansions. <laughs> and that's even if you if you do live in a community with mansions, they live in larger mansions. You know? Wow, I'm definitely gonna lose this battle. This is such a first world problem. Uh, I'm going to disagree with that. I think most people live in HOAs. Unless you live in like a rural, like New Hampshire. If you live in like Montana, you don't have HOAs. But like a very like large city. If you live within the vicinity of a large city, most cases you ha you're part of an HOA. If you own a house that's... Later than like 2005, you probably live in an HOA. Yeah, and the, well, yeah, of course I'm talking about the U.S. Chat. I haven't lived in the U.K. I don't, I don't know what goes on there. <laughs> Figure that kind of went out without saying. Uh. Eighteen percent of Americans live in HOAs. Interesting. You know what's crazy though? I do. I am trash talking the current ones that I have, but the one, the one I had before, and the other. I used to live in a previous HOA before I bought my house. They were worse. I had a friend park on the side of, like, in front of my house. I had like two cars in my parking lot, or two, I don't live in a parking lot. They had two cars in the driveway, and they wanted to park on the side of the road, and they were staying for the night at my house because I was doing a party or something, whatever. Um, I got charged $50 because they parked on the side of the road. They weren't obstructing anything. There was no other cars on the road except for that one car. I got fined $50. And can I dispute that stuff? Sure. Sure you can. I'm losing this, by the way, if you didn't know. Here's your land. Yeah, you landed thunder. Nice. Bet <laughs> they tried to dream you parked on the lawn. Yeah, if anything, way more. Way more. Do we add the ribbon rock? Here we do. Oh, was it raining? Sorry, I was in the middle of my, my story. It's a shame. Uh, Intimidate's still really good. Maybe I do add you to the team. Just for this battle, I really have not used for alligator at all. Oh, do I have to remove the items through the thingy? What? Wait, I had to go into my... I had to add for alligator to my party to remove it? That's so frustrating. Alright. Out of curiosity, chat, when you have um, caffeine and you don't, like, eat enough, do you guys get anxiety? I have food, so I can fix this. But like, it happens to me like once a week. Cause it, I, when I go to the gym, like I take pre-workout and I don't eat until I'm done with the gym. Cause I don't like, I just feel gross <laughs> when I'm working out. 
I live in constant anxiety. I mean, yeah, I mean, I have my moments outside of that, but. Or maybe it's just crashing. I really don't know. It, it kind of feels the same. <laughs> um, let me give it to you. Any doctors in chat? Do not worry, I have sandwich. Wait, actual doctor in chat. What should I do? I ordered just like a little, like a, it was a sausage, egg and cheese. Why is this thing monstrously thick? <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is like a textbook ad. For, for, like, you, you pulled like a Dunkin' Donuts ad on your TV? This is exactly what it looks like. My goodness, it is. That's a big boy. I don't know how to explain it. No, I do. Dunkin' Donuts food has like a hint of cleaning supplies to it. You know what I mean? Like you have, you have like a bacon, egg and cheese. It has like that. <laughs> it has that like, it's not like artificial. Like their hash browns. You guys ever had their hash browns? It's like, it's like mm, potato and then Clorox. There's just something about it. I don't know what happened. It was just like a, a couple of years ago. <laughs> like post COVID. Something about it. Am I still gonna eat it? Yeah. Will I perish? I've been through this multiple times, so I think I'll be fine. They taste the pesticides. I mean, when you really think about it, it does make sense because they grow these on trees. And so they had to spray them down so the bugs don't get to them. Stantler and Burt, baby. Yeah, they put the sandwiches on the trees, yeah. They like hang them to dry, I think. Something like that. Have you still not beat this guy? It's only been one time, Chad. Goodbye, Bert. I don't know why I led with you. Um, yeah, I'll send you out again. Or for the first time, double intimidate. That's gonna really hurt your special moves. Out of curiosity, chat, per week. Hmm. I guess you guys probably got, most people buy groceries every two weeks, right? I think I buy mine like every week and a half. How much do you spend on groceries for like one person? Let's just remove that you buy for, you know, your significant other family. How much do you spend, you think, on your own, like to yourself for what you eat? 150, okay, that's exactly what I was gonna say. It's about 150. Anybody go to Air One? <laughs> I would love to know what your bill is at Air One. I've never been to one of those places because I believe um, it's like a California exclusive. Air One, it's E R E W H O N. It's basically the most expensive grocery store. It's like a, I think it's a California chain. Um, and all of the stuff there is like ridiculously priced. I watched a video of a person who, who bought, I believe a smoothie. They have like a place where I, I guess you can buy like fresh fruit smoothies. And they paid, I think it was like $35 for a smoothie. 
at least they're honest. They tried and they're like, yeah, that's it's it tastes like just any other smoothie that I've had in my life. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I would love to go there just to look. I would not buy anything. Or maybe I'd buy the cheapest thing that they would have. That smoothie better have satisfied me all day. Well, hear me out. It has fruit. Who needs protein when <laughs> you've got vitamins? <laughs> And I think, if you really try, you can eat the straw. Because all of it's organic, so you're really eliminating all the normal microplastics that you eat, so you can just kind of balance it out by eating the straw, too. I would eat the cup, too. Mmm, plastics. People are willing to pay those prices not be, be around normal people. I like how you worded that. <laughs> there are two types of people in this world. Rich people and normal people. Oh no! Nope! Oh god! They found me! I shouldn't have said that! Guys, we need to go! We need to go quick! They found us! It's the celebrities! They're coming! It just doesn't stop. Hold on. I love this song. Where do we go now? <laughs> I heard the alarm. <laughs> I'm doing my job. My team is not looking good, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, man. Okay. New shadow Pokemon. This is going to be the last one for a big one. So we're gonna make sure to finish it off right. I'm pretty sure it's my first time catching a stream. I'll verify that. No, it's not. <laughs> Confirmed! Don't worry, guys. I'll figure it out. Your first stream was April 25th, 2020. Where you said, <laughs> and I quote, Slack off. Do I really need the Vibrava? No, but I want it. I So here's the thing. I, I don't know if I mentioned this recently. I did at the beginning of streaming Coliseum. Uh, but this is gonna be a second channel video where I get every, I, like, I got every shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Coliseum. And it's gonna be very similar to a main channel video. Four years, but I only have three years. Wow, I'm a fake gamer. Oh, I thought you were saying you only have three years left. <laughs> like you were dying. <laughs> Like, that's a crazy announcement. 
I was so confused. Four years, only three years remain. Wow, that was really easy. Okay. Yeah, I was worried. I was like, you want you want to talk to about that or? <laughs> John has three years left to stream. I don't know. Here's the reality chat. Eventually. Good old Uncle Johnstone is gonna become boring. You guys are gonna be like, man, another Nuzlocke? At some point, who knows? I will say, I so in my head, when I first went full time for content, I said, I've got seven years before I'm not gonna be relevant and no one's gonna care about anything that I do. Um. This is year six. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> it's only downhill from here, chat. I will say though, um, I feel when it comes to streaming, as long as you're consistent, Typically, if you're if you're consistent and innovate, which are two things that I'm not good at when it comes to streaming, um, you grow. I think consistency consistency has more value than innovation, but um on a somewhat related note, I watched Ludwig's video last night on, like, how to be a streamer. Or it's more so, like, do you, like, this is how you start becoming a streamer. It was a very insightful video. I know you guys might find that silly that I watched it. Um, because this is my job. But here's the thing, you can always learn something. Always. You can always learn something. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> the old yoink and twist? Yep. Water type. Yeah, it's a lot of great advice. Like one of the most important ones? <laughs> Don't watch the video until you've streamed. That's a great piece of advice. Which, to be fair, I have said to you guys multiple times, but just not in that specific way. He was a lot more blunt than I was. Because I would say, like, hey guys, if you're, if, the first thing you do, if you want to get into streaming, stream. Which is pretty similar to what he said. Except, he, I believe he said, near verbatim, if you don't stream, at least once before watching this video, you are not committed enough to become a streamer. Are they wrong? No. Or is he wrong? No. But... <laughs> I would just be scared to say that. I'm not big enough to say that, chat. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god, it's the radiation! The, ra the radiation's tapping in! <laughs> They're frying my brain! Oh my goodness. That's not good. We need to get out of here. That's the 5G airwaves. <laughs> Everybody's wearing like tinfoil helmets when we go in. You can't defeat us when your brain waves are shorting. Banger. <clears throat> sure, advice. Blow up during the pandemic and ride that high. Chad, you can still grow. You you can still grow for sure.
Oh, this area is safe. Don't worry, guys. I think a lot of the big streamers right now didn't even start um, during the pandemic. You find a lot of streamers through collabs. So, yeah. Here's a contribution to your upcoming retirement fund. Hopefully the retirement comes later than you originally thought. <sighs> no, chat, no. No, if you do that, that starts my fall off, guys. Come on. No. That's not a good mentality to have. Thanks <laughs> for so the 1035. I appreciate it, but... Chat, this is going to be my best year. Uh, one of my- so I don't really set goals anymore because- I mean, I set like rough goals, but... One of my goals for this year was to stream more. And I think so far... Even if we disregard this, currently... Because I have been streaming a lot this week, um... But I have been streaming more than I did last year. I will say though, chat, I'm... But it is what it is. We game, we ball, we game. By the time you retire, that 1035 will be 1036. That's stonks. That siren's annoying. But what if you thought about it in a positive way? Like, ooh, that siren sounds so cool. Problem solved. Um. <laughs> Chat, this is the worst. This is the worst lock in existence. This is like you ever seen that guy who break the lock picking lawyer? This is like the lock picking lawyer's type of content. The door is locked. Would you like to unlock it? No key, no card. Just unlock the door. Yes. Oh no! Chat! Somebody call the lock picking lawyer! There's more to this than I thought! Wait. No, I got it. I got it. It's this one. Surely it's this. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. It's this. I'm running out of methods. It's related to the DNA sample? Well, I got Croconaw. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't worry. They won't get me. They won't get me. I'll, I'll figure this out. Trial and error, chat. Yay! I did it! Yeah! We found it! I hope I don't lose because I'm going to forget that by the time the battle's done. Oh, we're fighting Scrub again! How can I forget? Scrub! My favorite enemy! Sandler is actually busted in hyper mode. Is my counter fully updated? That's such a nice way to say, why is it so low? Goodbye. 
I don't think I can knock it wall fed, so if it goes for counter. Actually, wait. Yeah, what is, uh. Shadow Rush is physical, right? Shadow moves are physical. Don't counter, don't counter, don't counter, don't counter, don't counter, don't counter, don't counter. Don't counter. Ah, rats! Okay. It's fine. No, it's fine. We're chill. Listen. What do they call me in these trying times? There's a name people have been throwing around for a hot minute. No, not Ratman. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that. So, Clutch Cammy. It's a name that's tossed around quite often. The streets have been saying. They've been saying it. They've been. Goodbye. <clears throat> Boob legs. Linz was there. Are the HOA streets? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Wait, Linz, you can attest. Wasn't that HOA that we had together was really bad? Like they would just fine you for parking on the side of the road for like five hours. Cause we live, well we didn't live on the same street. We live close to the same street. But she experienced it. We have fine for our trash can being visible. Yep. I just got an email about that today. That's what started the conversation. How dare I? How dare I have trash? I know this is kind of a, in a dumb mentality, but chat, one time they did, they fined me for having my trash cans visible outside, and I quite literally told them, okay, find me. They charged me $10. Guess what I didn't do? <laughs> Put them away. They find for use for Bentley using the bathroom. You know what? That's actually deserved. That actually that that's upsetting that you did that. Dogs pee inside. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, that was a really easy battle. It was last time too. I don't know why people had so much trouble with you. I'll be honest. This comes on at the club? <laughs> Wait, I didn't- Ah, uh, no! No! No, I didn't heal! Oh, this is really bad. Good. The disk has been scrubbed of all data. That's done it. How'd you get in here without my notice? You must be the much talked about John. I am Ayn. I am in charge of the Shadow Pokemon Lab. No one must be allowed to interfere with our Shadow Pokemon plans. I won't allow it. Let me acquaint you with the power of my Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, chat, I cannot see a realm where we win this battle. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. We are so weak right now. I think I have four Pokemon. <laughs> and I think I fight five. Technically I fight, yeah, I fight technically five Pokemon. Mods, you wanna do a prediction? We will be catching a monster in this battle. Let it be known. Uh, 
Oh boy. Let me actually just check my team. Who is up? Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, I can't imagine us winning this. Which means we get to hear the music again. Sleep Powder the Lantern, probably, right? I think Huntail doesn't have really anything. It might have Ice Fang, which would suck. You win if you chose Bayleaf? If I chose Bayleaf, I would still be in, like, Pyrite City. 47 is crazy. Why did I even attack at that point? <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna... <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna target Lantern first. I'm trying to think of what Pokemon I can use to take this on. Grind time, there's no need. Is this the hardest of the three? Oh, true, it is. Yeah, it is raining. Because you guys said that Suicune was going to be really hard, but I, I mean... I was kind of chilling. Yeah, I'm really scared about this. <laughs> Lantern really does look very fish-like in this game. I don't I don't know I what I expect it to look like normally, but like you look at Lantern and you're like, that is a fish. It's just so like flat on the sides. Fimsh. Don't flinch, please. Whoo! Wow! Against all odds, huh? I feel like I should honestly just give in on my team because there is no realm that I win this. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, I just looked at some of the moves I have to deal with. No, that's so bad. Yeah, let's get rid of Huntail, I guess. No! I am one with the water, one with Fimsh. Never mind. Okay. This is my ultra brain large cranium plan. I'm not gonna attack Huntail. I'm going to full on attack Lantern because I want it to rain dance again. Boingo. Yeah, Boingo, baby. And that way I also get rid of Lantern. Because it has Thunder. And I'm not messing with that. That was supposed to be the combo that I was supposed to be dealing with. Rain Dance Thunder. But if you Rain Dance this turn, the only... Th Did that do anything? Miss. Sick. Rain Dance. 
all according to plan. So, I need to surf, Mega Drain. Mm, no, 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 no. I'm going to Aurora Beam, Lantern, Mega Drain Lantern. This will come into play in a second. Observe. No flinchies, no flinchies, no flinchies. Okay, great. Watch this. This is Ultra Brain. This is Ultra Brain right here. If you send out what I think you're gonna send out, I'm the GOAT Gamer. That's right, baby! That's right! Hard reads over here! Get Quad Week blasted. Nice. Okay, what does Hunto go for? Oh, that was your turn. You went for Bite. Right. That's true. Now I'm gonna go for Mega Drain on Huntail. <laughs> I forgot we have the alert, um, uh, the alert emote. Why did we not use that when it was going off? So, okay, on the upside, we do not need to deal with rain anymore once it goes away. I hate Golbat's animation in this game. Truly, I hate it. Okay, so this is where things are going to get a little bit sour. Yeah. Um, the rain is still up, and we have to now catch Shadow Raikou. Who is, I would like to think, in my opinion, my favorite and the coolest of the beasts. Um, there's like one more turn of rain, so I'm going to need, let me do, let me do a quick calc on this, because keep in mind, enough turns have passed that I can use timer balls, so, this weekend's okay. Timer ball just as is, let's just say it's turn, it's like turn 15, right? It's up there. I have a 10% chance just at... Sorry, I have a 5% chance just in full health. <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... <sighs> hmm. What is the best play? Because I still have my hypnosis user, so that's that is like actually a good thing. Um, this battle went way better than I thought it would have. I think I'm still not going to be able to catch it, but I can definitely give it my all. So I'm going to hyper potion because I think that Suicune's just going to go down because it's going to get hit by thunder, right? Uh, I'll probably lose Boingo as well, for being real. What I can do is I can try. I either want a Cotton Spore. Cotton Spore Raikou. Hmm. You know what was would have been such a large brain idea? I have five Pokemon. Catch the Raikou. Raikou's added to my team and I can send it out against the Golbat. Which if you didn't know, you can do that. Um... Cotton Spore. Because I can lower Raikou's speed, and I do go first. No, I don't. Raikou's faster. Yeah, I think I'm going to Cotton Spore. <laughs> wow, you are faster? 
Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. I still think both of them go down. Lance Thunder attacks Suicune, right? Okay, that was a really weird choice. So now I go into N... Bert. Yeah, I think I go into Bert and I go for Hypnosis. Suicune? Wow. That is such a strange turn. So what I can do is, uh, if I have Roar Beam, that's neutral on Raikou, right? I think it is. I Roar Beam Raikou. Hypnosis on Raikou. I just go for Surf, but why? Why not KO the Golbat? Because if I catch the Raikou, then I don't need to worry about it next time I fight it. Because that's what I did for Suicune. And it's- I have such a huge advantage. And it, Raikou is actually feasible to catch. Like, because- let's do a hypothetical scenario. It's asleep and at half health. After 15 turns, it's a 20% chance to get in the ball. That's insanely good odds. So... Yeah, I that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, you're faster now. Sweet coon. Uh, okay. I would also like to know this was a 4v1. Wait, no, this is a 5v4. <laughs> I did not have all my Pokemon. Let's do a quarter. Wow, not even. Why is it not attacking Suicune? Because it knows it's like guaranteed to knock it out? Now you just miss. I have a 7% chance. Hmm. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a ball. And then I'm going to fire blast the Raikou. I have like an 8% chance. Come on, baby. Don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ah, oh, you did it. That's so dumb. You're gonna land your thunder? You're gonna land your thunder. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I got one more turn. Make it count. I don't need to stress because I'm gonna get it right now. You're gonna miss thunder. Oh, you're gonna be so embarrassed by how badly you're gonna miss thunder. You're gonna miss it and it's gonna be so sad for you. It's my last timer ball. In the ball! Ah! I catch you. Easy. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I eat it? Ooh, I'm eating this so well. Oh, wait! I did! Ah, okay. Well, in this hypothetical scenario, if I use an Ultra Ball, I have a 5% chance. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's really good. Ouch. Okay, we try again. I didn't save before this battle, I believe. I saved before the previous battle, and I don't want to go through that again. So, it's fine. Isn't the tire ball still trash until turn 30? Um, yes and no. So, a common misconception is that the, the tire ball just instantly goes to the best odds at 30. It's incremental. It goes up. So over time, after about, I think it's 11 or 12 turns, the tire ball is better than the ultra ball. Like, just barely. What would have happened if you caught the Raikou but lost the Golbat? I would have Raikou on my team, and then I would bop Golbat instantly next time I fought. That was the game plan. I've done it before. Whew, I have no money. Don't need that. <laughs> Don't need that. See you later. Time flute? Now nah, we need that. I think I need that either. What if I sold a DNA sample? That's gonna be like thousands, right? In theory. Okay, so I'm gonna buy how many timer balls? I wish buy ten. So I currently have 17 Great Balls. Mm, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Now that I think about it, I should have caught Suicune in a net ball, huh? Have you eaten your protein today? Here's egg just in case. Chad, I actually have egg right here. Thanks for reminding me. It'd be a good idea to grind now because Realgum is next. No need. Chad, this is an, um, a very high level speed run. I don't know if you knew, but I'm actually a professional speedrunner. Arguably one of the best ever. They've, they've been saying that a lot. There was actually an ad in the New York Times a couple of days ago about me. They were saying how insane I am at speedrunning. That didn't happen. I lied. I think one big issue is that my Pokemon are so weak to electric type moves. <laughs> what can I use instead? I do have a lot of Pokemon. I could use Fortress. Believe it or not, this thing could actually hang. Maybe. Pile of swine? Yeah, I guess that's Pile of swine would be a really good option. Does it know Earthquake or is it no Mud Bomb? In a Shadow Rush. That's pretty good. Uh, who would be better? Rockstar, thanks for the Prime.
Fluffy's only level 30. Way too low level. I think Gramble really didn't do much. Palaswan gets Dig. Palaswan it is. Is that the second move that it unlocks? Wait, what was your lead again? Oh, it was Lantern. It's a third move? Oh boy. I will probably need to lead with Boingo again. If I'm being honest, I think that's the play. And I'll have to yeah, no, this is the this is the setup, I think. Actually, maybe not. What is your attack? 102. Oh yeah, you're definitely in the lead then. Because what I need to do is get into hyper mode. There will be a point where I do have to grind, chat. So maybe maybe this is the point, but I would like to have Raikou before I do that. Because if I can have all three of them, grind them, then I think we'll be in a good position. It's really not hard to catch Raikou, it's just getting the opportunity to be able to do that is a different story. Everyone panic! No! One thing I will say about this area is that it is relatively straightforward. They do a good job at making it look confusing, but not actually confusing. Big, but not big. Go this way. No, we don't. Tricked you. Excuse me, honey. Let's go up here. I don't think they'll ever make another game like this. Because the company that made it does not exist. Or they do, but I believe they have three employees. because they all work for Game Freak and Nintendo now. Okay, let's try again. That's enough employees. Okay, Game Freak. Um, I don't know if this is a good scenario. Bro's using Jump Luff. Jump Luff is actually insane. Jump Luff has carried most of the captures in this game. You can hate. Okay, I need actually Sandler to go to hyper mode this turn. Because if I can, we're looking real good. That's going to go for Jump Luff. Cool. Good call. You can purify Sandler? I actually do not want to. I would rather go into shadow mode so I can keep critting. Because if I can just crit non-stop, I'm going to be able to knock out everything significantly faster. After this, yes. Having two Pokemon with Confuse Ray on this team is just so mean. Hyper mode? That sucks. Sweet Coon? No. 
Wouldn't takedown be better than Shadow Rush? No, if I keep using Shadow Rush, it'll increase my chance of going to hyper mode. All put together. Big plan. How do you get Spinda into Pokemon Home? Like BDSP Spinda? <laughs> you can't. You attacking Stantler? Okay, that actually sucks. <clears throat> it's fine. Let's go into... Let me think. Because mm. yeah, Huntail has Surf, so that's really bad. But Altari has Ice Beam, which is why I don't have Boingo out. The worst thing I can do is neutral, I believe, right? <sighs> so frustrating. It is really peculiar that it's just not attacking Suicune in both battles. They just have no interest. Any shinies? No. <laughs> Especially not in this game. Please. Okay. Should do a decent amount, right? Knock you out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who are you going to send? If you send a lantern, we are so screwed. Well, um, hmm. Hyper mode would be so sick right now. This game only double bells. Yep. Doesn't really matter who you attack. If you attack Suicune, that'd be so sick. Okay, this is going significantly worse than last time, and I have more Pokemon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into Boingo, and I need to put Altaria to sleep. Uh, we're gonna see a rain dance. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, Lantern does have rain dance. Okay, so... I need to... What do I even do? Aurora Beam Altaria. Sleep Powder Lantern, I think. So you can't set up the rain dance. Because once I get rid of Lantern, there's no more rain dances, and when Raikou comes out, it can't land every thunder. This will knock out Altaria. You'll then send out Golbat. Okay. It's working. It's working a little bit. Boingo, this is... I've always wanted to use a jump off, so this is very exciting for me. But Boingo has gone above and beyond. Boingo is what I wanted Swablu to be. It's a son I've never had. Um. Okay, so I need a full-on attack lantern. Once again, we're just ignoring Golbat, because Golbat really doesn't have anything crazy. It does have Toxic, and it didn't use it the entire time. We're just going to hope that doesn't happen, even though I now just jinxed all of that. It really just loves spamming Confuse Ray and Bite. I can get that Mega Drain, break out of the confusion. <sighs> no. 
<laughs> Will I go to the Sinnoh tour? No, I don't have time. I would love to, though. Boingo. You got it, Boingo. I believe in you. I really should just be surfing at this point. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to heal. I'm going to heal Boingo. Then Boingo is going to Mega Drain. That's actually nuts. Am I doing the Master Ball glitch? No, I don't even have a Master Ball. This is so bad, because you're going to be able to set up Rain Dance. I don't think I can knock you out. Okay, that's okay. Kinda. You're definitely gonna wake up though. <laughs> How long have I been fighting? Eh, it's not like 20 minutes. That's this game, chat. That's just how this game works. You landed your thunder out of it. Suicune, I don't care. Take it out. That's fine. That gets me a free swap. It does suck for taking down Golbat, to be honest. Um, but I can go into... Oh, right. Wow, yeah, there really is not any good option here. Because if I fly, I can land Thunder. Steel Wing is resisted. Entei has to be faster than Lantern. Right? Still a little calc here. Because Lantern moves last. If Suicune... If it's faster than 80... Oh! Yeah, then we outspeed. Cool. So I can stomp Lantern. That will probably knock it out. If it doesn't, that's really bad. But here's my game plan. Oh no, Boingo is faster. I just have to heal Boingo. We're just gonna run that. Unless you hit Entei, that'd be cool. Nope, of course not. How's the day going? It's we're getting there. We're we're getting Pokemon. No way! This thing is is made of 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 thick. Wow, that absolutely destroys me. That's crazy. What? Okay, maybe I do have to grind then. I don't know. I don't even think this will knock it out, if I'm being honest. Because <sighs> that will now be a 1v2. Because you're going to wing attack and knock out Boingo. Yeah, what are your suggestions for grinding up? Where should I go? Mount Battle? Not really. I don't think so. Because I only get 10 battles and they're like level 20. I'm pretty sure right now I only have 10 battles. Once I beat the game, I unlock the full 100. Okay, you're asleep. Which means, with a timer ball, 5%. I mean, I can't see really any other option than just throwing a ball, because... Yeah. Realistically, I should have enough turns to be able to maybe catch it. We're rolling it. 
Come on, baby! In the ball today! Uh, 50% of the time, it's gonna do that. This is the most trolly set. <laughs> if I get five turns of sleep, because I really don't think Golbat can deal that much damage to me. I might actually catch it. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! That's right, baby! Woo! That's crazy. That was a 4.9% chance of happening, I think. Uh, okay. I... Can I beat this now? Hold on. I actually might win this battle. If I put you to sleep, I can fly. But I need to break out of confusion. Land it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is like your biggest hitting move. <laughs> okay, we did not win that. We did not win that at all. Hey, that's okay though. Because guess what, chat? We have Raikou now. So, let's leave. And we can, uh... Do a little sneaky trick. Please save. I'll soft reset. I can push that reset button on my Wii. Oh, goodbye, wife. She got divorced, everybody. What's going on, ladies? Okay, I'll go over here. So, um, one, I need to mark that off. I can't, we've been getting pretty lucky with the beasts, and here's the thing, chat, is that was realistically the last hard Pokemon to catch in all of Coliseum. There's, there's like, we have to catch, uh, Tyranitar later. If you count Ho-Oh, sure. Sure, Ho-Oh is gonna be a little bit of a pain. Metagross, Metagross will be a pain too. But like, Okay, yeah, I guess Metagross would be kind of annoying, but... Just let me have this one. Just let me have this one, chat. I gotta go to the bathroom. What's the name of this emulator? It's called the Nintendo Wii. It's a little older. It's a little older. It's like 2006. I know this is obvious, and I do say this all the time. I was talking about working out, but I'm doing push-ups like every single stream. My arms are coming together. We're really out here cooking. Raikou. Nature guesses, anybody? Hmm? Well, Palace Wine, you did nothing, but I'm proud of you for being here. So here is one important thing to consider. You might be thinking, well, John, you have to go and purify this Raikou. You're still going to be walking for a whole nother evening. Uh-uh. We have our time flute. 
which means we can instantly purify this Pokemon, and... Uh, although, like, some stuff like Metagross is gonna be a little bit annoying later on, we at least have all of the Legendary Beasts done. Slabby. Yeah, <laughs> if I clicked on Stanler, that would have been insane. Raikou looks not great in this game. Can I be honest with you? Like, he's so triangular, <laughs> so pointy. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm good. It's gonna feel so good transferring those to Emerald, yeah. Okay, so we really want a modest Raikou. Just to give you a breakdown. Um, we have an Impish one, that's not great. We have an Adamant one, that sounds great, until you realize that Dark and Fire are both special moves in this gen. Um, Stomp is, uh, it's okay. But I really would like a modest Raikou. Naive. I feel like that has to do with speed. Isn't that lowered speed, like increased special defense or something? I know that that's not really good. It's something to do with speed. It's plus speed? Okay. Plus speed minus attack? Plus speed... Minus special- Okay, so I was kind of close. I guess that's not the worst. Thunder is- is gonna be a really not a great thing to do, but it's fine. Special defense is down? I mean, that's... Honestly, not that bad of a scenario, considering that Earthquake is the only thing that it's weak against, and that's a physical move. Yeah, Thunder is 100% in the rain, but I would rather have Thunderbolt. I would rather be able to attack two turns, than set up on one side, and then attack on the other. Personally. Teach their own, but for me, that's how I feel. So... Um, what do you think, chat? Should we grind just like a teeny tiny bit? Maybe get uh, our beast to like level 45-ish? And then run it? I say that we go to... Yeah, we can go to the Under Coliseum. I think that'd be great. Let's do a few battles, run it, see how it goes. But, as you can imagine, because I now have all the Legendary Beasts, I do not need to worry about catching them in Fire Red Leaf Green, because if you know anything about that, it is nothing short of awful. And that mentality also applies to the Johto starters. Both of those are, if you didn't have this game, it's just ridiculous. Complete the, the Gen 3 decks. Yeah, I had to play Fire Red Leaf Green three times in a row and complete it fully. And then Emerald, I would also have to complete three times and see the entire regional decks. <laughs> hard, hard pass. Emerald is way worse than Fire Red Leaf Green. Oh, did I say C? Yeah, it's catch. Lots of trading back and forth. 55? 55? Oh. Okay, maybe we should start a little bit lower. What about Celebi? Not to worry. You can get Celebi in Gen 3. Without an event. Ah, Chad, does that count as an event? It's not an exclusive event, but it is an event. It is a purchasable event and repeatable.
Any can be, anything can be an event if you want it to be. So real. You're so real for saying that. Well, Mew and Deoxys, they're events. I'll take care of it. It all can be done. You can get every Pokemon. Ooh, who had my um, experience share? Hmm. Could have purified Stantler. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. But here's the thing. Um, from so what somebody told me in chat, Stantler's purified move is Astonish. I would rather be able to put it into hyper mode and just get constant crits with Shadow Rush than, than use that. But it levels up. Sure. Sure. But I still, at some point, I can't, I will have to purify this and I'll get those levels anyways. This isn't wasted time, you know? But yeah, this will probably take a little bit. I, you guys think I should go to a different Coliseum or should I just keep going here? Really don't know. Now that was good when you get through the early rounds. I mean, at what what battle do you think I'm gonna start really getting XP? In your opinion, like thirty, battle number thirty. <laughs> I know it's far because right now we're at twenty. The third, fourth round. It just seems like such a long amount. I'd rather do that off stream. I'd rather prep for that than deal with that. Yeah, no, I know you can skip to later ones. I'll do a poll. How about that? Is the Twitch poll website down? You guys remember that? This was back in like 2021. The polling website was always down so I could never do polls. It was like one every other day. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, the website's down. Mods, do you mind doing a poll right now? Like in Twitch chat? Cause I can't, it's not loading. Whether I do Mount Battle right now or do what I'm doing currently. Please. Because I can suck it up for Mount Battle. I'm down to do it. It's just like, do you want to sit through that? We can just hang and talk the whole time. Chat, please vote in the chat. I believe I can just leave this, right? Yeah, I think their website's down. To be fair, I think it's literally, it's one person who runs the website, so. Oh, also, I need to check on my um, Amazon package. What does chat say? Oh, I can't leave. Never mind. But yeah, it seems what? Mount Battle? Okay, yeah, we'll do Mount Battle then. 
Gotta do it anyways, you know? So I just have to do, uh, including us three more battles. And I'm good. <clears throat> I play Ranger. I've played the first one. It's okay. It's fine. There's really nothing about it that like pulled me in, <laughs> aside from going to get Manaphy. Golly Zeno, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Pokemon Ranger 2. I don't think I've ever played that. Oddly enough, I believe I do have the box art for it, but no. <laughs> there are a couple games I just have the box art. I don't own the game. Like Conquest. I have the box art for Conquest. Yeah, I haven't played those two games. I haven't played... Where's some of the other DS ones? I didn't play the typing one, but that was Japan slash EU only, I believe. Conquest looks sick. I don't know anything about it aside from uh, Nobunaga's Rayquaza, because that thing is just cool looking. Troze? No, I have not played Troze, but I do meme on Troze. I know, I at least know what that is. Ooh, another game that I don't have, that I would actually, no joke, love to have, is Pokemon Pick Cross 3DS. Never bought that game because I just didn't really care about Pick Cross until I played um, on the Switch. Pick Cross is such a fun time waster. Dash, I played Dash. Sucks. That is the worst Pokemon game. There, are, There's really no... <laughs> no comparison. It's a free-to-play app? Wait, really? Oh. Rumble? I've played a very teeny amount of Rumble, but I do I at least know what it is. That's cute. It's a cute game. Detective Pikachu? No. Haven't played it. <laughs> Especially the new one. Wow, I'm just gonna lose, aren't I? Pokemon TV? Are you talking about channel? Channel, you at least get something. Yeah, I know. It's not in the American copy. But at least, in a way, you can get it. <laughs> I love my Pokemon Ranch as a kid. That game is so fun. Just like, you just watch them. You just watch them and run around and all that stuff. One kind of weird thing that I did as a kid is if there were games that were like simulators that could just automatically go kind of like ranch, I would just leave them on TV and watch them like they were TV. I would do it for that. And I would also do it for MLB games, like, like baseball games. I remember I just put the, like there wasn't a baseball game on for the day and I was just bored during the summer and I just put on <laughs> just two teams I wanted to see play against each other. And I sat down and I'm not even joking chat, I watched all nine innings of like a Red Sox versus Yankees game. <laughs> was that a huge waste of time? Absolutely yes, I could have just played the game. I bet you were fun as a kid. 
No, chat, I was pretty boring. I just played video games all day. I don't think that's, like, exciting to be around. <laughs> I think this is just average Nintendo gamer. Have you seen all the events for Ranch? Yeah, I have. If you're talking about the um, Japan exclusive ones with, like, Platinum update. I have. Riveting. I really love when when Giratina, Dialga, and Palka went like this. Meanwhile, the music in the background is going like this. Riveting. <laughs> Maybe this is just a team of six Macargo, all holding a quick claw. That is a suggestion you can say. Mommy. To man. <laughs> can you pour Pokemon in this? Yeah. At some point. We'll get there. Actually, we probably won't. Mm, maybe we will. Don't haul me. You get it. Don't act like you don't. Yeah, I am way too under level for these fights. I'm like 10 levels under. Definitely Battle Revolution isn't good. Um, can I be honest, chat? It's not. It's really not. When you think about Battle Revolution, for the price that it was, no. At the time, it was a huge deal because it was the best looking way that you could do like Wi-Fi battles. And when it came to recording Wi-Fi battles, that's what most people did. Because it wasn't like there were DS capture cards back then. So people would record using their like Dazzle. <laughs> And they would record their Wii for doing like competitive Wi Fi. Um, also, I believe it was Matt who did a video on it, speaking of you, um, about there was a special version of Battle Revolution that was only used in competitive play. It has never been like leaked online. Um, but there is a, there was an updated version of Battle Revolution that I believe was meant to work with Platinum. And it was never released to the public. Never, the newer versions of the game were not updated like to purchase in the store. Um, but there's like VGC footage where you can see it. Still haven't seen much about it, yeah. I think that's probably something that is lost to time. I just can't imagine that's, there's just not enough interest in that game for people to care to look for it, you know what I mean? The best way to find lost media is to spread awareness, but. I don't know. You'd have to consider that there's probably only, who knows how many discs of that. At most, like 50 copies of that game. And they probably all got destroyed. Because that's what they used to do with like promotional stuff is they used to destroy it. I doubt it. That's no, I'm serious that they did that. For example, the DS event cartridges, if you look at them online for eBay, most of them are cut in half. Cause they would they would clip the cartridge to make sure it doesn't work. Why ruin their own stuff? Because it's useless to them. They don't need it. Once it's done, it's done. There's no there's no need. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, that was the, uh, the next thing I was gonna bring up is they did, there was a giant, you guys remember the huge leak? This was 20, 2017, 2018, something around that. Um, where all like the diamond and pearl leaks and stuff like that came out. I think there were actually two, two big leaks, but it was around that time frame. Um, none of that was there. There's nothing about Battle Revolution in that leak. And it contained not like every Nintendo game, but it contained a lot of Nintendo game stuff, so. Yeah, Matt has the shiny Groudon costume. One of, <laughs> what, three people on Earth? Maybe three. A rare artifact in time. I believe there is one person who has all of them from Japan. They've hunted for all the shiny Groudon costumes and they are 100% the only person who's ever done that. I, I don't think anyone else has even invested that much time. Because if you didn't know, for context, in Battle Revolution, when you fight the bosses, they have like the costume ones. Um, you can get like Groudon, Kyogre, um, Lucario, Electivire. You fight like these these boss trainers, and the boss trainers have the costume on, but it has the same base odds of one in eight thousand one hundred ninety-two of being a shiny costume when you fight them. The downside to this is that once you defeat that person, you can never get that other costume and keep it. Sure, you can fight them o over and over and eventually they'll be wearing it, you know? But if you've already beat them one time, you can't get the costume. You're stuck with whatever you got the first time you beat them. So the way you soft reset for it is you just have to like encounter it and then forfeit if you lose, right? Forfeit if it's not the, the color you want. And then you have to go fight three trainers again to then battle that person. Anyone hunted that? Yeah, there's somebody who hunted. Matt has. There's somebody who's hunted all of them. What was I saying? Yeah, this battle took forever. <laughs> Imagine bringing that to a VGC match, though. Like, hey guys, can we use my console? And you bust out the shiny Electivire fit. <laughs> you have to win. You have if you if you don't win that battle, embarrassing. Okay, this is the final battle, and then we can go to Mount Battle. The goal though today, I, I really do want to get as many Shadow Pokemon as I can so I can purify them off stream. Um, currently I have like five, so that's fine. But I definitely do need more than that. Bonk. I also regret leading with these two Pokemon instead of Raikou and Entei. Probably would be a lot further on by now if I did that. Gobble Gobble, thank you for the six months of Prime. Show your Gold Gamer badge. I guess for using your subs, your Prime subs. <clears throat> I know this is kind of boring, so I'm doing my best to <laughs> make this section fun. Bonk. How did you manage the skin of the sea gear? You know what's funny is that was so long ago, I forget exactly the whole entire process of how you do it, and I don't miss that at all. If you remember when I did the, with I was like trying to do like the dream world stuff, it was so annoying. No, it wasn't PK Hex. It was a completely different program. It's a dream world program. But I guess in a way you could do that too. Um, 
Yeah, intro links. Yeah, shout out to Matt for helping with that. <laughs> the site you can do it with is, of course, offline. Oh. Well, that's not good. I don't even remember what the issue was. Oh, it was the data file that I had because it changed because I, like, switched consoles or something. I don't know. Do not miss that, and I'm glad that's never, like... I, I can't think of any videos that I would do that would require me to use that feature ever again. Thankfully, there are very few things in Pokemon that are like that. <laughs> like, for example, I don't think I'll ever need to hunt Feebas in this game again once I get it in this game. I can't think of any videos that I would need it for. Done the Professor Oak, been there, done the catch them all. What, uh, what else would I need it for? I'm doing a living dex right now. I, if I were to do it, it would be for fun. <laughs> I don't care to really do that. Shiny living decks, that will not happen, I promise. I already have two shiny. I have like three shiny pea bass. I do not need more. How about catch all pea bass in available games video? That's actually a great point. Yeah. I don't get how you have this much patience. At the end of the day, Chad, I'm I'm just playing this video game. <laughs> I am doing what realistically all of you have done with this game before. There are some aspects of it, I would, you know what, hey, fair enough, but I am quite literally just playing through the game right now. Gen 4 Feebas? Gen 4 Feebas is not actually bad anymore. It's not that bad. Because you can, you can figure that stuff out. Oh, I didn't mean a sunny day, why'd I do that? For like four 10 hour days straight? Yeah. But here's the thing, chat. Some people work, you know, for 10 hours a day, four days in a row. You know? I think it only looks like a lot because you probably don't stream 10 hours a day. <laughs> so the thought of working all day and then coming home to do this, yeah, that, that, would, that would be miserable. That's way too much gaming in one day. Real problem's Milotic. I'm actually prepared for Milotic. I already farmed all my berries. I should be, in theory, A-OK. -okay. Also, the uh, one thing to consider, when it comes to, like, my... <laughs> you got little squares. When it comes to, um, like, the, the more tedious challenges that I don't stream because I don't want to bore you to death, I just watch TV the entire time. I'm never paying attention to the game. Because <laughs> most of the time, it's just like this. There's nothing insightful that I'm learning from staring at Zigzagoon Battle number 806 of the day. Ice Truckers, yeah. I have, in theory, watched that. I couldn't tell you anything that's happened, but I'm pretty sure I have watched that. Because I watch a bunch of TV shows when I go to sleep. And by watch them, put them on, and then go to bed. Dramatic. Oh yeah, don't you like, you like melt and you go, Yeah, it's like you tap into hyperfixation. That's so true. What is what is Kecleon learn attract? It doesn't. It doesn't need to. Don't forget to play Pokemon Channel. I'm not playing Pokemon Channel.
Do you see that tongue? Pass. I also just don't even own Pokemon Channel. <laughs> The US version of Pokemon Channel is absolutely useless. It's only good in the UK. How much is the UK version of that? Are they closing it soon? No, the GameCube game Pokemon Channel. Not Pokemon TV, the TV channel. <laughs> Two completely different things. <laughs> And yes, that's already shut down unless you own, if you purchase it and have it on your console. And by purchase it, you just download it. No! That's bad. Why is the UK one better? Because you can get Jirachi from it. The US version does not have it. It's like 90 USD on Amazon. That's a terrible metric to track. <laughs> If I can give you a piece of advice, never buy used retro games off of Amazon. That is the that is the worst place to buy them. Buy a lot. They're almost always fake. No, I, well, I mean, sure, but it's more so the pricing. eBay, 100% is the best place to buy them. Or, like, Facebook Marketplace. Be careful for fakes. Yeah, we talked about this earlier. The only thing, chat, is buying a fake GameCube game would be quite... You, you would have to be pretty dumb <laughs> to buy a fake GameCube game. <laughs> Just imagine, like, a regular CD-ROM-sized Coliseum disc. <laughs> How do I put it in the GameCube? <laughs> How does it fit? <laughs> Just hand cut with like scissors. <laughs> Maybe you had to trim it down or something. What is happening with the counter? Hello? Error. Huge error. It'll fix. Just give it a bit. Maybe if I like click something, it'll fix. Nope, it didn't fix. Okay, well, it'll be fixed in a bit. Uh, am I going to lose it? I think so. What am I even using for the counter? It connects to my Google spreadsheet. So when I, when I check things off, it will, um, fill it in on screen. It's insanely helpful. It's only broke like one other time and it was for two minutes. It's just easier than manually checking it every single time. That's why I don't keep counters on screen. This is a 1v2, and we are 1v losing. Okay, well that was embarrassing. Let me just check it here. Hmm, why is it not working? I just tested the code for it and it works perfectly fine. Oh yeah, it's really broken. Oh no. 
Wait, am I still alive? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think it crashed. Hi. Yeah, um, I just tried to fix the counter. I just opened up the properties file for the counter and it froze. <laughs> so. You know what? If it breaks, chat, it broke. It's fine. We don't worry about it. I, I just tried to remove the source. Like, I tried to just, like, make it so the 88 doesn't appear on screen. On stream and it's crashed. Sorry. Anyway, let's go to Mount Battle. <laughs> Boy, is that going to be really fun trying to splice together those two streams on uh, in editing software. That's not going to take nine hours. Tomorrow's VOD is going to be going up late. No, we're not doing I'm disabling it. No. No. We're not doing that. That does not count, chat. I will literally, my arms are going to fall off. Uncle John Stone says no. This is going to be such a crazy combo of two Pokemon. Does stream quality go down? Hmm. No. Should be fine. Yep. Hey, John, favorite Nuzlocke that you've ever done? I think Sun. I think the better question to ask is what's the one I've liked the least? But yeah, I would say, I'll say Sun. The one that I liked the least was Black too. There's just nothing, I, there's nothing we could have taken away from that. Genuinely. Yeah, so this is going to take a bit to get through this, but you know, hey, that's the grind. What was wrong with that one? Just nothing happened. <laughs> like, and, and it took so many runs too, and I genuinely could not name anything. Anything that happened aside from the fact that the majority of the game was just hard before the second gym. After you got to the second gym, you could pretty much cruise through everything unless you got rolled by um, Dragon Rage. Phil, thanks for the 26 months. I appreciate it. Someone asked if my viewership has been going up more. Yeah. It has. I'm very grateful for that. I do appreciate you guys for sticking around. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's nice. I tend to not look at viewer count anymore. Sometimes I'll peek at it during stream, but here's the thing. And I, I am one, I've mentioned this before. I don't really check like YouTube metrics because I'm thankfully in a position where I don't really need to check and be like, oh, am I making enough money to pay bills or whatever? Which is great, right? Um, but I don't like checking because if it goes down one month, I get sad, which is not, that's not a good mentality to have. It makes me feel like I'm doing worse and that impacts the, like the, the way that I do and conduct my things, right? Um, and Twitch is the same way. There's some months I'll have like a thousand viewers. Cool. There'll be some months where I'll have 600. Also, cool. That is still a great amount of viewership and I'm grateful for each and every single person that shows up. 
And so I shouldn't let that reflect, one, the output of my content and how I feel about my streams. Right? I think it's just a, it's a silly mentality to have. I should be streaming the same attitude for 10 viewers as I would for 10,000. So I just don't even check. I hope you're always happy. I'm not. <laughs> Watch more. Now you must admit, was that my uh, defeat of a marvel of pure elegance? I don't like I had to confirm every single time. There's nothing I don't know about Pokemon. I know it all. That's me for real. <clears throat> this is reality. Over time, chat, I'm only going to become less popular. There will be a moment. There will be time. Uncle Johnstone will not be a, a, a big streamer. You already peaked? If you count big video, yeah, for sure. I already peaked. That's a hard video to, to top. I don't I don't think I'll ever top that video. Which video? It's my largest video on my, my main channel. Yeah, that's shiny Professor Oak. I should call it big video because it's easier to say than I caught a shiny before every single badge. Four. Did you say you were working on an even bigger video? Yeah, I haven't worked on it recently, and by recently this year. <laughs> I haven't worked on it since like early December, and that's because I've I was doing um, Indigo Disc stuff. Why am I doing Mount Battle? Because uh, one, po I had to do it anyways at one point, and two, um, I need to grind, so I just have to get through the easy battles before I can start grinding. Sorry for what you're going through. I was, I'm having fun. It is like this part's a little bit boring because, you know, no one likes grinding. But <clears throat> I do like these long challenges. I'm starting to think that this video is going to take a lot longer than I anticipated it was going to. But that, you know what? Is that a shock to me? No, that's most of my videos. <laughs> um, I will say that once we finish all of Coliseum... I will probably go back to Emerald rather than do XD because the game plan was to do Coliseum and then jump right into XD and then go back to Emerald. I think we're going to take a little bit of break from this. How long do you anticipate it to be? Like two weeks. Yeah, I have to do Fire Relief Green as well. That's fine though. I can, I can crank through Fire Relief Green in a day for sure. There are many Pokemon that I really need to catch in that game. There's going to be a lot of breeding that needs to be done in Emerald. Um, but although this the, the 88 doesn't seem like a lot, I'm actually a pretty decent chunk through this challenge. Because you have to consider there's a lot of things I need to evolve. There's a lot of things I need to breed. Um, that does have a lot of value, like <laughs> long term. I do need to catch duplicates of a lot of things. Uh, one thing I have been doing in Emerald, like at night, is I've been fighting Gabby and Ty, which is like a money machine. It's those reporters. You can just keep fighting them over and over. They spawn in the same locations and they just go in a cycle. And they, they it's it's like one turn. I just use an earthquake. I knock out their entire team and take like seven grand per battle. Um, and so I just do that. But it's also good for XP to get Shroomish up so I can teach it Spore. I 
Uh. Well, so they have a fire relief green is getting the starters. I think it's that bad. Because all I do is just play the game and make it a little bit further and then trade him. And I'll just breed the rest in Emerald. Can't trade to a Hoenn game? Well, I mean, what I could do is I could trade from my incomplete copy of Leaf Green, trade it to Fire Red, which is complete, and then trade it to, to the Hoenn games. I didn't think about that in the moment, you're absolutely right, but that would be, you know, I do have a workaround for it at least. Because I, I have a, I'm going to use a copy of Fire Red just to catch some Pokemon that I need that are only in Fire Red. I'm not going to play it from scratch. There are some games I just won't do that because like, why, why? <laughs> this challenge is already long enough, I can make it a little bit easier for me. Complete Fire Red Leaf Green can't trade with incomplete Fire Red Leaf Green? I don't think that that's true. Oh, right, yeah, no, I had it right. Okay. Then there's no incentive to trade throughout the entirety of your playthrough. <laughs> Trading is like one of the core aspects of Pokemon. If you can't trade until you complete 100% of the game, that wouldn't make any sense. If you have anything that's not, that you can't normally get, yeah, that would make more sense. Uh, sure, whatever. Stop that. Or the Pokemon Box mod, yeah, that's true. Oh, your Endure failed. I was like, well, how, how did I knock you out? <laughs> New Suicune hack! So, how about... Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll feel it out, but I have in my head an idea of how far we should go. Considering we're already at battle number 8. We're doing pretty well. Obviously, we're fighting level 20, so it would be impossible to not do well. But, uh, as we get further along, I think it wouldn't be that bad to get to 50. And by then, by the time that we're 50, we're strong enough to just kind of rip through the rest of the game. I don't really remember the levels at 50, but I would imagine the amount of XP that we get from 50 battles would suffice to at least be somewhat good. Somewhat good for the rest of the game. Um, surf. Yeah, because this combination of Raikou and Suicune is just so strong. Oh, well, it's not good for everything. Annie, thank you for gifting a sub. 50 is good, but 55 would seal the game. That's a huge difference, though, when you really think about it. Because I'm only at level 40 right now. Are all battles double? Yep. Wait, your ground type. <laughs> I'm being walled! Uh. Wait, where was it delivered to? My mailbox? Yeah. Copy Coliseum's here. I'm just not gonna go to my mailbox to do that. Ag Angus? Your name is Angus? Ange? Ange. I thought it was Agnes, which is a real name, but An Angus?
Don't you purify all shadows? I'm gonna have it done. Not to worry. I have most of them so far. Most of what I caught is purified. It's good that Raikou is faster. That makes a huge difference in this in like this whole setup. Her name is Angus because she has beef with you. It, that's not how you spell Angus. There are four sniffas watching stream. <laughs> what are they smelling? But how? I broke her back. <laughs> I, be I beat her so bad I broke her back. Does is Boingo the one? Okay, actually, you know what? That's fine. Because I believe Boingo has the experience share, yeah. Also, Boingo's modest. Didn't even talk about that. That's crazy. What is the reasoning why they ask you to advance to the next zone? Is it like your save and quit option? Never really thought about that. I feel like it's just like not necessary. I guess it skips you walking all the way back down. I don't know. This game is technically behind. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to area 90 today. <laughs> I guess we could. That'd be a long day, Chad. That'd be a long day. Oh, three Pokemon? Oh no. We're done for, Chad. Four? This is not what I expected. Does not matter. Yeah, I know you can get the time flute. I don't think I really need it, to be honest with you. I've done all the hard ones except for Tyranitar and Metagross. But if I catch those today, I'll have them purified by tomorrow. Question is, can I catch those in this stream time? Eh, that's debatable. But I'll try. See ya. One thing I really just don't like about Gen 3 is that it has to like showcase too much in battles. Like the fact that you, if you uh, do a dual slot attack, it doesn't do the animation for like both Pokemon at the same time. Same thing as Gen 3 or like as Emerald. It's really annoying. That was a nice optimization that they added in um, Gen 4. What's a doubles build? <laughs> Chad, does this count as a build? You've cleared area one. You really are talented. Yep. Coupons. Hooray. Hi, Smile. Oh, yes, you cleared area one. Congrats. Wow, 100 Poke coupons. No. How long did that take? I guess you can't really check, can you? <laughs> Wait, can I rearrange moves in battle? Because we can make this real easy. I can just, we can just be A pressing the whole time. I timed it. <laughs> That's not going to bode well later on. Yeah, I can't change him in battle. Once I get out of the battle, I will. I'll make it so I just do rain dance and surf and we're good.
Look at this great XP. Galvin. Jalvin? Galvin. That's the hard part of this game. It's not the battles. It's figuring out what people's names are. Oh yeah, right. Um, let me change... Cool. So now, I can just press A. Pabe. <laughs> Ruler boy, Pabe. You doing Mount Battle already? I'm doing it to grind. Because my team is weak and tiny and small. Look at that. Look at the speed on that. I love fast menus. I just had such a dumb moment. So I borrowed a book from somebody, but they rented it, or they got it from um, a library, and they're like, hey, remember to drop the book off today. And I was like, oh, I can't. I'll send you the money, though, for like the upcharge, because it's supposed to be returned today, or tomorrow, whatever. And they're like, why can't you just drop it off tonight? And I thought about it, and I realized that they have book drop-offs, and there's no re reason I can't. <laughs> I can just go after stream and just drop the book off. <laughs> in my head, I thought you had to like go walk in. Shout out, read, okay? Yeah, I'm too busy gaming. I might be a wizard losing too. Heard that. John, have you been to a library? Yes. I'm actually streaming in a library right now. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I put the lie in library. My mom used to work in a library. Fun fact. So I used to go there like after school. Dur in middle school, I used to go uh, like four, f four times a week ish. Um. Cause my, I used to do like community service with my mom. Cause she would work with like, uh, local artifacts. <laughs> How old does it have to be before it's an artifact? I feel like that's where I'm, I'm kind of making it sound way older than it actually is. Like couple, couple hundred years old things she would be working with. Um, but I would go there to help, like, categorize all of that stuff. Like, archival keeping of, like, books and stuff. I used to do that on, like, uh, when I would get out of school. How are you sitting like that? Okay, I get, it's easier than it looks. I'm gonna be honest, it's way easier than it looks. But in the moment... I thought his core strength had to be absolutely nuclear. It looked like a, like a like a vertical plank. <laughs> do I want to do that for like an hour? No, but I mean, yeah, I definitely couldn't. Anyways, my mom says she loves your Squirtle rug. I bought it from a company called Market. I believe their website's marketstudios.com. I don't believe that they sell them currently, but you can buy them secondhand. The company's called Market. They have a Charmander and a Squirtle rug. My hard read for them is that it's, it would cost you about, like, if you wanted one, 200 bucks. Which, if you think about it, if you know anything about custom rugs, that's actually, for its size, not that bad. Custom rugs are very, very, very expensive. And I bought it for 180 
bonk. I can't believe my stream crashed just because of a Pokedex counter. That really is nuts. <laughs> So the Guzzlord Beast Ball moment? Yeah, that's a funny one. Yeah, rugs are just in general very expensive, not even custom ones. Like a solid rug is like 500 bucks. <laughs> like you can buy like the Walmart ones, whatever. Those are fine. But if you go to like a rug store, you're paying heavy coin. Lotad dead. My browser wasn't working with the stream, so now you're on my 60-inch TV. Hey, everyone! <laughs> hey, guys! Yep, yeah, I'm in the living room, baby! I always want a custom rug with the Resident Evil 2 PS1 desk. Okay, so let me put you on game a little bit, because I know exactly what you're talking about. You can buy uh, carpets that have, like, they're just CDs. Of your favorite video game um do your research when you buy them they do sell some of them for like 50 bucks they are awful awful quality you can buy the actual legit ones that will run you some some heavy coin but a lot of them are just printed on they're printed on rugs and they're not like good quality in the slightest if you don't really care about that, like you're not gonna like stand on the rug or be even close to the rug. From a distance they look cool. <laughs> but they're pretty bad quality. Cause they're a dropship product from like AliExpress. I remember seeing a uh they had there's somebody who's selling them they had like a halo 3 rug and like modern warfare 2 and i was like oh that'd be so sick in my office and then i actually looked at the physical like people who bought them and they're like yeah this thing is terrible <laughs> i was like okay probably should not buy that my rug and this sign are the only like two really neat things i have and this is broken unfortunately so I have little neat things on my shelf over here, but you can't see them, so it's like not... Is it really a decoration? You can't see it from my stream cam? Had it break? I kept it on for too long. It still works if I plug it in, it just does not last the entire time that I have it plugged in. It's a shame. It's not like it's burnt out, because the lights function the issue is that the that the lighting control doesn't work after a certain amount of time of being on. It's like within an hour. It will just, it will go to the max brightness and it will stay so bright for so long that it will burn out. So in a way it's burning out, but it's not like not functional. And here's the reality, when you think about it, neon signs are supposed to last for a pretty long time. Like, a store is open for what, 8, eight 10 hours a day? Maybe longer, 12 hours? This sign could not handle being live for 12 hours. <laughs> I'm the one who has to be live, not you! Space Tarts, what do you think about this? Gaming. That's what I thought too. Thanks for the 40 months of tier two. Let me see if I can find some, some things on my thing to show you. It's now showcase time, Chad. I'm gonna show you all the things that I have. I've been getting into building these little things a lot recently. I haven't, I haven't bought one in a while, but it, these are fun. They're like $10 and you can build them. This took me like maybe three minutes. I have some other ones that take a little bit longer. Like I got this Ho-Oh that I built. It like flaps its wings and stuff like that. It's kind of neat, right? 
I didn't realize how cheap models were. But it's actually kind of crazy. Like that ho was maybe like $12 that I bought at a convention. Uh, I got some stuff from the Pokemon company that's kind of cool. Like I got a Quaxly. They gave me a Quaxly figurine. This. Little duck. This is from Worlds, which is kind of neat because I didn't get to go there. I also bought this at a convention. I'm gonna be honest with you, I very much overpaid for this, but in my defense, I didn't know what it was. I kind of got scammed, I'm not gonna lie. So, I bought this. It looks cool, right? It's a rocket ball. It's a rocket ball. And it opens up and you can put stuff in it, right? Um, at the convention, same same place that I bought the uh, the the ho -Oh. They had this, but they had a bunch of them on display. And this is the only one that was like a unique ball that you couldn't get from the wand company. And uh, I was like, okay, I'll buy that. The issue though is that you couldn't touch any of them, which is understandable because they don't want people to steal things. But that I couldn't check the quality on it. This is made of plastic. It's like a plastic, maybe almost like a silicon mold type of thing. Um, it was $55. And I didn't know that until I ran my card. So I was like, and I can't, it would have been really awkward, especially in front of like my friends to be like, no, never mind, <laughs> as they're Crap, ringing me yes. up. And it's really tough too, because you know, I'm using my credit card for contactless payment. It's not like they, I like see it. Cause I like, in most cases, if you want to buy something using contactless yeah. payment, you just, you know, you put it on there, you're ready to go. It's not like you see the amount <laughs> and you prep to insert your card. It's just, you're already ready to go. I just see the 55 for like two seconds. It goes, boom, ding. I'm like, okay, all right, we're good. In my defense, I should have asked how much it was. So you know what, L for me. But it's, it's kind of cool. It's also a write-off. So that's even cooler. But these, however, are incomparably better. The wand balls are so sick. They are really expensive, but genuinely, the price on these, it is in a way, if you like collectibles, it is kind of justified. I think it would be more reasonable if they were like 70 or 80, but they have like genuine weight to them. They light up, they have a stand you can put them in. The stand also lights up. It's pretty cool. Um, it is still really expensive for them, but they're cool. Um, I got my strategy guides. I already showed you that. Yeah, the, the balls also have like different, they have different lighting options. Cause this is, it's just like full illuminated. You, it, you can't really see it, but it's glowing. It has like a red one. Wait. <laughs> it doesn't really come up on camera, but it's red. I promise it's red. I got some fun, silly little sealed games. Look at this, or not sealed, sorry, but like complete. Look at this copy of the Pokemon trading card game. It looks like it's it was just like fresh out of the shrink wrap. Okay, maybe not, but like, it looks good. And I'm not knowledgeable about it, but I believe that also, that's the, uh, the cool Porygon one. What's the company on those balls? Wand, like the actual, like, wand. I'm gonna go to the bathroom after this, by the way. This guy's fit is wild. <laughs> oh, pine cones. Is that friend of Safari? I don't think they've made Safari. It's the friend. Guys, thanks for the 41 months. Thanks for crabbing.
I also have a bunch of N64 games. I've just never shown them on stream. Oh, actually, yeah, I have. What am I talking about? I used to have a setup over on, like, this wall with a bunch of N64 games. I just don't have them up anymore because I don't have anywhere to put them. <laughs> I ran out of space. Eventually, Chad, I mentioned this earlier. I will have another house. Not two, clarification. I would buy an, a different house. I'd sell this one and get another one. I would have, um, ideally, I would like to get a basement set up with like a decent sized room so I can kind of like really decorate it how I want to. Um, Cause I really do love this setup. And maybe this is uh, silly to say, but you know, you always want it to like look better, right? This is the best setup I've had by a lot. But it's motivating. When this is your job, you don't want to sit in a boring room. It's just kind of like you guys remember my my OG like last home office that I had. It was so sad. It was so sad. It was just an empty room. It was actually larger than this one, which made it even more depressing. It was just an <laughs> it was just a floor. And here's the thing, chat is I had the money to decorate it. I just chose not to. I had like a shoe rack on this side, a whiteboard and a glass cabinet that was in the back. That was the entirety of my office setup. Alright, we're 20 done. That wasn't, it's not been that bad. Yeah, that was my 2020 setup room. And some of 2021. Um, no? Who do I swap this out for? Clear. Yeah, I still have the green screen. It's actually right. It's propped up on my wall. I do have it. I just don't really use it, obviously. That's why I use the green screen because I had nothing in my office. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Keep pressing B. Just dance until I get back. I got sweet boy. I woke him up from his nap, so he's not very happy to be here. But hey. I will say he's lighter. I'm feeding him less, but not like in a messed up way, in a you won't be fat way. <laughs> you feel nice and skinny, skinny mini.
Put him in the back. I think he'll lay down. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, he's a cutie. <clears throat> you ever have cat toys for them in the office? I don't typically let them in the office because what happens is that they will walk in and if I close the door behind them, they'll just sit there and scratch the door and then scratch the carpet. And plus, they don't even really want to be in here. Where are we at in the game? Um, we caught all the legendaries, so we're now we're just um, we're taking on Mount Battle. I'm not done with the game even close, but I need to grind. So he's just laying on the carpet now. He's just chilling. He has your eyes. Yep. Well, that's my son. So. Hey, buddy. Okay. Well, also, I can't have you go under the computer or under the the desk. I know. I know, sad news. Come here, baby. Let me pick you up. Come on. Because he gets stuck under the cables, and if he rips something out, it's really bad, so. It's another reason for him to not be in here. Come here, honey. Come on. Yes, he's already stuck in a cable. Baby. Yeah, okay. Well, come on. Got this. Drop the bomb. <laughs> Within three minutes, he already got stuck under a cable. <laughs> you know what I really love having? A super cold <laughs> sausage, egg, and cheese. Mmm. Boy, that hits the spot. Mmm, yum. Hot take, I don't mind any cool food. Yeah, I don't really care either. I just know it bothers you guys. <laughs> Sorry to say you'll go no further, Sonny. Desla. Cold pizza is better than warm pizza? No realm. No realm, is that true? I feel like you worked in food service, you get over cold food real quick. And additionally, um, cleaning dishes, you have a lot higher tolerance. Like, you don't worry about, like, getting food on your hands while you're washing dishes. I met people that that's really bothered. <laughs> I was a dishwasher for, like, like, almost two years. I've dealt with gross gunk. A little bit of salad on my hands is, you know, not a bother. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to kill your, uh, your children. You were a dishwasher, what model? Uh, I worked for Samsung. So anytime, I was basically, I worked as like a uh, contractor in a way. So anytime in my area, if the dishwashers were broken, they would call Samsung and basically I would climb inside for them. So they'd still load the dishes like normal. They couldn't close it because I'm in the back of the dishwasher, but I would just scrubbing, I'd be scrubbing it down before putting it in. What really sucked though is because most of the, most of the situations, it's they're not like dishwashers; they're more sanitizers, and all that does is it doesn't really clean them. So I'm cleaning them, but I also have to dry them. And like you would be thinking, well, how are you gonna dry it as a as a human man? It was mostly like this. I'm just sitting here. I can receive a dish from the dishwasher. I go. And then I had to hand it, and that's the worst part is it'd be one by one, too. And that's not, it's not optimal to just like fix the dishwasher at that point. Cause like why call me to go do it when they could just call a guy to go in and, and serve maintenance on it?
If I could do a shiny dish squeak, I would make this bit too. I don't even know how to make this sound, like how to explain it. And it's funny because or it's, it's a good one to do because you don't have to like move your mouth. <laughs> it's like a, just a really high pitched noise. <laughs> Roar, he says. Hey, John, you're a real one for doing that. Streets won't forget the help that you gave. No one remembers the dishes I cleaned. They only remember the dishes I didn't clean. Why was that a good bet? Did you just do that at the top of your head? Chat, I- listen. I know sometimes my my life moments are unconventional, but that doesn't mean that they're bits. Chad, I really experience being inside of a dishwasher. For hours! Hours! They keep me in there. <laughs> I, I didn't spin, thankfully. Is this also a bit? Guys, listen. Yes. Yes. John Little Dish Man. Shut up. Did it pay well? I mean, well, since I worked for Samsung, I got like 10% off a new phone every year. So that was kind of cool. You know what's nuts to think about? Samsung makes so many things. As a company, they make a ridiculous amount of things that you don't even think about. Like, I'm pretty sure that they make, like, music players. Like, back in the 2000s, they made music players, they're making TVs. I work for Samsung, it's insane what they make. See chat, and you, did you also work inside of a dishwasher? What, what appliance did you have to go inside of? Your retail? Okay. In a way, you were inside something, right? You were inside a building. Was it a Samsung building, by chance? It was, see? <clears throat> that's that's like their whole model. Because I, I, initially I thought it was like you're just selling TVs. No, they just want you inside of their products. <laughs> I pray for those people inside those phones. <laughs> You thought Siri was like an automatic AI thing? No, that's a real- they trapped a woman in your phone. Chat, do you think I'm inside your phone right now? Do you guys think of me as a real human being, or you just think of me as like a little guy in your phone? <laughs> yeah, like how do you- how do you genuinely chat? How do you perceive me? Do you perceive me actually as a guy? Or just like a figure? Like just a- a online being? <clears throat> Funny man in the box, yeah. A human person, yep. A guy who should seek help, we love that.
Love to see that. It was surreal seeing you for the medals video, IRL. Thanks. Wait, 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 hold on, what? No, 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 no. What'd you say? Would you like to become a teacher in my place? Okay. Let's go back to your place. Let's do a little, little teaching. I'm down to learn. Wait, in my place? Oh, no, she's saying replacement. All right, abort, abort mission, abort mission. I thought we were spitting game for a second there. No, sir. No, sir. Your wife is absent. <laughs> yeah. I'm divorced when I'm at Mount Battle, honey. The ring comes off. How many battles are there? There's a hundred of them, um, but we're not doing a hundred. Once we get to like round four, the battles will actually give me enough XP that I will be leveling up. <laughs> Are we doing 50? I mean, we're already at, we're like halfway done. It hasn't even been that long. Two hundred if you count the in-game story or the battle mode. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Is anyone doing Palentine's Day where you get your friends gifts? No. No, I'm not. <clears throat> You're so immediate to answer that. Absolutely not. No, <laughs> it wasn't. Which which right? You don't. We don't have friends. You don't have online friends. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. It's a good thing I have a new Elgato coming in. I think that's going to be a really funny bit if it fails, but like later when I have to use both Elgatos to try and record and like mess with that cable, that will be quite an interesting experience. Oh wait, now that I think about it, that might be a disaster. How do I get the cable out when I put it in? <laughs> Do you consider your viewers as real people? I consider you guys as a collective of people. Because here's the reality chat. It's, um, I don't know you guys. Like, there's some people in chat that I have talked to, like, one-on-one. -on -one. There's some people I've met in person that are one-on-one. -on -one. But I don't know you. Even those people, I do not know. Like, I've talked to Beth before. We've had some conversations. I don't know who Beth is. Like, at, and she doesn't know who I am. Like, at, at, like, the real, like, surface level. I've talked to Storm, you know, but I think that's the, that's kind of the best way to handle it. Teach throne, people can conduct their, however they want to like stream or whatever. But I think like there has to be kind of a barrier in a way. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird about it, but. It's not like it's a it's a ill intent thing. It's just you know, as is, it's hard to maintain like the friends I have in real life because I'm just like streaming and working all the time, and thankfully that they are very understandable or also content creators and understand completely. It also is uh, another side note, um, is that if you establish too close of a, a relationship with people online as like a content creator, I one just kind of find that a little bit strange. But it, when it comes to social situations, if they see you in like you, when you go out to like conventions and stuff like that, uh, it's a very weird dynamic because sometimes 
people will will see you as a like friend and in a way that's not uh, healthy because I have had outings with um with friends where we go out to a <laughs> I'm trying to word this very carefully um, we have gone out to like conventions and people will follow us everywhere which is fine like if you want to hang if we're out you know doing stuff whatever that's fine but like following us outside of the convention to like try and like come hang with us like in like I've had people ask to come to my like hotel room and not in like that way but like follow me to hang out with me and it makes me very uncomfortable and I hate to be that like because I'm, I'm sure I've definitely made some people upset but I've I have told people like all right man I uh, I'll see you later, you know what I mean? Not like get away from me because like obviously I don't mean it like that. And some people just don't have that social thing. That's totally fine. It's understandable. Because I have to also tread carefully and you know understand that some people don't think the same way that I do, and that could also be because of a condition. So I try to be very empathetic of that, right? Um. Because some people just do not understand that social cue, and sometimes you just need to be very blunt and be like, Hey, alright, I'm gonna go, you have fun with your thing. You know? Um, so. I do understand. But yeah, it is, uh, that is also why I try and keep a distance. That doesn't mean I'm gonna be mean to you. <laughs> if you see me in person, I would love for you to come and be like, Hey! You're, you're not as bald and short as I thought you were. I would love that. What's your weirdest fan act interaction? Um, somebody came up to me and they said, Wow, you're a lot shorter than I thought you'd be. And <laughs> no hesitation, chat. My response to them was, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'll bring stilts next time. And the funniest part is that was the end of the conversation. That was it. That was literally, that was the, int that was all that they came up to me to say. <laughs> Did I? No, I don't want stilts. Sorry. <clears throat> it's like in Fallout. You have four dialogue options. They just chose like the one with like the, that's like in the yellow or in the red, <laughs> like risk option. <laughs> But on a side note, it is really fun going to conventions. And I would like to know, Chad, this does not happen a lot. A lot of people don't like come up to me or even know who I am. Um, but it is fun to like see people be like, hey, I like your video. Or they're like, hey, I also make videos. I'm like, oh, cool. Nice. It's just the issue. I don't, I don't think I'm going to any conventions this year because like it, with the exception of maybe worlds, maybe I'll go to worlds. That is kind of a, uh, of a gray area if I'm being honest, but um, I might go to worlds. Would you be cool if someone asked to take a picture with Chad? I've, yeah, I've done that a bunch. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's not cringe by the way. <laughs> it's not cringe. Don't listen to Colleen. She doesn't know what she's talking about. It was so sick of me to ask that. <laughs> that was such a funny moment. Oh my god. Um, I don't think I have to talk to you every single time, right? I just auto, I just auto get the stuff, right? Oh. All right, chat. As you can see, it's now scary and dangerous, which means surely things will get harder. But yeah, so I used to go to, um, my, my friend group would go to AWA, and it's Anime Week in Atlanta. It's in Atlanta, obviously. Um, and this year, or last year, was the last year that they were, they were doing it in the certain venue that they were doing in. Which, by the way, they were doing it, like, almost, it was in a hotel, but the hotel was connected to a strip mall. It's, I, I, there's no way I can explain it where you'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. 
because like a majority of the convention is inside of the mall, not inside of the hotel, but the hotel is a subsection of the mall. It was just a disaster. And so naturally they moved it. But the issue with that is that they moved it to a another venue. If you guys have ever been to MomoCon, which is also in Atlanta, um, they moved it to that venue. I don't know the name of the place. But um, the issue is that they're doing that convention, which they normally did it in like August, which is a nice like middle ground. Sometimes it's September. Oh no, sorry, it's October. It's usually around Halloween. It's a nice middle ground area of the year to go because it's right before all the Pokemon stuff happens and it's, you know, like still kind of in the summer, so it's nice to go out. They, um, they decide to now do it in December, which is also fine, but they're doing it like a week before Christmas. So there's just no, like, who is going to go to that? Who is going to go to a convention like one week before? They're like, I'm going home the week before Christmas. I think they're doing it like December 16th or something. Whatever the two weekends before. I might go to PAX East. I'm still trying to figure that out, to be honest. But um, yeah, if anything, I go to. I don't even know when Worlds is. I think that might be a little too late to go to that. Boston, I can manage. My record's been blemished. Your name's Hurtin. Your life's been blemished by being named that. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Fun old man Higson. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go down to Fun old man Higson's house. We can hang out by the water and maybe do a little fishing. Listen. I know he's a little grumpy guy during most of the school days, but he's pretty cool on the weekends. We hung out. He showed me his pet birds. Hey guys, I'm old man Higgin. He even addresses himself as old man. Tell us a joke as old man Higson. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven had a criminal record of killing 14 other letters. His life was very much in danger. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah, seven's not a letter. Don't call me an illiterate king. <sighs> yeah, Chad, there's some, there's some things we don't really joke about. That's not that's not a good joke. It's not even a joke. Hey Dre, what's going on? Just playing the hardest game ever. Fun old lady, <laughs> a law. She's part of a law, which is you can't uh, hurt old people. Yeah, we're not on the big grind. We're just grinding our team. We will be doing the big grind at some point. Fun old lady seems like a setup for a horror movie. Um, no meme. Yes, I've seen it. Uh, Chad, what, can you help me? What was the name of that movie? It's like kind of recent. It's about like this chill, old, chill like 45 year old woman who worked at, yeah, Ma. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't say it. That's actually the name of the movie. It's called Ma. Yeah, it's like this chill like 50 year old woman who like buys alcohol for these kids in high school. And she's like, why don't you just come chill at my place? And so she goes and all the kids go and hang out in her basement and she like starts throwing parties there for like the entire school. 
And and that's the end of the movie. It doesn't get bad at all and weird and uncomfortable. That's the end of the movie. They're just, they're, everybody's just happy. All right, Annie. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. EP dogs. That's me after I walk a lot in one day. EP dogs. <laughs> Glasses, man. <laughs> these are these are legitimately the worst named humans in any video game. Not even not even Pokemon. Glasses, man. They couldn't give him a profession. He could have been like optometrist, right? It has to be glasses, man. <laughs> His only trait as a human is bad vision. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Snoot the Sniffs enjoyed stream today. He is very pleased. Snoot the Sniff. Thanks 100 bits. Chad, we're back to it. Cool things in my room. Oh, I have this. Real ones, no. This is like ridiculously overpriced. Like actually insanely overpriced. The combo packs for Pokemon games are so expensive. That copy is, that's the Ultra Sun and Moon uh, with the steel book in it. It's like three, $400. Why? I do have the target, I have the sword and shield, gold target steel book. That thing is kind of sick, not gonna lie. Wait, do I have it? Yeah, I do. Hold on. I think I've opened this like once just to get the games out. Yeah, look at this is sick. Come on, look at that. Isn't that fire? I've never used it because here's the downside about these steel books is it holds two games. Like, why wouldn't they make it, engineer it? Like, if it's gonna be a special edition that you use, why would you not make it so it holds, let's be realistic, 16 games? Why does it have flaps here to store paper that one isn't even in it, and two, doesn't even fit because it's going to be blocking the cartridges. Riddle me that, America. Yeah, it is show and tell because I can't make these battles exciting. Oh, I also found my three copies of the Scarlet and Violet double pack. So that's good in case I really need those. game why do you have three I believe I have about six copies of that game oh, oh I tipped my Wii over oh god super Metroid yeah I feel like, in my opinion, chat, not to be controversial, that is a terrible name to name a trainer in this game. Or just in general. <laughs> they really, they didn't really think over that, that name. It's, uh, it's, uh, no, no, it's not, yeah, no, it, it sounded out, chat, it's not, it's not that word, it sounds like something else.
Yeah, it kind of looks like a slur. <laughs> is that a slur? I can't, I don't know. I've never used it, so I, you know. Not, not that I do use slurs, but I'm just saying, like, I've never seen that. Okay, you know what, that's it. I tried, Chad. I really tried to recover from that one. Hey, guys, you have favorite colors? You have favorite colors? You want to you share? <laughs> Jeez, I was really... <sighs> love me, Raikunente. And everybody on Earth. I love everybody. Yeah, I don't like speaking. Too blue. And blue equals sad. <laughs> that's why your room is blue? No, no, that's that's entirely a different reason, for sure. Am I going to be running XD? Yep. Even though I lost, I still love Pokemon. What is it with these trainers losing and doing exercises? He's doing hip thrusts when he loses. Guy Roan. <laughs> Ronnie? No, it's Ronnie. Sorry, guys. It's Ronnie. Just a, it's just a uh, southern way to spell it. Let's. Here's the thing. Guy is is not as bad as like glasses man because I know a person named Guy. Not personally, but I know who Guy Fieri is. He's a guy, and his name is Guy. Makes sense. I know a guy named Glasses Man. Well, that separates me from you. Hey, chat, friendly reminder, if you love, um, if you love me, consider using your Prime Gaming sub. Link your Amazon account to your Twitch account. If you hate Volbeat, make sure to drop a follow. I hate Volbeat. If you hate Illumise, also. I don't love you, that's parasocial. You're not prime sub to me, don't worry, you're okay. <clears throat> I hate every Pokemon, that's not true. Boom kaboom. Oh my god. Chat, the bombs are going off. Thanks for four months, Mario, Mario. That's actually Mario's legal name, did you know that? That's not even a bit. That's Mario's name, is Mario, Mario. There's an author who's done a few no Halo novels named Kelly Gay. Okay. That's why they're the Mario Bros. Yeah, Luigi Mario. <clears throat> what would I change Mario's first name to? Ernie. Definitely Ernie. D you look at him, tell me he doesn't look like an Ernie. That or super.
Chad, how do you how do you play games? Do you like like how do you what is your your seating setup look like? Do you sit and and play like this right like the way I stream? Or are you like kick back and relax? Or are you like gamer gamer style where you're like you just like kick your feet up? Yeah, baby, this is the life. I look like Nick Merckx. Guys, can I- wait. Wait, why is the chat broken? Oh god, is it because I sat? Is it because I sat down? Oh god. The game- am I still live? Chat, am I st am I still live? I am? Okay. <laughs> what if I, if I stand up, do you think it'll fix it? I'm scared to mess with anything now, because I think my OBS is just going to crash. <clears throat> Dare I? Oh, no. Oh wait, no, it's fine now, it's fine now, it's fine now. Yeah, I think it's OBS. Okay, that's good to note. If it freezes, I just leave it alone. That was so weird, because was the, was the game frozen? Or was it just the chat that was frozen? Like, was anything else different? That's so strange. Cause I couldn't click anything on my OBS and I didn't click anything, but like when I hovered over, nothing like highlighted. Okay, well I guess I'll update OBS. That's one of the the scariest things as a streamer. Updating any of your streaming software. <laughs> Cause if it works now, it might not work in the next update. Stream Deck is a prime example. I have upgrade updated uh Steam Deck, Stream Deck. It was where I used to like switch scenes and stuff like that. Um, I updated it once and it cleared out everything. Literally everything that I had saved. I had to start from scratch. I was so annoyed I didn't stream that day. Because it was like maybe 10 minutes before I was about to go live. You miss Mary B? No. No, we're just, um, we're just grinding right now. Well, I would say we are now grinding. This guy's name is Trench. Yeah, we're in Mount Battle. We're almost at Battle 40, are we not? Or are we at Battle 40? Or 39? <laughs> yeah, the XP gain is pretty, pretty bad so far. I missed five hours of gameplay. Not really. <laughs> Not really that much. The only thing you missed is I caught Raikou, which that was unbelievably clutch. Oh, that was 40. Okay. Okay, we're at the we're in the thirties now. This is fine. Kinda. That's my favorite game of all time, Halo Three. Without a doubt. Reach is up there too. I had more fun with Reach as a multiplayer game, but um, as like a campaign, that game is so good. Also, Red Dead Redemption 2. It's like those two games go head to head. I love Platinum, don't get me wrong, but th those two games really shape my gaming experience, truly. 
When I played through Red Dead Redemption, there was not a point where I was like, wow, this is not, this is like the greatest game I've ever played in my life. It is just non-stop amazing. If you're into those types of games, I can understand why some people wouldn't be. To each their own. Especially like Nintendo fans don't really seem to like any Rockstar-esque games or uh, shooter games. But if you do have interest in those types of games and haven't played it, wait for a Steam sale. I would say that. It is worth 60 bucks to me, but unreal how good that game is. Who told you that? Uh, I feel like most people who play po like, um, in at least in my chat, do not like shooter games. I would say it's a solid 60-40. Do not like shooter games. We can survey. Chat, type 1 if you like FPS games. That isn't Splatoon! That isn't Splatoon! Splatoon doesn't count! Okay, then I'm wrong. My bad. My bad. Sorry. I, I, anytime I talk about it, I feel like people were like, no, I don't really like those kind of games. Maybe it's more so GTA. People don't like GTA. I'm going to be honest, chat. When GTA 6 comes out, online discourse is going to be... Depending on what the game is, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, depending on how the game is made, the discourse for that game is going to be so bad. It's going to be really bad. Because either the game is going to be controversial or the game isn't going to be and people are either way going to be annoyed. Because Grand Theft Auto is known to be, in previous outings, uh, somewhat edgy. Not as in like, how do I word it? It's not like online edgy. That's a whole different type of edgy, if you get what I'm saying. It's just, it's uh, satirical, but it's satirical towards everyone. But people still get upset because it might be aimed at them. Right? Because when you really look at them, they do target everybody. It's just if it applies to you, it hurts a little bit more. Right? Um, and I would be shocked if GTA 6 was not like that. Ah, uh, the counter broke again. Please, never mind, we're good. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see what I mean. South Park edgy? I wouldn't say it. No, I think that's different. Um, but yeah, when that game comes out, trust me. There, it, it will be talked about. The media landscape is significantly different. Oh yeah, 100%. Are you kidding? Yeah. Definitely. I think if we compare it to like, I don't know, like the 2000s, it's it's like night and day. <laughs> but even even in 2013, yeah. Line is squaring up. Line noon is just mudding. <laughs> Off-roading. Yeah. You hear that T-Pain is going to be in GTA 6? I mean, that would make sense. He's from Florida. Tallahassee. Why does this game feel good to play even though we've got tons of more 3D mainline Pokemon games now? Because age doesn't determine how good a game is. Typically. In most scenarios, it doesn't. If a game is good, then, in most cases, it's good 50 years from now. Don't listen to online discourse. 
That applies to so many things, by the way. Don't listen to online discourse. If you like it, cool. There are some, obviously, some, like, controversial outliers. But, like, generally speaking, if you like a video game and you have fun playing that video, play it. If people come up to you and be like, let's take an example. Ruby and Sapphire. Somebody comes up to you, that game sucks! Okay. Don't play it. <laughs> you know how many times I got that when, like, Scarlet and Violet came out? Sword and Shield? BDSP, oh, don't get me started on BDSP. The amount of people who came into my chat and said, oh, I cannot believe that you're playing this game. I can, it's my job. It's my, it, it, I don't have, there's nothing else I do in this year but play this video game. <laughs> that was the whole game plan this year. Would you play it if it wasn't your job? Absolutely, yes. Hundred percent, I would. If I truly didn't like it, chat, I wouldn't play it. Obviously, I do have a little bit of you know sway because it's my job. But you know. Unless the game is physically not playable or so boring that nobody in chat wants to see it, I'm playing the video game. Poke Park, prime example. Po oh, let's take Detective Pikachu Returns or whatever. That game was terrible. The reviews for it were just abysmal. Did anybody want to see me play it? No. Did I have any interest to play it? No. Didn't play it. Because reality is chat, um... This, this applies back again to, like, online discourse. Not everybody will like the same thing that you like. No, not at, no one, there's, not everybody's gonna have the same views that you have on things, right? The, not the same experiences. I know that's a no way thing, but, like, some people are very influenced on, on what they do and what they say and what they play based on being bullied by other people. <laughs> That is, the entirety of Twitter is just, let's bully, you know? I'm going to come town, guys. You can't stop me. Enjoy your trip. It's more like a ride. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that, guys. I'm sorry, I take it back. <laughs> I don't know why, but in media, like music or games, people are very... There are very opinion heavy things. People love to scream in your ear if they don't like it. Oh, don't get me started, chat. I don't take I don't bring up any of my music preferences because anytime I do, I get dunked on. I hate it. It is actually one of the things I, I like the least. It makes me so upset. So I just never bring it up in conversation. And that's not even like an online thing, that's like in person. And I'm not, I'm not like singling out anybody that I know. It is like almost all of my friends. Like everybody I know. I tell them like, hey, I like this music. They're like, no, it's not really my thing. But it's never like a positive, it's not like a, hey, you like your own thing. It's like, no, that's bad. <laughs> like, okay. I'll stop talking. Do you guys have a middle ground playlist that you play in your car that's like, it's what I want to listen to, but they, there's a solid chance that they'll like it? Because I have one of those playlists, and I play it. It's like, they, it's the safe playlist. It's like, I don't want to show you too much of me, because <laughs> I know you're going to complain about it.
If you're in my car, you'll listen to my music. And you know what? That's such a that's such a, a Giga Chad take. Truly. That's such a baller way to go about it. I just don't have that baller in me. Oops, I just punched my desk with a GameCube controller. I play my stream playlist to terrify them. That's I mean that's the opposite side of the spectrum, but still still very Chad like. I play your streams. What, are you gonna put him to sleep? <laughs> you want, it's gonna be a long car ride, honey. Do you want a nap before we get there? Here, I'll put something on. Suikun's getting up there. We're now actually getting XP. <laughs> We fight like a level 18 Taylo and get nine experience points. You scream too much on stream? I've been pretty calm today if you think about it. Just don't get me all excited. Don't show me any crazy guys doing crazy moves in the video game and I won't I won't wanna dance along or whatever. I never show anyone my Spotify wrapped. Yeah, I'm the same way. The only people I show it to are people who I know will have the exact same Spotify wrapped. Like, Rich and I are very similar music taste-wise, so I'll, like, send it to him and be like, Wow, what a shock. We both have the same number one on our Spotify. What a surprise. I think it's time you scream really loud. Okay, guys, get ready. Your music takes can't be that crazy. It's just very heavy hip hop rap. I will say though, my guilty pleasure is like R&B. Ooh, I love me some R&B. Like underground R&B. But like more like hip hop R&B, not not like not like neo. But like more mm, It's more like How do you define it? It really is like hip hop R&B because the 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 instrumentals are more like 808 heavy rather than they are bass heavy. Does that make sense? Very like weekend, very uh, like 2013 weekend, like the hills kind of thing. Yeah, like SZA, even old SZA. You ever listen to like old SZA when she used to be very uh, like EDM? A lot of people don't know that. She used to make very EDM-like music back in the day. Like, one of my favorite songs I used to listen to was, um... Uh, is it Julia? I used to listen to that back in, like, 2014. Let me find it. Let me find the song. Because I have a specific playlist. Yeah, it's Julia. When did this song come out? 2014. Yeah, it was like, I don't know if that was her debut album, but it was one of her first. Her debut was 2017. Then was this a mixtape or something? I don't know. The only music takes take that I think is based is I find it strange that people don't that like the people who do not listen to music at all. They have no musical preference whatsoever. Cuz I think that's a lie. 
I think just as a human, there are songs that you'll listen to and be like, I like that more than I like this other thing. You, there's no realm you like literally every type of music ever. I just can't fathom. <laughs> Even the most de devoted music fans, I cannot in my head be like, yeah, I'll listen to literally anything and enjoy it. You can be complacent. I can sit through any type of music. I'll have internal thoughts as it's going on. Music peak with Tony Hawk's Underground. I had that... Wait, what was the DS? There was a DS uh, Tony Hawk that I played. Downhill Jam? That was a banger. Was that before or after? I think it was after. I didn't like my parents' stuff. The music I grew up on was uh, very old. I remember for, I think it was for Christmas, I think? My dad bought me a collection of 60s, no, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s hits. Which, by the way, I was like seven. It's a very strange purchase to buy for a seven-year-old. <laughs> but he did buy that for me. And I remember listening to, like, Steve Winwood, Like, a bunch of, like, 60s jams, 70s jams. Also, I got the Beatles. I think I just told him I liked music when I was seven. And he was like, what do kids listen to these days? In the 2000s. Ah, yes. The Beatles. <laughs> Something wrong with the Beatles. It's just... I feel like... It would have been way cooler if I listened to, like, In The Club, or, like, Get Rich or Die Trying in 2003. That would have been, I would have been a way cooler seven-year-old. It would have been a little jarring for me to be singing Candy Shop, but I'm sure, you know, TikTok has poisoned enough seven-year-olds to be singing WAP or some equivalent, so, you really... <laughs> How strange is that? Listen, if the Beatles were around into the 2000s, they would have wrote in the club, for sure. I'm very confident in that. They had it in them. You know? They are seen as the greatest band of all time. What's the greatest song of all time? Not in the club, but boy is it close. It is up there, for sure. You can't not hear that beat and just be like, wow. What was Dr. Dre doing that day? Cooking up that beat. They write in the club, it was called Birthday. <laughs> but did it hit as hard? <laughs> Most likely the day, thanks to the Prime. Appreciate it. Boomer argument take. I'm not like proficient enough in that kind of uh, era of music to even have any any thoughts. Chat, I'm finally using different moves, by the way. We've reached the point where I now have to actually think about the moves I'm making. We're having thoughts. Tentacool. <laughs> Beth, I know, I know before you clicked that, you were like... <laughs> you had to consult the mental guide for that one. I loved you in Purple Clothes Prophet Hunt video. That was such a fun video. I'm so glad that's doing so well for him. It's actually nuts how well that video is doing. No, it is an actual song. 
I think the best way to go about that is to say the Paris song. <laughs> I'll know what you mean. I I know it. I'm aware. The song is a little too vague. You could have even said the men in that one location. And I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'm aware. Do you like superb ass? Yeah, typically. I don't know anybody who doesn't. Why do they have to be men? Because there's two men who wrote the song. <laughs> That's mostly why. Teacher Kinson. Teacher Kinson. Arvidum, thanks for the seven months of Prime. Thanks. Where they get these names? It was a letter generator. It's not a name generator, it's just a letter generator. You just choose how many characters you want your name to be, and they will use AI to construct a, a username for you. I guarantee you we're gonna fight somebody named Deez. There's no way there's not anybody in this game named Deez. Pretty sure the Beatles use Chat GPT to write their songs. <laughs> I would love for you to tweet that. I could only imagine. <laughs> Just imagine. And like full commit to the bit too. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That would be so funny. My god, that would be so funny. Bonk. Okay, because we're almost at 50, right? How many levels have we gained? Like two? John Lemon. I do love that fruit. Do you have any super indie underground not popular bands that you like? I mean, I can't think of bands, but I do have individual artists that I listen to who have like no following whatsoever, and I feel like they definitely should. I think that gatekeeping that is really cringe. Too. I would also like to note. <laughs> okay, side note chat. There is an artist that I used to listen to who is very large now that I listened to when they were small. Do you guys want to take a guess who it is? They are, they are probably the king of TikTok. I will say that. Up, They're up there. They are definitely up there. In terms of like 2020, 2021 TikTok, they're like the... The person. I'll never guess it. No, not Joji. That's a good guess, though. <laughs> Sigh. Yeah, chat. I was actually listening to Gangnam Style way before you guys. <laughs> and listen, the, I I know, I know the disc. Remember what we talked about? I don't share discourse about music because I know they, they, I get a negative rap. The answer was yeet, chat. It was yeet. Who? 
Chad, there's no way you guys don't know who Yeet is. A hundred percent you know. If you have TikTok, one billion percent you've heard at least one song. That's nuts. That's actually insane. Sing one of his songs? Um. Hey guys. I believe it's one of those. It's one of the songs he said. Is it Bob Dylan? They're very similar type of music, yeah. <laughs> no, my um my underground pick, and this is very uh it's back to like my my interest of like R and B. I believe I've recommended her before, um, but I found there's this artist. Her name is uh, Kennedy Road. Like the actual, like the street, like John Kennedy, and then R D. Uh, she makes like R and B type of music. Love it, love it. And she has like pfft, how many? Let me see. Criminally underrated. Yeah, she has uh, 13,000 monthly listeners. I don't think these people have made it to the UK. I'm pretty sure she's from Canada. I want to say I know who that is. That'd be crazy if you did. I found her through the, uh, Spotify is like a really great recommendation thing. You click on one artist, and then you can click on another artist that like recommend five to you. And what I do is I, I'll pick like an artist that I like, and I'm like, I want to listen to like something kind of like this, but something different. Then you'll be like, here's five artists, click on that one person, here's five more. You just keep going down and down and down and down and down, until you reach like, not necessarily the bottom, but you just keep going down until you find something you really like. I listen to music on YouTube Music. I feel like you can still find some stuff. Anyways. Keep going what now? Down. What's that one Jay Sean song? Oh yeah, down. What happened to the push-up challenge? Because it isn't the points. I had to, my stream crashed, so I had to start again. I've streamed twice today, and so it reset all of the redemptions, and I did not want to do a hundred push-ups today. So I disabled it until tomorrow. <laughs> That's all. Fifty. With Area 6 starts the latter half of Mount Battle. Keep your drive alive. Everybody get in your cars, we're driving. Hi, sir. Hey, clear day five. Wow. Um. You know what, Chad? I think we've done this enough. We reached Area 50. Area 51. Oh my god, that wait, we we might need to do one more. We might need to do one more battle. We need to go to area 51. Oh, I hit no! Oh, classic government strategy! We can't get into area 51. Never mind. Alright, let's just go play more of the game then. You know what's kind of insane to think about? There was a period of time in the world where it was a meme of raiding Area 51 became a reality. Does anybody think about that? Like, that is actually insane. That it, it, that it reached that point that people showed up to Area 51 on one day and, and the government had to say something. <laughs> the government legitimately had to say, They legit made an announcement and said, please do not raid Area 51. Which is a little bit funny because you know 
that really got people going even more because they're like, what are you scared? You can't handle it? <laughs> you can't handle a thousand people showing up to Area 51? Why not? <laughs> you don't have the resources? Okay, let's go this way. Nope, tricked you. Sound the alarms! Intruders! I'm intruders, by the way. I think, honestly, I have a, a significantly better chance of winning just because I purify Raikou and I have, uh, I can use, like, Rain Dance and Thunder. Yeah, it kind of came and went. It just happened and then people moved on. Hey, I know it's been a couple hours. I was just training. Who are we fighting? The man. Ein. Yeah, I caught Raikou and then lost. That's all. Yeah, the only difference is I now have a purified Raikou and I have gained like two levels. Does rain make thunder hit? Yep. It does. Uh, I guess I have to... I have to surf and then rain dance this turn because Raikou's faster. And what that'll do is that'll waste a turn for Lantern because I believe Lantern's gonna go for it. Regardless, I think that this combo is pretty lethal. We're gonna we're gonna probably mop. Yep. Nice. What? <laughs> this is a bad lead combo. The AI is just designed to go for it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go into... What do I do? I think I'm gonna go for Aurora Beam on... No. I'm gonna Surf again. Nope. That's what I meant to do. I'm gonna Surf again, and then I'm gonna go for Thunder on Lantern. Because the Lantern's so annoying, dude. So annoying. Case in point, baby! Case in point! Nah, it's not funny. That's messed up, chat. That's actually really- I'm really upset. I'm actually gonna throw Fit. I hope your name's not Fit, because I'm throwing you. Double Confuse Ray. I feel like there's no reason to keep you in. Why don't I go into Stantler? Who I didn't purify. Um, sure. <laughs> Boingo's level 52? I didn't even see that. <laughs> Here's the thing, is Boingo has so much longevity in this challenge that I'm totally fine with it being the strongest Pokemon. I guess when you really think about it, that makes sense because it's getting XP from both Pokemon that are on the field. Uh, Hypnosis on Lantern, Thunder on Huntail. Please don't hit yourself. Okay. So you're going to send out Golbat? Okay. That's going to hit Stantler. Bye. Okay. Well, I can go back into... Um... Actually, no. Who am I going to go into? Probably Boingo for being for being real. Going into Boingo. Let's put those levels to work, baby. EP time. 
thunder time. No! Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, that's huge. I don't know. How does that even make sense? Let's be real. That should just hit if it's if the rain is up. Um, I guess there's really no reason for Raikou to even participate anymore, so I'm just going to dual slot Lantern until it gets knocked out. I feel like that animation has to be so resource heavy because it's making like 40 instances of this one Pokemon on screen to give it that animation look of it of it moving, I guess, fast, even though it's slow. That's probably why the frames drop like crazy. <laughs> Boingo. Boingo's. Oh, Boingo 8 with 69 HP. The CEO of sex. So I just need to heal enough to get a hundred. Ooh, I I might live on like one or two. Depends on how that roll was. Nope. See you later. Okay. Just came over from John's catch em all of Legends Arceus. You know what's scary, Chad? Is that was two years ago. That is that is horrifying to think about. I'm going to be honest, Chad, I don't think I needed to grind at all. Like, not even a little bit. <laughs> I just think I needed a better lead, and I was fine. I'm going to dual slot Lantern. We're going to Surf, and then I'm going to go for... Oh, right. Actually, no, Raikou... Mm hmm, hmm. That is interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna go Surf and then I'm going to Quick Attack Lantern. I don't think that's that's gonna knock it out, but I really don't have any other option. I was hoping it, it will because I need Suicune for Altaria. No, it's not. If I can eat a Thunder, which I don't think I can either. Maybe the low, maybe the low difference made up for it, who knows? No, it didn't. Okay, we're cooked. I've been on this battle for two hours. Oh, I haven't. Mm -mm. Ah, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. 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 You have a hydro pump. That's a really strange move. Wow. That's not good at all. I'm glad it was that over Suicune. Who is faster? Noctowl? Yeah. Okay. I'll just stomp. I will just stomp. Dude, yeah, they're frozen even when they faint. <laughs> I assume Suicune is faster, right? Knock it out. Okay, good. Okay, problem solved. Because I don't think Altaria really has any answer for Suicune. Okay, I think, I think we're good. 
That was, I, I really didn't need to grind, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. But, I mean, it, the grinding wasn't a waste of time because I'm gonna need to do it anyways. But that was significantly easier when Raikou was not in the way. <laughs> We've done it! Fly, thanks for the three months. There's no way this audio is still going. Your struggle to get here was all in vain! The shadow Pokemon we produced here have already been moved somewhere else. And that, of course, includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. Gun. Oh. One data ROM. Wait, chat, there are ROMs in this game. We can play Emerald now. Illegally downloading. Is there anywhere else I can? Oh, right. Okay, I got you. Man, that's loud! Hello? Lab data, net from the under. No, I don't want to go back to the under. I don't want to listen to music. If you find a shout, any data of the shout Pokemon lab, please bring it to me in the under. I don't want to go there. I can't listen to the creepy music. <sighs> All right. Get your pianos out, everybody. You know what we're doing. Is it, it is genuinely, you ever seen those videos of the spiders crawling up people? It's that music. It's so unnecessary. I forget where. Oh my goodness, chat. There is a battle we can do here. Chat, can we fight this one person just because of their name? Please. I don't even want to fight them because they look really hard. And I don't know exactly where they are, but I'm going to hunt them down. They have um, red hair and they're wearing like a, a, a electric green scarf. They're, they're a chaser, I guess. Oh, that person. Chaser? Why are you saying, huh? What's weird? Well, I don't understand. Am I, am I... Did I say something bad? I don't know what I said. Are you hunting because it's chaser as in chase people? You severely underestimated the length of this game, but am I having fun? No. No, this, this actually sucks. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm having a good time, guys. That is kind of messed up that they don't just heal you. Noxal didn't even participate, I don't think. Boingo. Boingo, I feel like you've reached the point where you do not need to be <laughs> yoinking XP from anybody anymore. I feel like you've really done your part so far. I'm not completely clueless, chat. I'm just mostly clueless. Johnstone Nation. Everybody rise up for the Johnstone National Anthem. Johnstone's life. Johnstone's life. He's gaining and he's alive.
Okay, let's go fight a man with a silly name. I believe this is the person. You defeated Master Ein? Yes. You won't get away with it. <laughs> they had to check. Wait a second. Did you did you beat my boss? All right. That's it. That was the final straw. My wife walked out on me today. Chaser Gurks. <laughs> Chaser Gurks. <laughs> he has two level 50 Waylords, though, I have to say. <laughs> He's just. It's Boyker Gurk, baby! The whole crew is here! I'm Boyk, that's Gurk. Okay, we're gonna rain dance and do a Thunder. If I land the Thunder turn one. Ooh! Do you know Water Spout? You have to. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. This is the most accurate representation of Wailer's sides in any Pokemon game. What about Revolution? Revolution's a lot. No. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 be realistic here. <laughs> One. Concrete. Two. Do whales dive? Mods, can you look into that? It's <laughs> looking up! <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Okay. That's kind of their whole thing. I'm sorry, chat. I didn't know all of you guys were aquatic experts. Anyways, Gurk has been defeated. You ever seen Free Willy? No. I've never seen ads for Free Willy. And if anything, I thought it was like the equivalent of the whale being in prison. You know how they always say like free my dogs kind of thing? I thought that's, I thought it was more like not a movie, but just more of like a movement. Are they like, if you see Willy, you better free that man. You know? I didn't know it was like a movie for the longest time. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh yeah, we're gonna find Nat. Sorry, I was so focused on Gurk. I believe this is their house, right? I love how he was waiting for his friend, and, um, he just didn't leave. <laughs> He's even staring at us? Wow. Mavis Beacon really taught him well. Oh, John, how'd it go? Did you find any data? Yes. Here's a data ROM. Oh, now this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. Oh, hey, this data ROM appears to contain a list of shadow Pokemon that I've made, made so far. They look like they've been wiped the data. Then how did you tell? <laughs> oh, it looks like the ROM is empty. Then how do you know it can... He's lying. He's in with them. Please leave this with me. Hmm. I think not, Net, if that's your real name. Just a folder named Shadow Pokemon, and it's empty. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. Um, okay, it's now time for what I would like to think is probably the hard part from what I've been told. I'm going to absolutely destroy you. You have been such a nuisance this entire playthrough. Just best believe you made a wrong choice today before. Didn't have anything ready. Didn't have anything ready to go. Best believe I went to the burn tower. Chaser Kai, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, you're gonna be, you're.
This is why I go out the Coliseum way. Oh, you're probably on level 38. Jace. What do you think the rain dance looks like? I would love to see Raikou stand on its hind legs and hit one of these. Wait a second, I need I need the right music. I need the right music for this. You're telling me that wouldn't be a banger? The gritty would be also nuts. <clears throat> you're killing Dumby and you're happy. Yep. <sighs> yep, that's right, guys. That boosted my heart rate way too much. <laughs> Where was that music from? Um, Mario Golf. <laughs> Mario Golf, that was Toad Highlands. Maybe this should be a dance redeem instead of push-ups? No. I can't hang. Just being honest. DDR Mario Mix? I've, I've only seen the commercial of that. I, I have never experienced that. How much Mario is in that game? Oh, the construction site. It is now done. It has been constructed. It's now no longer a lot. It's the real gam tower. Yeah, this is a bob and half. And you know why they call- Oh, look at him spin! Wow! Me when I put my pseudo wudo in the microwave. Yep, gonna cook him real good. Mmm, yummy pseudo wudo. Mmm, you guys hungry? Oh, it's gonna be so good when it's done. Nah, don't worry about it. Is this a puzzle? Hungry for- Ooh! Mm. I'm actually really- Now that I think about it, I'm really busy, guys. <laughs> maybe, maybe we go this way. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll heal! I'll heal! We'll run it, I guess. to lose over and over to you. This time, I'll win. And I mean it this time. Let the music play! Oh, never mind that. We'll battle right away. No! No, you play the music! No! No! 
That's not what I came here for! Ew, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Golduck, what happened? <laughs> We're good now. Why doesn't he have music? The game assumes this is a serious moment of the game. Well, they're wrong. We're approaching end game? See, chat, I'm almost done. Don't even worry. Surely the game won't get harder. We've reached the peak. We've already done all the hard stuff. It's only easier. Oh, I didn't mean to rain dance. I made it hard. I hate when I make it hard. Hold, hold on. Hold on, guys. Guys, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> you think I could sing this song? <laughs> Lyrics. There he is. He be dancing, and he be romancing. Now, what do I, uh, what do I go into? Johnston, 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 but about time. <laughs> it doesn't track the B in the emote, so it just says Johnston. Or is it saying Johnston? Johnston, about. <laughs> I'm gonna go into, yeah, Boingo is level 53. Boingo is going to absolutely fry in this, this battle. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, Aurora Beam Ludicolo, Mega Drain, uh, Golduck, I think. Oh, Swift Swim, yeah, you're fast. I eat. This is the real gum tower, everybody. No, you dual slotted me. No! I'm actually gonna lose. The lore is real. No! This is the ground floor? Yeah. Yep, I know. I'm level 33. There's no space where I live. Do I have any reviving items? <sighs> Bert in the air for the day. Bert in the ice beam realm, frozen in time for today. You're joking! No! 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 That's not fair! You're cheating! You are hacking! What do you mean? You hold on. Oh, you're so lucky. If you attacked Suicune and Frozen, I would have absolutely lost it. Oh my god. Ten twice. That means they had a 20% chance of that happening. Okay, I'm gonna go for Shadow Rush. No. <laughs> 
10 plus 10 is 1. 10 plus 10 is 100, guys. <laughs> and he make fun of me for dropping out. Yikes. No, my dear. No. Ten plus ten is ten two. That was a killer Kermit impression. I don't think that was. <laughs> okay, guys, let's take down these Ludi Colos. I may be green, but they're green too. Oh my god, kill me. Stop. What? There's no way you read that. I'm getting mauled. You sound like Absol Blog is doing his Oddish voice. No, that he. I'm gonna spoil something for you, Chad. Absol's Oddish voice is just a man from Wisconsin. Yeah, I like Oddish. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a huge fan of Oddish. It's just it's it is every human that lives there. Safe. Stop. Don't you know? If the rain is up, this should knock out Armaldo, right? Okay. There is a teeny tiny chance that I win. Because I had to fight, what, two Lucolo and then we're done? That really sucks. Yeah, there's two left. It's a 2v2 chat. Wait, hold on. Sunny day, maybe? Nah, stomps. Sunny day would have been such a great idea. Okay, well, it wouldn't matter anyways. There's actually a tiny chance I clutch this out because Ludicolo might have, Ludicolo might have nothing for me. Straight to jail, straight to jail. Lost of three legendaries against two Ludicolo. You don't understand what they are. <sighs> How much does Gus do? Wow, that actually did a lot. Okay, I'll remember that for the next battle. Great. Thanks for the streams, John. Always a nice thing to enjoy after work. Borderline God, thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. Domino, thank you for the prime. Okay, we, we lost, we lost, we lost. Let's try it again. Let's try it again, we're fine. 
Where did where do we go back to though? No. No. I have to go. I have to walk all the way back. Spectacular. Is there a place I can heal up? Don't even look at me. Do not even look at me. I'm literally going to snap your bones in half. You will never blade again. You will never blade again in your life. This is offensive. You send out two birds. The only time you're going to be rolling on wheels is when you're in a hearse. I mean it too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go under the Coliseum. There's another exit there without trainers. What? Does a hearse have wheels? Yeah, I mean, how, that's how they deliver to the, to the, what is it? What is that place? Okay, Jesus. Where, 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 do, where do dead people go? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I'm gonna be honest with you. The, the first, the first word that came into my head to where do, where do dead people go? I swear to God, was the dump. When I die, you put me in trash! Oh my god! Whew. Graveyard was the answer, guys. Ami, um, thanks for the 200 bits. Leader, thanks for the 100. I believe in you. <laughs> I probably shouldn't save here, should I? Because now I get to fight him every single time I lose. But I am. Crematorium. Fun fact. It's not fun. I used to live next to a morgue. My childhood home was next door to a morgue. And I remember one vivid dream, but one vivid uh, memory of when I was like in middle school. I was playing with a wiffle ball and bat in my backyard. And I, I lived right next door, right? So I could see like the end, the side of the morgue. And I was playing games, and I saw, I heard like this metal uh, garage door open, and I swear to God, chat, they were wheeling a body out onto the road. <laughs> I, was, I was just tossing the ball out, trying to hit it, kept going like this, and <laughs> I made eye contact while they're wheeling the body down. It has like a blanket over, over like the gurney, but they're wheeling it down into, a, into like the back entrance of the morgue. <laughs> and I go like this. Oh, for sure, that was a core memory, yeah. And the guy was wearing all white. He was getting mewied. Not the dead person, they're dead. Anyways, um... Is this a healing room? There's gotta be some place I can go and heal, right? What are we doing here? What are we, is this is this just all of our opponents? Every op we've had this entire game? Okay. <laughs> well, it's, uh, they might be a little bit mad we stole their legendaries, so be it.
we're just gonna assume there's gotta be a healing station up here, right? Surely. Thank you. Okay. It's also a second chance to catch the legendaries. Now, in a hypothetical scenario, I didn't catch Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. If I l defeat them here, I can never get them again. Or you get just infinite opportunities once you beat the game to just fight them over and over. Coliseum won't take 30 hours. Here's the thing, my game has been on. Don't talk to the old guy. Why? So, who- I think I lead with... Boingo. Boingo and Raikou? Because they're gonna rain dance anyways. You can get the lo legends in post game? Okay. Where's the music? Do you guys want the music again? Okay, great turn one. Okay. <laughs> Not great turn one. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Nice. That's huge. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just messed with my contact. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Jeez. All these bright lights! These flashing lights, lights. He looks so stupid. I hate him. Oh, that's bad. Never mind, that's good. That's actually fine. That actually is great. Let's see it. Okay, this is going at least better than last time. We'll give it that. I'm just scared for Jump Luff's sake. Oh, I'm scared for, never mind. Your sake is bad. You're probably gonna potion, are you not? It's just what, what side are you going to potion? How does the AI work for that? Does it keep in mind? Like, is it gonna use Ludicolo's side to potion or is it gonna use Loudred's side to potion? Let's find out. Oh, you didn't. Interesting. Okay, well that was a huge turn anyway, so that's fine. And I knock out this Ludicolo. 
two. I presume you send out the other one, or you're gonna send out Armaldo, because those are the only two options that you have, but I assume Ludicolo. That's the Ice Beam Ludicolo, I think, or whatever it is, yeah. I swore it had Ice Beam. What, what is that? What did you just do? Okay. Who are you hitting? Okay, that's not good. That's actually really bad. But if I put you to sleep... Oh, Leech Seed, Leech Seed, gotcha. Yeah, the Swift Swim makes this really tough. Oh, I have Stantler. Right. I'll go with Stantler. I appreciate it, Belle. Thank you. Boingo is nuts! Can we just say that? Boingo is the goat of Coliseum. It is actually absurd how good this Pokemon is. Oh... That wasn't that bad, okay. Boingo, how about you just hold it down for the one time? Um, I'm gonna go for takedown on Ludicolo. I can't believe this is happening. Boingo, 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 boingo. Staler! Staler, you're crazy! Don't wake up, Ludicolo. You go to sleep. Rain stopped. Okay, never mind. We're good. So I'm gonna go for Mega Drain on Ludicolo. I'm gonna go Takedown on Ludicolo. I don't know if I said Ludicolo for both of them, but you know what I meant. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's a bad turn. Oh, that's a bad turn. Okay, that might not be a bad turn. That actually might be a fine turn. That actually is somewhat advantageous. I think I actually eat that. <laughs> that was the best whistle I've ever done in my life. What in the world was that? <laughs> Have you ever heard a whistle more clean than that one? Okay, so now I can one-shot Armaldo. Can you do it again? I wasn't whistling or wasn't listening. Never mind. Jump off. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be honest, Jump off. You can take a break. You can take a backseat if you choose to, because you have held this down like crazy. If you want to keep going, though, I'm not gonna stop you. Fair play. Fair play. You did your job. I'm not even mad. What's the biggest hurdle in, the, in your opinion? Trying to read everybody's names properly. That's okay. Boingo! You really did it. I'm proud of you.
Shadow Rush, I think, is the best play. This should one-shot. I think it did last time, right? Easy game! We did it! Okay, that went significantly better than last time. <laughs> Mirror B. I am an awesome dancer, but I can't win battles. This just won't do, but I'll admit you've beaten me thoroughly. Okay, since I'm done, I'll give you this. Here. Red ID badge. Okay. Think of it as a little gift from our great leader, Nascor. Don't leave without it because you'll get nowhere. But do you know maybe it'd be for your own good if you didn't go on? <laughs> Anyways. Mm. Who is the hardest, do you think, out of all of the ones we had to fight? Because I assume we just had to fight everybody we've ever fought before. This character voice may be the greatest content you've produced in your career. Chad, do you, you know who that is too, right? <laughs> Duck Kim gives you to beam in an arm wrestle. Nah, I got it. I can hold down. Tied in my hammer curls today. Ooh, we're good. We're ready to go. Okay, that's some wine time right there. That's some metal rally wine time. <clears throat> Let me just, I'm going to take a little peek. I want to see what your team is. Oh. Oh! Okay. So I'm going to lead with... Suicune for sure. And you know what? Yeah, probably Boingo. Hmm. See, I want to do Entei, but I really can't. Yeah, Boingo. Suicune and Boingo seem like the the squad. Duh! Your luck ran out when you showed up before me. I don't know, chat. Your stab at adventure's gone on long enough. Da Kim. This is big man. Oh, what a perfect lead. What a perfect lead to do against us. Okay. So, my game plan is I'm going to uh, Aurora Beam, Clay Doll. No, I'm going to Aurora Beam, Wish Cash, and I'm going to Mega Drain, Wish Cash. In the event that this doesn't one shot, it, I don't think it will because it's pretty thick. So close, but still, we'll knock it out. I miss like Gen 2 Aurora Beam. Boingo's not strong enough. Why not surf? Yeah, that's a great point. I don't know why I didn't do that, but it's fine. That's why I didn't actually. Thank you for reminding me. That's exactly why! Roar Beam on Flygon, and then we'll go for uh, Mega Drain on... There's no way it lives, right? I, we're the same level as it, yeah. So I'm just gonna go for uh, Mega Drain on Claydol. Nice, okay, that's decent. Oh, you outspeed. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really, really bad. Oh, that's it? 
What? Mmm, yum, 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 I ate that up. I thought I was done for. Oh, wow, it didn't knock you out. Huh. Yeah, Flygon sucks. Swallowed it. What did you mean by that? Okay, I'm gonna go for Aurora Beam again because I, I would like to think it's probably going to heal, or he's gonna heal. Um, and then I'll go for... I'm just gonna heal Suicune just a little bit. Okay. That's strange. Okay. Yeah, three more. Oh. Spin. I want you to spin. Okay, um, so I'm going to go for... The sun is up, but I'm going to go for surf. And then I'm going to go for sleep powder. Sleep powder on Fortress. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That'll still deal a lot of damage to Claydol. Oh, okay. Are you gonna deal more damage? No. Okay. That's fine, I don't really care. Okay. That's huge because Fortress, as you know, can go boom. And if it goes boom, that's probably really bad for the team. Okay. Fine. C B E B. Sunlight faded. Surf into sleep no. mega drain wait fortress is faster what how does that even work oh protect i was gonna say i was like what priority moves does it have nice okay that was huge Um, and I have Entei to take on Fortress, so worst case scenario, I don't knock it out or it wakes up this turn. We're chilling. Houndoom. What do I have for Houndoom? Uh, I'm going to have to Surf again, but I'm going to heal Suicune because I don't know what to do. I need to buy healing items, finally. We reached that point. So far, so good. I feel like this is going better than I thought it would. Nice. Okay. Okay, so it's now at 6v1. <laughs> You're gonna go and target Jump Bluff? That knocks me out, right? Fair, but that's reasonable. Then I go into Entei. Oh no, not Ente. Um, I go into Raikou. Raikou, I think. Surf and then. 
Oh yeah, we still have the rain dance. Oh, see you later. The OG combo. The Mount Battle dudes. Does this see Elite Four? I, I guess like in a way, yeah. If you really think about it. Wow, that was um, definitely way easier than Mirror B, but we steamrolled through that. Whoa. <laughs> He's doing the Gok Gok 3000. All right, see you later. In all the time of my battling, I oh, my only loss has come at the hands of Master Nascor and you. Take this. Your passport to despair. Oh, he's walking. Oh, he's walking. I love the chat just stopped as soon as you said that. Well, it's true. What is, what is this picture of Roselia doing? <laughs> hey guys, it's Roselia! <laughs> E.P. Jones. We ride this the building plan for this sucks. Can we be straight up here? It's terrible Okay, we have two battles here um, I guess we'll fight you first Are you looking to pass this door? Nope You're about 10 years too young to challenge me. Are you age gatekeeping a battle? Okay Sunflora, you've got to be kidding me. Look at that guy. Oh my, and we get to catch it. What a treat. We haven't caught a shadow Pokemon in, in like a few hours. Full health asleep is a 50% chance. Huh. I mean, the Pokemon sucks, so like I'm not shocked by that, but that is oddly high. Literally your twin. Yeah, I see the similarity. You're right. That's my bad. Easy game. Observe. Skill. Knowledge. S skill. Planning. Catching. Boingo, by the way. Wait, you just steal her Pokemon? Yep! Eek. Oh, you're gonna be destroyed about two seconds. Boingo, I'm sorry, it is your twin. Don't worry, you don't have to commit the murder. That'd be Suicune's job. New snack time, guys! It's snack time! Guys, it's snack time! I 
I assume the, the other person has one too. <laughs> we, Chad, we made her disintegrate. She's like the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh my goodness, she's gone. Beep beep poof. Maybe she just runs really fast, I don't know. Artin. Me when I have my easel and paint. Pile of swine. More like a pile of trash, am I right? <laughs> I came up with that one. Another shadow! It's Del Delibird! Yeah! All right. Uh, let's do a calc on that. It's probably pretty close, right? To Sunflora? No, it's way harder to catch. Okay. EP time. Fire blasting. Oh, you have Vital Spirit! Okay, well, that's good to know. I know you're an Entei, but whoa. <laughs> whoa. Beth, yeah, I saw you reply to that tweet. <laughs> You're like, well, I was just guessing. I thought I had 86k on that tweet. 36 months of gaming. Good luck with your lawsuit against Paul World for their copyright infringement of Pokemon Gun. Guys, listen. Listen, I don't want any smoke. What does Boingo even do right now? That's like... <laughs> Such a terrible move to use, but I'm using it. Oh. Wow. I still love you, Dolly Bird. Bird is flying now. I'm gonna swap you out for... I don't know, Raikou? Good luck. I'm gonna try to throw a ball. I wanna see if it works. <laughs> Do I catch you that high? I just had to throw it higher? Oh, you just fall down. <laughs> okay. Get on the ground! Well, that was a good thought. Nice. Imagine I accidentally fire blasted it. No way. What? That was like a 10% chance. Okay, cool. We got a deli bird. Wait a second. I didn't even track that I got Fortress. We've already, we're already past 90. Oh, let me just check and make sure. I didn't check APOM either. Or him on top, what? We had him on top yesterday. <laughs> okay, we're good now. Raikou was like 5% luck, yeah. 5%, 5, yep. All right, let's go back in, I had to, um. Yep. Somebody asked what I was eating. It's actually, um. You know like those those slop trays that they give pigs? It's a new diet I'm on. It's called local slop. 
I just go down to the farm every morning and just give me a whole, a whole like, a whole like bucket of slop. It's mostly just oats and like mud. But mostly mud. I'm a big fan of two things, slop and, and, and porridge. Uh, well, I can take a guess where that goes. Who is over here? Ein. Um. I guess I should probably fight them in order, shouldn't I? Eh, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I don't really care. Boingo. Um. Boingo and Raikou? Might as well save the hardest for last, right? If you guys really think the Venus is gonna be that hard, might as well do that. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Well, well, so you have come hand in hand. Okay, that's about Ayn now. Who is your lead? Right on and Pelper. Okay, that is that is what I planned around. You do look really cool with your spinning forehead. Horn is also what that's called. So I would assume that it's gonna go for like dig or EQ. Here's the thing: is I am faster. So I think by going. Maybe I swap. Let me swap into Bert. For a smart little play. And we'll sack Bert. Spark will KO? I don't... What? It has lightning rod. I assume it has lightning rod at least. Or it will have... Drizzle? No. What other abilities does Pelper have? Drizzle and... No. Rain Dish? No. Keen Eye. Are abilities a thing? Yeah. Drizzle is Gen 7. Oh. But at least it learns Drizzle. Okay, so it does. Okay, at least I know something. You know, I'm not good with this. Um... Yeah, I'll swap Raikou out for Bert. I know that sounds like a weird plan, but it, I, it will work out. I promise. No, thanks for the prime. Nice. Okay. So that gets rid of that, so now I can actually use moves. <clears throat> Depending on who you can send out or who you send out next. To be honest, Raikou mops. This is the only thing that is a little bit troublesome, but I can take care of that. So you're gonna set up for Thunder. Oh, it has lightning rod too? Ah. Okay. Boingo, I, listen. I will use jump love for the rest of my life. That's fine. You're gonna attack. 
Um, I mean, I have to reflect up, so honestly, I can just stay in. What I can do is I can... I can go for synthesis? No, I'll Mega Drain the Manetric. And then I'll go into... Yeah, I was going to Raikou. Like, what what downside is there? And since it's halved in the rain, uh, probably, yeah. If it's doubled in the sun. <laughs> okay, that's bad. But at least I handled that. I you realize now that that was really stupid. I I showed up with. Uh, oh. Okay. What? What? <laughs> okay, I'm going back into Bert. I know. Just let me let me do my thing. <laughs> I forgot about lightning rod. EP time. Ah, boingo. Bert. Surf. Okay, that's... That's fine. It's gonna knock Bert out, but like... Boingo is boingin'. What?! Oh. Okay, so much for a Sackmon. We're being hacked! <laughs> That's the Cypher Lab tabbing in. We're sending Morse code to Ayn. Did I double sleep? That's huge. Okay, so they're both asleep. Um... <sighs> let me think. I don't have any healing items, do I? I really should have planned around that. I'll have to leave and go get some more. Yeah, I've got none. So, will I win this? Mm, debatable. Uh... What do I go for? Because I was thinking if we're going for synthesis. You have a soda pop. Would that do more than synthesis? It would, it would put me at 100 and... Uh, hmm, 116? Rain's still up, yeah. Why not? Let's run it. Actually, no, why would I do it on that turn? Why don't I, um... Uh... Actually, yeah, I am gonna do that. Hold on. So, Soda Pop... Ah, oh, man, this is tough. I had to go into Stantler, I think. Oh, wait, yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. I have an idea. Mega Drain on Manetric. And then I'm going to heal. I just need them to knock out Bert so I have a clean swap. That's really what I'm looking for here. Because I can go into Stantler. And I can take out Manetric. Rain is not up. Oh. Well. Helper EP2. Yup. Reflect is down. That's okay. We go for... Let's just, in, in the event, you wake up. We run it back. Hypnosis 2. You really can't really do much other than that. Let's be real. Okay.
This is against Smoga on Sleep Claws. Good. Whew. Okay, we knocked it out. That's big. <laughs> Metric did nothing. <laughs> Just sat there and took damage. <laughs> Starmie. Fine. Wait, does that mean I get to put it to sleep? No. Imagine I put Starmie to sleep. Ah, that would've been funny. Oh, that would've been so funny. Okay. Um, so what I can do now is I'm gonna sleep powder Starmie because that thing's fast. Hypnosis Pelipper, I guess. Ah, bad. Bad. Noctowl. Yep, okay, good. I can go straight into Raikou. Raikou pretty much it, it destroys everything here. One thing I'll note, chat, that I find very strange is so we have faced so many boss battles with Pokemon that know Toxic. Not once have I been Toxic in the entirety of playing through this game. Like, Rhydon, Pelipper, Crobat, and Minetric learn Toxic. Why? I think Starmie is a larger threat. Okay, who's that? That's probably going to Raikou, right? Has to. Uh, okay, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really, really bad. I'm going into Entei. I know that doesn't make sense, but trust me, it'll be fine. It's going to get destroyed, but that's I'm doing that on purpose. Because I don't expect it to live, and I don't want Stantler to take a bunch of damage. Wow, you actually lived that. Okay. Um... I can set up Sunny Day. Or I can stomp. Which is the better play? Actually, no, I'm gonna stomp. Because I have Suicune, still. Please, Boingo. Yeah, Boingo! Has anyone ever redeemed the I will say that on your friend points reward? Uh, Xander three times. And like one other person. Storm. Do you like being their friends? No, I'm more of a hear friends kind of person. Okay, so what I need to do is... Mega Drain Starmie, take down Starmie, and that should knock it out. It has to, right? Oh, that's not good. Who are you doing that on? It must be Stantler, right? Wow, that's insane, actually. Okay. So, I, uh, how am I going to do this? Pelipper really can't do anything against these Pokemon. So that's an upside. So Pelipper really, I don't have to worry about in the slightest. The rain stopped. You're going to go for rain dance. So that's a waste of turn, right? Uh, Mega Drain on Starmie. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Gust 
on Starmie. No, I'm gonna go for a Roar Beam on Starmie because that. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, this is a play. Check this out. If it knocks it out, that was a smart play. Okay, cool. I've done this play before and we're doing it again. And it works so well. Okay, and then you send out your Crobat, who will now get a Roar Beamed. Ooh, he looks so ugly in this game. Oh, what did they do to you? You poor thing. Half? Close. His breath's gotta stink. So Pelipper just has Surf and fly. That is all it can do. And it could go for, it probably goes for fly on this turn, if I'm being honest. Uh, Crobat is gonna be faster. I might as well just put Pelipper to sleep because it's not, it's not doing anything. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna dual slot, so that was, that actually worked out. That's not great. Never mind. Oh, it happened. It happened. Oh, that's kind of bad. I spoke into existence. That's my fault. That's on me. It's not a huge deal. I can, I can get around that. Don't worry, Boingo. You'll be okay. Um, Crobat's probably going to go for fly. That's the scary part. Here's the thing. Um, Boingo, we're going to see if Boingo is faster than Crobat. Cause, cause jump bluff is fast. Crobat's like what, 130 speed? Boingo is I think 1 120 or 110, but I do also have six levels on it. So I'm gonna run it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal that poison because it's gonna either go for it's probably gonna go for surf. I don't know if that was a great play, but it was a play that I made. Wow, you are faster, and you put it to sleep. Okay. See, Chess, sometimes when it's competitive, I might still lose. Keep in mind. But, like, when it's competitive, sometimes I think... Sometimes I use the little mug. <laughs> to who? You doubled down? You knew I was gonna heal? That's absolutely crazy. <laughs> what a prediction. I will say, Chad, these battles last forever. Mega Drain on Crobat, because it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's really not going to do much. Actually, no, why would I do that? Let me just heal. If you want to run that over and over, I'm cool with it. Why are Crobat's eyes open? That is actually a valid point. Bats don't actually use their eyes. They see in the dark through... What is happening? That's the first Toxic, I think. Ludo, have you not been watching for the past five minutes? John, completely sincere message. I hate you. It actually makes me so upset when you go live. Hey guys, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I genuinely love your content and how much time you put into entertaining people and going to extremes in video games. I also love your community you've built up. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like streaming. Watching me stream. I also hope that you enjoy streaming if you do it. This is such a weird battle. Okay. Um, I'm afraid that Crobat's gonna wake up. Because if it does... Wait, why did it do so little? Was that just a low roll? 
You did you get max sleep? That's honestly not even fair. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think it was just a really low roll. Yeah, this is a strange, strange battle chat. Um, sleep powder on... No, I'm going to synthesis, and then I'm going to... Ah. I think you're going to wake up this turn. If you don't, oh my, we are crazy gaming. What?! Okay, that was actually max sleep. I cheesed this battle so hard. <laughs> Let it be known, chat. If you want to get through this game, you get yourself a jump off. Jump off is actually too good. I refuse to believe that sleep powder is 50%, 55%, or even 60. Crazy John Tunt. Thanks hey, John. for the entertainment, John. Hey, John. Seri sincere and genuine message here. Pee pee poo poo pee pee. You guys are so silly. Why did I go for a roar beam? I still have Raikou, by the way. Wait, no, I don't. I don't have Raikou. Do I? Oh. Synthesis. There's really nothing I can do. miss. <laughs> Imagine that would have been the icing on the cake. <laughs> did you even attack? How much did that do? I didn't even see it go down. How did I eat that? This is the strangest battle I've ever experienced. You missed again. How long has this battle been going on for? Four. Jump off, yeah, jump off you are you're I need to heal you, because I didn't know you'd you'd be chill like that and just absolutely tank any attack. Doesn't Gust hit through fly? I mean I'm slower anyways. Oh, it was a crit. Darn. Okay, I just need to land one more. We're fine. Okay. I feel like you realize the outcome of this, so nice. He's just making it rain. You might live on one. That was, I I genuinely think that that battle was about, I don't know, it was really long. That was like 25 minutes. Has he improved since our last meeting? Yep, it's called bedtime. Johnny, I'm super excited to play this again in Japanese. Yep, starting this evening on my own time, yes. <laughs> Boy, am I going to be ready to do that. But best believe, chat, I will be doing... Hold on. Greetings. Ah, some fan mail. Dear John, this is Egon of Agate Village. I just wanted to let you know that this is my first electronic mail. I'm not familiar with high-tech doohickeys, so I've only learned how to type in words.
what else would you type in? Are you saying that you learned English? <laughs> you learned English to write to me? <laughs> Incidentally, if you're ever... Hi, this is Nat. <laughs> it's like you're... It's like you're skipping all of your voicemails, like on like an old phone. <laughs> Incidentally, hi, this is Nat. Hey, I you missed my call. Can you call me? John, this is Duking. We just nabbed a pair of- John, we've got big trouble! How do I go down? That was the- uh, that's it? Look! Like, how, how, how am I supposed to read more? Well, we'll never know. If you're ever in. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, the email's gone. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. If you think about it, that's a crazy roast. If you're ever in. If you ever get it in like me, dog. Let me know you can talk to a real one, dude. You just freaking talk to girls, unlike you and your wife. Unrelated. Okay, I need to go get items anyway, so we might as well go there and see what's going on, because I am not prepared for another fight. <laughs> Purify the deer? I guess. Might as well go get the Master Ball? What? We get a Master Ball? Nice. Nice. I'm gonna be honest, Chad, the Master Ball duplication glitch is absolutely useless. Unless you just avoid catching every single Pokemon. <laughs> Cause is, is this the earliest that I can get it or did I miss it by like, just these battles? Cause that what, saves you on five, six encounters. Cause after this, there are one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that is a decent amount. My bad. <laughs> I try to make it sound small, but it's thirteen. There are thirteen more shadow Pokemon to get. The duplication for a Master Ball is massive on the game's equivalent of the Elite Four. I I don't understand how. Oh, I guess like. No, I don't. I don't understand. But. Can you talk about how the water is better in the game than Scarlet and Violet? No, because it's not. Because it's not. You eliminate one Pokemon for free? Oh, I guess, yeah, that's fair. That is a fair point. Well, here's the thing, is I already have my Master Ball in my head, prepared, because I already caught all the hard Pokemon except for one, realistically. We're gonna, Tyranitar is what, a catch rate of 45? It's actually not as bad as you would think it would be. Metagross, on the other hand, has a catch rate of three, Equivalent to legendaries. So, if I if I use this master ball, I'm going to use it on Metagross, which I don't remember. Presumably, I would like to think that's the last battle. So, hi, people. Ah, oh, wait, Finn John, it's good to see you back. I sent you an email. <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. Oh, is that so? That's odd. 
Well, since you're here, it would be just to tell you in person. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo, he says. I have a little something to John to have. Wow. He was just holding a Master Ball. He just had it in his possession. Okay. I mean, I guess he is he was the best trainer in the world at one point with his level 50 Pikachu. So I guess that's uh cool. TV screen flashing? Yeah. It's because there's a war going on in the video game. Hibachi! Thanks for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes. I love Hibachi. I love Hibachi. Mm, Hibachi's so good. John, I have something very important to tell you in this electronic mail. Okay. If you are ever in. <laughs> I think you think you cut off there. Hold on, hold on. Give him, give him a second. Give him a second. He'll, he'll get, he'll get the rest of it. Surely he's just, he's just finishing. This is gonna be another message. He'll, he's holding on to it. Just wait a second. Wait a second. He'll be there. It's, it just takes a while to send. Sometimes it's just the instant of the towers, four G towers. I guess we'll just keep playing then. Okay, here, here he is. Where am I? Who are you? Okay, you know what? No, it's not important. It's not important. It's fine. We'll just worry about that later. Quick question, what is the point of the items to- Oh, speaking of, oh, John, I'm so glad you said that word, items. We need to buy items, everybody. Wait, speaking of. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The old man in the healing center is very useful to have a chat and about life and art and love. Are you talking about Boppin? You're telling me about Boppin? I remember now, John, <laughs> you yeah. needed to buy items. You're you're a little bit late, but I I love the reminder. I love the reminder in the shop that I need to get items. Okay. Um. They don't even have the. Okay, I don't even. I can't even be here. <laughs> hey, hey, Peepa, where do I go to get uh, healing items? Peepa, do you know where? That's not good. Uh, I, I assume I buy them in the under, right? It probably has to be. Under where? Phoenix City? Okay, I don't. Oh, yeah! 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 How can I forget? Right. Is it here? No, this is for healing, though. No, it's not. Back in my day, we walked through the sand dunes, uphill both ways to buy our soda pop. All right, Peepaw, back to the nursing home. Joy sent. 
Excite scent. Vivid scent. A scent that greatly pleases Pokemon. I don't think I want to please any of my Pokemon. Also, on a weird side note, why is the floor uh, like the BMW logo? <laughs> is this a sponsored segment? We interact with the floor and we get upgraded. <laughs> we're, we're like riding off into the sunset in an I-8. <laughs> oh, I dropped my controller! Oh! Goodness. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's hop in. <laughs> Anyways. She's still covering her ears. <laughs> I don't like these. I like my Honda. <sighs> okay, so let's go this way. That's a crazy sculpture. It's like an upside down chandelier. So you guys said, is this the hardest battle in the game? No, right? But it's up there. Eve, uh, e, e, Evice? <laughs> who, who in the world is Evice? Yeah, looking at the team, it does look very annoying to fight. Pull if we beat it first time. Hey, do your thing. As long as it doesn't, as she doesn't lead with one Pokemon, this is actually a really good lead. I'm gonna be honest, dealing with the rain team seems like it would be way worse. Okay, so we have one more battle to face, which is gonna be Venus. And you guys have said that this is gonna be probably the hardest of the ones that we've fought so far. But here's the thing. I feel like the team is actually really good. But I'm sure we won't deal with any status conditions in this battle whatsoever. Not even a little bit. Oh. Oh, wow, that's annoying. I now understand what you're talking about. Okay. So, I'm going to sleep out of the Raichu. And then I'm going to... Bite Miss Drevis. Nice. Smash or pass Entei from the third Pokemon movie? Pass on the looks, smash the voice. I really could have just not answered that, now that I think about it. Wow. Nuclear first turn. EP. Bitey. Okay, that's fine. The double back to back flinch would be nuclear. Confuse Ray. Against who? That actually is. I'm fine with that. and go the goat. Oh, she has lashes. <laughs> Cute. Okay, taking out Raichu is I I genuinely don't really know what to do. I will note, Chad, if we take out Raichu, I don't have to worry about Attract at all. Because Boingo is a girl and Entei is genderless.
Okay. This should do a lot. Raichu is not. Yeah. Kind of frail. Oh. On what? Okay. Yeah, you weren't kidding. This is all hacks. Let me just list off all the moves that we have to deal with. Attract Confuse Ray. Uh, let me list off all the moves for you. Attract Confuse Ray. Attract. Stun Spore. Thunder Wave. Sweet Kiss. Attract. Attract. Sweet Kiss. Technically Body Slam if you want to count it for Paralysis. And Attract and Confuse Ray. <laughs> Half of their movesets are Confusion and Attraction. Okay, so I at least take out Raichu, right? Nice. Well, awesome. I think we know how that's gonna go. <laughs> that just shouldn't be real. Bungo. Bungo! Bungo! Diane. More like... Nah, I can't make that joke again. Goo. Blue goo. Wow, nice. Then Wigglytuff's gonna knock me out? I'm definitely not making it at the end of this turn. <laughs> No more sleepy hacks! It's now... Actually gonna be hard. You did great though, Boingo. I love you. Let's go into... Uh... Stantler... Yeah, Stantler. I hate the way Wigglytuff exists. Um, <laughs> I could go for Hypnosis. That would be really funny if I did that. Which I am. I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. I think I'm going to lose Entei. Which is kind of fine. Because of this. Wow, you really are just dodging it all, huh? Yeah, I like the fact that you use kind of stinkers in this game. Disregarding all the legendaries that I caught. <laughs> Will these be forwarded to Pokemon Home? Um, yeah, yeah, if not all of them, at some point. If anything, they'll probably be put in the, the Diamond and Pearl save, or the Platinum save file that I have for the Poke Radar. Wow. Ah, rats! Okay, so I lose Entei probably, right? No rain dance, but it's gonna hurt. Oh, okay. I wouldn't mind if grinding wasn't a terrible experience in this game. I mean, here's the thing, chat. I grinded for what, like two hours? An hour and a half? It really wasn't like that bad. Is it hard still? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm making do. I didn't even do the, I didn't grind even on the hard battles. <laughs> yeah, pre-experience share, it's just, it's not fun to grind anywhere. Okay, so... 
I could set up the combo here. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into Raikou. Did I quit my experience share? Mm, no, I don't think so. Can you land one hit? No, you're just gonna yes, man. Well, you know what? Why not? I'm gonna go for Spark instead of Thunder. I'd rather go for the guaranteed because I'm it. I'm kind of losing Pokemon here. That's fine. I'll land Thunder the next turn. That's what I'll go for. Depending on how this goes, at least. Oh, I eat that. And then what I can do is I can go into Sweet. And I can set up Rain Dance. What a terrible turn. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, that secured it. Because I have speed, so Rain Dance and Flamethrower is going to do nothing. You've got what? Body Slam is what you're going to be working with for the rest of this battle. Dare I say, chat, without... The cheese, I don't think I would have made it through this battle, but this was actually the easiest battle of them all. Which is nice, I'll take those little victories. Oops, uh, Surf and then Thunder. Mm, I think Surf will knock you out. Stab, and boosted, and I'm strong, and you suck. Yep, adds up. All right. We have beat everybody. At least here, I think. I honestly don't really know. <laughs> what is that? How do you think those crystals are on the bottom of her dress? Me? Lose again? My pride will not stand for it. Here, take this thing. Okay. Bye, lady. Goodbye. Did I even use a single healing item in that battle? I think it's more so because I forgot that I had them, but, um, anyways. It's here! Wait! Hold on one second, chat. Unboxing time. Oops. 
By the way, my front door is unlocked, so anybody could have just walked into my house. So that's good to know. Nice. Chad, there will be a bonus to today's stream. For I have a new Elgato. And cables, which, you know what, I'm gonna be honest, I am surprised that for a refurbished one, they actually included that. But we will, to my surprise, play Emerald today. For about, oh, no we're not! We're not. Actually, I guess we could. We could play Emerald. Um, anyways. Technically, you don't play Emerald to unlock that, so. I have a book to return? Oh, don't worry about it, Chad. I'm gonna go, like, in once I'm done streaming at, like, 11. Not to worry. Yeah, we're gonna play... Ruby. We're gonna play Ruby today, chat. Is this where I wanted to go? Or is it this way? Never mind, it's this way. What's on the made for the Ninja Creamy? I already used it today. Don't overdo it. That's chat, I promise I'm fine. I appreciate you looking out, but I'm I'm more than okay. I got a lot of free time this week, so I want to stream as much as I can. Okay, go this way. <laughs> Trust me, on these on these streams where I do like 10 hour benders every single day for a week, there are definitely middle streams where I'm like, all right guys, I'm gonna stream for three hours today, I'm going to bed and making up for it. So, not to worry. Oh, do I put him in here? There's a small red slot in the wall. Hmm. Green. Wow. Blue ball. GS ball. Ah! Whoa, stop right there! <laughs> you like that? Okay, another person before what I assume to be a really big battle. I do not know. Bug. Uh, so it's a cool game. It's very fun. <clears throat> now, this time I'm going to stream for a long time. Chat, I'm losing my voice. That's what I get. It's the price I pay. Cool. Ooh. This actually is probably insane, isn't it? What is your catch rate? Forty. I know it's 45, but... Sleepy time. I'm gonna just gonna stomp it. Okay, I'm already at 20%. With this hit, it's gonna go probably down a third, which will put me at about 
34. Right? Wow, that did not as much. Okay. 28. Um, I guess there's really no point, but... Let's see. One ball? Is that all I need? Still a good chance. 30%, 27%? Nope. Absolutely not. Yay. In the ball, please. Oh, what? Okay. Don't wake up, please. No! Oh, that's fine. I'll catch you while you're awake. Don't think I won't. I have a good chance. Okay. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Wow. Bad day for hair cross. I mentioned this earlier, I'm gonna try my best to get up this VOD, because we don't have a VOD channel on YouTube. I'm gonna try and get this VOD up tomorrow at a convenient time, but I do have to put both of these videos together and then render out the entire thing. I'll leave that on overnight. I can't promise it's gonna be, like, out at the time I normally put it out, which is like 11 a.m. my time. But I'm gonna try. What is going on with the screen? Why is it, like, half black was it was i caught in the middle of a transition that was weird okay wait come on hair cross i know you can do it you can be in the ball we're all big fans of you. We love you. We want you on the team. You look strong. You look cool. You look bright. We tricked him. So I think it's fair to say, chat, I will be done with this entire game tomorrow. And then after we do that, um, I will, we'll jump back into Emerald. We'll be on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be a Johnstone live video. Cause I think there's a lot of fun moments. A lot of funny little bits. I've been saying this for quite a while. I've been wanting to add videos to Johnstone live that are similar to my main channel. It's just that they're not the, um, I just don't think that they would fit as a full-on video for my main channel, so. That's what I thought. I don't know how long the video is going to be. It's probably going to be like 50 minutes long. 
because we, we it's playing across like 30 hours. But it's just gonna be about catching all the shadow Pokemon in this game. So if you do like my main channel videos, it should be very similar, except it's gonna be more, it'll still have the, you know, like I do my on my main channel, I do like the little pop-in stuff where I like talk right like in my office. It's gonna be a lot of that, but a lot less of the voiceover stuff. It's gonna be a lot of like highlight-esque. It's gonna be kind of a 50-50 split. Um, I have to go back to heal, that's so annoying. They really tried to milk the length of this by making it as convoluted as possible <laughs> to, get, to get through. Watch six cutscenes to get back. More weekend TTS? No, you're free to. Don't worry. We can make a new side lore that's not related to the game at all. We can just do the witch. And the witch can just act like she's haunting us the entire time we're playing for the rest of the game. You guys don't know about the witch? You haven't heard? Legend has it that there's a witch in this region. And every 500 years, the witch comes back. And believe it or not, this year is the 500th year. But surely, surely it's just a story, right? It's just a st Guys, don't be scared. It's a story. Mm. Oh. <laughs> is that the witch? Did the witch just email me? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Shadow Pokemon list! Net from the under. Kion! I did it! I analyzed the data ROM and managed to extract a partial list of Shadow Pokemon. For the time being, I've identified 29 Shadow Pokemon. There appear to be more, so I'll send updates when I find them. Which I would like to note, is that not just everything that I've captured? <laughs> Because as you can see... Oh, right, because these are the Pokemon that I... Right, those are the ones, the new ones that you added. I understand what you're saying. Gotcha. Cool. That is a nice... That's a silly way to find out about Metagross. Hello, John. It is me, Egan. I heard there was a witch about. You have to be careful. If you see the witch, make sure to... I don't I don't like this game. I don't I don't like that you are so cryptic. It makes it makes this this much harder for me to get through this game. Oh god, that's not good. Now what do we do? Mmm. You're the thousands get to enter Realgum Tower since it's opening. Yeah, like as if. <laughs> it's such a 2000s phrase. We just opened today, so that's not likely. Okay. Well, great. Oh, I like this bow background. Oh! Wow. All right, Boingo, do your work. Actually, yeah, wait, that's a great combo. Done. Ah, that's bad. Any specific reason why Raikou and Entei are nicknamed, but the rest of the party are? Because they speak for themselves. I don't need to nickname them. Boingo, you wouldn't know about Boingo. Actually, no, I think really the reality is that Boingo is a better name than Jumpluff. 
You can't make a better name than Entei. Maybe you can. I don't know. I really don't even get what Entei is now that I genuinely think about it. What does what does Entei mean? <laughs> ah! You focus punch? You focus punch. Blazing King. I didn't know he was chill like that. Lombre. Cool. What is he what is he doing? Is he making a summoning circle? Yep, looks like it. That's the witch. <laughs> the cousin of the witch. <laughs> I don't gotta watch, I am getting eepy. You would say that we're like, Pretty close to finishing though, right? I'm pretty close to the end. I'm not saying like it's the next battle, but like we're we're getting we're creeping up. Hi Vandy. Vandy, you're a big fan of this game, right? Post game? Uh that's gonna be tomorrow. Pretty sure this is the last battle. Yeah, I can tell it's the last one because we're fighting a Lombre. Close, but the final fight is over level 60. With Boingo, that doesn't matter. I didn't mean to rain dance, but that's fine. 8 to 15 battles left. You're like that person who was like, you're between the ages of uh, 18 and 55. I don't think you have to do literally every Gen 3 game, right? I'm pretty sure you just need Emerald XD, Coliseum, and Leaf Green. No. Unfortunately. No. You need Fire Red for some of them. You need Coliseum Tech... Well, you don't need it twice, but I'm doing it twice. You need the bonus discs. Uh, you need Japanese Emerald. You need Japanese Ruby or Sapphire. Uh, hold on. <laughs> you need Sapphire or Ruby, regular English Ruby or Sapphire. I think that covers it. I'm pretty sure that's the rest of it. If you want to do it as legit as you possibly can. What are the language differences for the mythicals? Um, Mew and Celebi are Japan only. Jirachi is US. I bet it made you happy when you when I said you were the thousandth guest. Isn't that right? <laughs> yep. That was it. You were correct. Um, I, do I need to heal? I'll be honest, I don't really think I need to. Tricked you. <laughs> Oh. oh boy, large man, big man's back. You doing palm egg stuff? Nope, I'm not. No sir. No glitches, no exploits. With the exception of Pokemon that I just legitimately cannot get in any shape or form.
and even at that point, which is, this is actually a really cool thing about Gen 3, is every single Pokemon can be obtained in game without like a, um, like you have to do an event to complete them, which I really like. It's not like Gen 6. If I were to do a Gen 6 national dex, I would have to inject like Volcanion and stuff like that. Um, I do have to inject the event, but that doesn't, it's, it's, you know, it's still an exploit, but it's like in the same way, that's the only way I can do it. You know what I mean? I still want to showcase it because I think it's cool to show off, right? You don't need to do it to complete it, but I would like to. Mew and Deoxys, both events, yeah. And thankfully, those are the only ones aside from the Eon ticket, but that actually was like fine. Because that was a it was an Eon ticket transfer, which I I was uh that was a little bit of a trial and error, I'm not gonna lie to you, but that was still cool because it was cool to show it off. I think it's a better way to show it off rather than swiping the Eon ticket. Because everybody knows about the Eon ticket. But a lot of people don't know you can transfer the Eon ticket to other people. Bonk. I think it's fair to inject the event because finding a save with the old C map. Uh, because good luck finding a save with the old C map. Chat, um, I brought this up a couple days ago. I, to my knowledge, have a legitimate C map emerald. Um which, you know, like I I've kind of debunked it a little bit to see if it's real or not. And it's hard to like 100% verify, but it seems very likely that it's legitimate. Yeah, it was Japan only. Um the reason why I believe that it is is because they had the old C map it was the only event that was on the cartridge, uh, and they only—they were—they didn't even have Roxanne defeated. So you, and to order to find out if the C map actually works, because you can you can put the item in the game through like action replay or whatever, but it won't work because it's not activated. The the map does nothing. It's the injection to which you then receive the map to then it working, right? Um, and so I played through the entire game until I reached Lily Cove and it let me go to, um, Faraway Island. And in my head, could it still be fake? Sure. Sure. But if you're going to inject events, would you not do all of them? That's like my only rationale for like why it could be legit. At the end of the day, there's no way I can prove that because there's no like, um, date and time in, in the, the GBA games, in terms of like when you redeem stuff. Um, but like, if you're gonna do that, you're, you're gonna do the Eon ticket, you're gonna do uh, the Birth Island. So. What's going on, PJ? How you doing? Oldest viewer ever. Like actually no meme. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, PJ. Okay, I gotta go back and heal again. Wait. I bring this up every time PJ is in my chat. Um, PJ has been subscribed to me since uh, I had like 50 subs. Like, they're not, I'm not even joking. They are the, one of the first subs I've ever had. With proof. Because I used to reply to um, PJ's comments in my chat. Or not in my chat, but in my uh, videos. Chat, what sub number are you? <laughs> Which one are you? Type your number now. Let's go into Raikou. Six for sure. Yep. <laughs> we go. We go that far back. 
That's for sure. Why is everyone called the beast from Gen 2 dogs? Um, you have to consider back in like 2000, getting direct information was not very easy. So, a lot of like third party books would say that. They would say like they would call them cats or dogs. It was only really until uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver that they would actually call them beasts. I think. That was like the first time they actually, uh, Game Freak actually called them beasts, right? They're just seen as legendary Pokemon for the longest time. It is also crazy. Maybe I just haven't been reading enough. I feel like I've read a lot of this game in comparison to most games. They really don't clarify why they have the legendary beasts. Like what, how did they get hold of them? Where did they come from? <laughs> I just found them. Okay. I thought rain was up. That was a little bit of an oopsie on my end. I also have a Japanese Emerald with the Olsi map, but I don't know if it was hacked or not and if it works. So the way that you can check is if you go to Lily Cove. If they don't say anything to you, then it's fake. That's what I looked up. It's kind of like, there's not a lot of research. I will know that now you can, they have like the ability to inject events. There was like some, I think it was in 2021 or, or 2022, there was somebody who remade every single event. So it's now harder to prove that they're real or not. Um, but that's cool. For preservation purposes, that's amazing to be able to do it the same way. Think of like um, Diamond and Pearl. You can still get all those events because they have like a um, a way to inject them in. For a while, they just didn't have that. Yeah, the e-reader cards also are, are a huge, huge help. Huge help. But that also is really new. Custom ones, at least. I have a fan-made event card I got for my birthday. Oh, that's pretty neat. You know what would be a sick, like, convention side hustle? Is doing that. Making, like, don't steal. Don't steal the events that people have made and sell them for profit. If you made your own events and then sold e-reader cards with the events at, like, conventions, I f you would sell out instantly. I feel like now telling you that information, the people who are are not nice are just gonna now steal the ones that are currently existing, but I told them not to do that. Let it be known. Clear my blame first before they do something wrong. Also sourcing a lot of e-readers may be a little tough. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a little bit tedious. Relic Cypher, thanks for the 23 months of Prime. Use your Prime Gaming sub. Chat, I I implore you, big words today, to use your Prime Gaming sub. If you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you get ad-free viewing for an entire month. And let me tell you, chat, I'm going to be a busy boy. I'm going to be a busy boy this month. So if you're watching me, let it be known. Give the opportunity for no ads. Uh, can I... I think if I fight you... I think if I fight you, I just had to fight you, right? The lady at the reception desk will battle you if you talk to her. Well, let's not. Problem solved. They go for like $15 to $25 on eBay. Um, The Japanese ones do, yeah. The English ones go for about 50. And I believe that they are locked. 
They're either the cards are locked to the region or the games that you you use them on are locked to the region. It's one or the other. I don't remember entirely which one it is, but. Bye, Storm. Thank you for helping out. I appreciate it. Wait, can I go up here? It's me, Silva. I snuck in here under disguise. That's not important, though. The worst of the cipher boss is waiting for both of you at the top of the tower. Oh, my God. And he's got a gun. And he armed a bomb. I'm standing on the bomb. Wait a second. So I can just go up? I'm confused. Oh, I understand. Okay, so we go over here and there should be somebody here. I didn't really think about that. Is it? No, I guess not. Apparently there's somebody in the casino that I was supposed to be fighting. I'm gonna heal, so I can look. It's another cipher. You standing in front of the elevator? No, no, no. Nar, thank you for the prime. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We don't want to fight him anyways. <laughs> Never mind. Coliseum OST is tough to listen to. It's only been the under. That's my thought. Jamie, you couldn't do something like this for Gen 4. No 3D games. I mean, yes, but in a, in a way, no. <laughs> Because Battle Revolution actually does have Pokemon you can get from it. You can get uh, Surfing Pikachu. You can get Electivire. You can get Magmortar. I think that's it. It doesn't have a story? <laughs> well, it depends on what you define a story. No, it doesn't. Was stream Battle Revolution? No, it's it's like four hours of gameplay. Genuinely, it is it is pretty much like four to five hours, with the exception of the rematches that you can do, where you fight this guy who has like a whole squad of legendaries. That's pretty crazy. Oh my god, you finally reached me. I must say that I'm impressed, John and wife. I welcome you to the Real Gum Tower. My name is Nasgor. Do you remember the time we went and met in Phoenix City? I do have the feeling that I would one day face you in battle, but I never imagined they'd be the one to seek me out here. Very soon, we'll be ready to greet your arrival in style. I'll go ahead and wait for you. I would also just like to note as a as a little side piece, is there's no wind. We are inside. None. What? <laughs> is this is like a new hair product? Is he? Is that uh, is that L'Oreal that you put in your hair today? It's like I'm looking at a commercial. Evil wind. Surely. Oh, look at that! John, quick! We had to chase him! Why didn't you say that while he was running? What's in here? Ah, mm, 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 mm. uh, I don't I don't think I wanna do that. It is me, Nascar, the ultimate life form. You can tell by the way my hair blows in a non-extent wind. 
I can't make that voice. Uh, okay, so I can avoid them if I don't want to. You know what? Nah. I'm gonna heal, or I'm gonna save first. That way, if I lose, I at least show up here. That was not Shadow? How is that not Shadow? Thanks for 300, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Boingo stays on top. It's not what I meant by that, but hopefully you understand. He looks gross. NASCAR's battle theme is a wild one. I don't remember it. <laughs> so that'll be a treat. Is it annoying? Is it like the under? You'll see. Oh boy. I just know that it's hard. I know that the final battle is going to be hard. You guys have been saying that the entire time. You say, John, you need to grind. You need to be prepared. No. No, I don't. I've got Boingo. One thing I did notice about this area, it looks like nothing has any shading to it. Everything feels really flat. Like look at look at Vigoroth. It is like so flat. That blue hedgehog again of all places. Thanks for 300. Is Boingo going to the top of Mount Battle? I mean it can, yeah. Why not? I think what I'll do, mm, no, I actually can't, Never mind. I was gonna say I would do Mount Battle tonight on my own, like off stream. Uh, he just, I don't understand why they disintegrate. What is this photo? What is that photo? Is it a Snorlax? Is it a sleeping Blastoise? Like the other one was, it's Flaffy? Slacking? I can't interact with it. All right, well, we'll leave that up to interpretation. It's art. Sure. <laughs> 35 Pokemon, that means that we have 13 Pokemon left to collect. Obviously we have to purify them, but by tomorrow, I should have, we'll say like 12 more purified. He's gone, what should we do? How about over that way? Where? Is there another? Oh, there was not another. Okay, excuse me. Okay, can't go backwards on that one. So now what? Uh oh. Oh, big man! <laughs> what is this mustache? Let me, let me cook up an, uh, a little voice for him. <laughs> oh, long time no see! Okay, I feel like that probably is a really bad voice. I don't know really what it was doing, but it didn't feel right, so we're not gonna do that anymore. You're not going to break my heart and tell me you forgot my face. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should do Wario. It's a little bit more safe, don't you think? Even if you don't want to believe it, you're absolutely right. Nah. I don't. Is that what he sounds like? Is that what Waluigi sounds like? I'm Gonzop, the boss of Team Snagum. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Did you ask what I'm doing here? Yes. Is this Cypher Headquarters? Team Stagum shouldn't have anything to do with this. Hey, hey, well, surprise, surprise! We do have a lot to do with this, Missy. <laughs> 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 
We were just thieves before and we got hold of the snag machines. And where do we get them? From Cypher. Wah! He's got the skeleton. No, it's not the skeleton voice. The skeleton voice is deeper. It's like, Mah! it's very close. It's very similar. There's a lot of inspiration, Charles Martinet. We know what you did. What they wanted was this. Go snag superior grade Pokemon from trainers everywhere. What? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like skipping words. It adds more content. All right. Now we fight you. Guns up. Oh, you don't even get a, we had all this dialogue. You don't even get a special voice or well, you, you had a special voice. You didn't get a special like song. Gone zap. That must mean he's going to face the electric chair when we beat him and arrest him. Surely. It's foreshadowing. Pincer's cool. Um, Sleep powder on... Yeah, we're going to do that. Aurora beam. Actually, no, I'm going to rain dance. I'm going to rain dance and dunk on you guys. No fake out on Hariyama is kind of weird. It is kind of cool that the Pokemon that you fight in these battles is, for the most part, random. Obviously, the Shadow Pokemon is the last Pokemon that they give you, but the start of every single battle is different. And you, if you don't look it up, you just kind of like go into it. I, I look over the team and I'm like, okay, what should I leave? What's like a general good lead? Um, but it is pretty neat that it can be different almost every time. Okay, this Surf should do some pretty crazy damage, too. It amazes me that the GameCube Pokemon animations look better than the Switch ones. This is going to be a really hot take, chat, but... I think for every good animation that's in this game, there's an equally bad one. And a lot of the Switch ones just go under the rug because people just don't pay attention. Like, Tail Whip is still not good in this game. And that's a pretty frequent move in the beginning when you're fighting like Zigzagoon. I don't think people are saying that it graphically the animations look better. I think they're more so saying that the the effort of effect is better. And I can agree with that to an extent, for sure. It is better in some ways, but it's not like, not everything is better. <laughs> the bad ones look more alive. Oh, the Pokemon look more alive. Mm, some, some. Pinsir looks exactly the same. It is the same movement of... Pinsir's doing the same thing in Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> or whatever, we'll get, is it even in Scarlet and Violet? Sword and Shield. It's doing the same thing it's doing in Sword and Shield. Um, Mega Drain. Surf. Do I want to surf again? Yeah, honestly, I'll run it. Because you're going to send out... I know what you're going to send out. I'm not saying it. I'm not spoiling it. Bonk. I assume Crawdon's going to hit me. Shift tree. <laughs> He's really scary <laughs> looking in this game. <laughs> Not all models are better, chat. It looks really creepy. Creepy isn't necessarily good.
My Wii just went. If my Wii breaks by the time we get through this, I will be very upset. Oh, it's also raining. That's going to make things kind of annoying. It is really funny that I accidentally overleveled Jump Bluff. Skarmory. Sick. And another Shadow Pokemon. Burn? Yeah, Skarmory, this is a great example. Skarmory does look better in this. I will say they did improve it in Scarlet and Violet. It does also walk. Not in a lot of scenarios, but it does also walk. Um, sleep. Beep. Oh. Do you talk to Lost Mac for his ace being Skarmory? That's great. One. Two. Skarmory is actually sick. Skarmory is a defensive giant. Will it beat any of my team? No. Not even a little bit. But it's Chonk and it's set up city. Catch rate is also not going to be great. Skarmory. Asleep in a great ball at. Half health is 12%. I don't want to fire blast, even though I'm, I'm like really confident that it would live that. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Spark is still going to do a lot. Mm, wow, yeah, this is actually not great. At full health, asleep in a great ball, it's 5%. Is it not sturdy? Sturdy doesn't work that way in this gen. Even if it did have it. And I also already hit it. Mm, I did save. I did save. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap into Raikou and we're gonna go for Spark. It's gonna be super effective and it's probably gonna deal a lot of damage, but I, I genuinely think that Skarmory can eat. Especially at my level, I'm 45. That's not good. I'll go into Stantler and try to put to sleep. Yeah, chat, I'm 45. Yeah. <laughs> really brought Noctowl along for the ride. That's actually kind of helpful. Steel wings reduced. How much does this do? Oh! <gasps> what? Sleep! No! Don't shadow rush! Okay, wait. Hold on, chat. Okay, just don't miss. Don't miss, please. Okay, awake. We're we're good for timer balls. Let me do a little little calc here. Timer ball. After we're gonna say it's been about 15 turns. I think that's fair. So at minimum, it's gonna do it's a 15% chance. So we'll simply just catch it. If I don't, I put sleep and it goes to 30. Come on, baby. 
Show me that good luck. I've made it this far without failing a single Pokemon. Please. That's not good. No. Okay, wait, no, we have another try. We have another try. We have another try. We have another try. Have another try. I really want to try making through this game without failing a single one on the first try. And by failing, knocking it out. I want to clarify. Come on, sleepy. Yes, sir! Okay, we got a 30% chance. So I, I've got at least like two turns that I can try and catch it. And I've, I, I would like to think that seems pretty feasible. Woo, I almost attacked. I almost attacked. That would have been so bad. Uh, I'm just going to call. Yeah, Tire Balls do take 40 turns. Yeah. However, currently it's better than Ultra Ball. Wow, you have Early Bird. I think you have Early Bird. Does it? No. Keen Eye and Sturdy. Okay. <laughs> Man, we're getting getting a little dicey here, chat. Please. In the ball. In the ball. Don't you dare wake up. Don't you wake up. Okay. I'm gonna have to go back and get more timer balls. Come on, Skarmory, you can do it. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'd ever say this. We are over odds on catching Skarmory. It's like a shiny hunt. It's literally a one out of three chance. Skarmory, I didn't want to say this, but I love you. I want to I want you on the team. Okay, 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 okay. No, you're so tired. Oh, <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. You won't, this is, okay. Skarmory, uh, you need some training. You desperately need some training because you have woken up twice to miss a steel wing in a row. That is not good training. You have a bad trainer. I have one timer ball left. I think this is like a five or six percent chance. Hello, Trimmer. Bon zap, ya vos tu j'ai to still me, but for few minutes nap and do not understand why. What what was that? Chat, I don't I don't speak French. Were those instructions on how to win? Come on, Skarmory! That's my dog! That's my dog! That's my dog! That's my dog! 
My goat! No! Okay. Ultra Ball at 1 HP is currently 23.416%. Type that in, type that in. Type it in your calculators. 23.416%. That's all we need. We know what the odds are, so we can't fail. Chat, you're not typing it enough. You have not calculated enough. No. No! <laughs> there is... There is no way you missed that many times! What is going on with you? You poor baby! That was crazy! You missing the steel winds or me letting hypnosis every turn! Oh my god, you are so not accurate! There's a 10% chance. The limit does not exist. Stantler, you are, you are now the current GOAT. <laughs> this battle is dragged on so long. Bestie ball? Chad, I, dare I ask, is this bestie? It's a 12.33% chance. I say we throw one more Ultra Ball and then we, we, get on, we get to our bestie game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Skyrim, please take the hint, please. If you can't tell, we really want you. Do I have a six pack? No. I, okay, I know, I know that's sometimes a deal breaker. I get it. But listen, maybe I'm more than a six pack. Maybe I'm more affectionate than he is. Maybe I don't have the stash. John Stone, you must use the Chaos Emeralds. It is the only way to catch the Skarmory. And as we know, the Chaos Emeralds are stored inside <laughs> the Master Ball. <laughs> bestie, the Bestie Ball. Observe the bestie ball. This is the one. We've waited on this. Our bestie. That's not my bestie. That's not my bestie. Oh, right, sorry, sorry, my, my bad, I forgot. Chad, if we all, I want you to all be big men. I want you to walk to victory. Johnston, yay, less than three, Johnston, seven. Keep walking, don't be deterred. I am a big man. Yes, absolutely. Maybe we need to run. I agree. That's it, baby. You ran right to the finish line. My God, that took, <laughs> maybe we'll check in the time on how long that took. My goodness. That was, that was painful. <laughs> that was actually painful to get through. <sighs> Where were we? Um. Hold on, chat. Let me read donuts because <laughs> we think that was literally like a 15 minute battle for one Pokemon that I might have not even got. 
Uh, what up, Dan? Thanks for the Prime, I appreciate it. Now, thanks for the 26 months. Oh, I'm sorry, this was what it said in French. Hello, John, it's me, Gonza. <laughs> I have watched you try to steal my bird for five minutes now and do not understand why. <laughs> yes, of course! Of course, Gonzap. I'm sorry, but I needed it. Octod, thanks for the 34 months. Salty, thanks for the 300. Pat, thanks for the 46. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for the five gifted. Hope you're doing well. Um, Lecram, thank you for the 42 months. I've always wanted to hear Obama say, I am big man. So if you got to give sub, please say, thanks. What do you say, John? I'm not doing the voice anymore, by the way. I, I'm, I'm burnt. <laughs> Why don't you and me just team up again, just like old times? Oh, he's our friend? Wait, okay, that changes everything. Wait a second, chat. That changes literally everything. We just robbed our friend. That seems a little bit messed up. He's your old boss? That's still kind of messed up. You, me, and the snag machine. <laughs> what's this, this Scooby-Doo? All right, everybody, let's hop in the snag machine. <laughs> Just chucking Pokeballs out the window, catching everybody's Pokemon. We can do whatever we please. The world will be ours. Now, in the hypothetical scenario, what if I choose yes? Credits? Let's run it. Hmm, I can tell you're just joshing me. Why is it, this game is already like evil. Why didn't they just be like, sick, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I wanted him to be my husband. I would get rid of wife for him. There's no go back, going back for you now. Get going. As he moves to the side and lets us pass. Okay, chat, we actually need to like really, 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 really move in to getting bulls. I'm gonna save. This Skarmory has to be shiny. There's no realm it went through that much effort to not be shiny. <laughs> Loading, I've never seen that. Loading. It's, well, you know, to be honest, I don't really know. Level 47 is pretty, pretty high. Actually, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add it. One second, chat. You ever play a sequel to this? Um, no. So that's gonna be fun. That'll probably be next week, chat. Well, no, it'll probably be the end of this week. Wait, so do how far do I have to go to get more balls? I really have to like actually travel. <laughs> There's no place I can buy balls on the way. Like I actually have to. Oh, that's so annoying. You might as well switch out Bert. I'll add Skarmory. I just need to buy more timer balls. I might buy a revive if I need one. Oh, right. Fluffy, thanks for the prime. Um, hmm. I need a lot of balls. So many that I want people to look and say, wow, I've never seen so many balls on a man. Which is a lot, like a lot of them. There's no about the Master Ball glitch. The what, guys? 
I have 24k. Wow, that is so little. I'm going to use the Master Ball on, on Metagross. I now understand what you're saying, yeah, because the next section is going to be really difficult. And you really don't have a lot of money. Wow. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I don't have any vitamins. Yeah, chat, I'm aware that I can use the Master Ball, but that isn't fun to me. Kind of cheesing my way, especially at the end of the game when it's like the most intense and just like cheesing and catching everything with no effort doesn't really make it enjoyable. Let's be honest. We don't need that. We don't. Let me just look at the remaining list of shadows that I need to catch. For the most part, they seem pretty easy. Like they don't, aside from the, I have to fight Tyranitar. That understandably is gonna be a little bit annoying. But even that's a 45 catch rate. Like Miltank is I think harder to catch and spoiler, we had to catch Miltank. Titar is a 10 catch rate. Well, fantastic, everybody. We're screwed. So let's buy. It is kind of crazy you don't get any money from fighting in Mount Battle. Master Ball on T-Tar is morally the correct choice. Let me just do a quick calc. No. Hard disagree. In a Great Ball, a sleep in the red is a 12% chance. Versus Metagross? Metagross is easier to catch than Tyranitar. Oh. Well, I guess that makes more sense then. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Well, good to know. Then yeah, I'll do that. Or would it be more hype? Hmm. It would be more hype to use the Master Ball in that battle, right? Um... Let's just see where we're at after all of these battles that we have to do. Why am I here? <laughs> Why am I here? Save it for Shadow Lugia. That's actually a good point. Did I check off Skarmory? I think I did, right? Yeah, I did. Hey chat, friendly reminder. Link your Amazon account to your Twitch account. If you're not following the stream already, I would appreciate it greatly. We're reaching the end of the game. I would appreciate it. It does help. Oh, chat, give me one second. I'll be right back. I gotta feed little mans.
Hongi boys. Captain Galaxy, thanks for the prime. I also need lip balm. My, I'm so chapped right now. And I'm running out of goo. Better save that master ball for me. Cuss my smurgle isn't going down without a fight. He'll spin kick you and give you a Biden blast. You won't give me a Biden blast because I can bite and blast so much harder than you can. There's no chance you can do it. I'm the champ. I can save here, right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I can. You're really good at impressions. Wait till I say balls. That will change everything. This is the place, right? Shadow Togetic? So here is the thing, is I'm, I'm really not thinking about the actual catch rates in this game, because I just assume that they are the way that they are normally. Because Togetic is, I believe, like 60. Right? Something like that. Is, are those screams of help or screams of okay there's we're just now in a battle okay <laughs> here we are guys we're here we've done it yeah we're in the big championship yeah. what kept you john i was worried that perhaps gonzap had beaten you the time has come for you to pay off some debts. It's the tax man. We'll have you battle with payment towards the huge losses you inflicted on us. I expect to see spectacular battling out of you. Okay. I can do that. <gasps> Large woman. A big crowd like this, it's a little intimidating. I don't want to be embarrassed here, so I'll battle to win. I'll bail the wheel. on. Joe Maz. Wow, that's like a combo. That's a combo D's nuts. Joe Mama and Ma Balls. Milk! Why does the cow move like that? Shadow Pokemon. Hey John, someone with a username uh, similar to your Twitch account is messaging me on Discord. I'm guessing not actually you since you're live. Uh, chat, I will never message you. I don't know you. Don't get scammed. Never, I, unless I say explicitly, hey guys, I'm messaging you in stream, I will literally never message you because that's weird. <laughs> Stay safe. Box. Hey, Dom. Look at this surf. Look at this beast surf. Low 45 is kind of crazy. I, I am a little bit worried. What is Miltank's catch rate? Oh, wow. This thing is going to be easy to get. CP, yeah. Have you played it, Dom? I'm jumping into XD at the end of this week and I am like, I have no, there's no knowledge in my brain, it's empty.
Why isn't Miltank and Scarlet and Violet? I believe that there's, they said in a press release that they're saving all of the baddies for the next game. Their words, not mine. Uh, oh yeah, I still have Burt. <laughs> Slight oversight. We're not gonna dismiss though. Burt is still the GOAT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a great ball at this one because I think that I actually have the ability to, to do that without failing. And then I'm going to Aurora Beam Porygon. First try, all right, cool. Milk. I really should have added Skarmory to my team, if I'm being honest. That was an oversight. That is way easier to catch in this game than the regular games. You have another Pokemon, right? I think. Take down. Oh, right, Zangoose, you sent it out. <laughs> Sorry. My bad, my bad. So, gameplay of chat is once I. Hopefully, I'm strong enough to beat the game. Because we're almost done. And then after, we will do a little bonus content. And that'll probably do it for stream. Because, uh,. Despite what it says, I've been live uh, for about nine hours. Maybe, no, it's actually been about 10. I've been alive for about 10 hours. I'm doing it! Full-time streaming. I've actually now worked a full 40 hour work week. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Nice, okay, so we should knock out both of them, I think. Metagross looks, as long as I can bring down its HP, that's really the huge concern. It's just dangerous, because I don't want to fail. Hey, John, I know you work 40 hours this week, but can you cover my shift at Papa John's? Um, is it a morning or a night shift? That really depends. Okay, one down. That wasn't supposed to happen. Which Battle Revolution had progressive story mode? We were talking about that earlier, how, how Battle Revolution is, is just about five hours of battling. That's all it is. And then, uh, what's the guy's name? Miss, 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 Mystical? Miss, Something. There's just a guy in a hat <laughs> that shows up and he looks like a magician. <laughs> He's like, I have legendaries. There's no context whatsoever. He just shows up. You can't beat me. And he sends out a Mewtwo and a Kyogre. Is it actually Magic Man? I refuse to believe that. Also, did I get healed? Because if I didn't, there's no realm that I win this, considering I have to fight six people. Oh, I get healed. Yeah. Sorry to punch my mic. Are you okay? Are you good? Okay. That's sick. Um, that seems not fun to catch, though. Should I call it Matt? Mr. Blogs Gaming. Okay, it's actually not that bad. It's not terrible. I'm really trying to ride out the Great Balls as much as I can. Wait, no, I'm not healed. Oh, wait. Now, what happens if I if I lose? Man, money, you need so much money in this game. I didn't even think about that. You want to do the four, first four back to back? 
gives you a checkpoint if you die on battle five. Now that's actually, I'm, you know what, Chad? I'm mad now. That actually makes me so mad. <sighs> Good damage. Makes me want to just hit something. Ooh, makes me mad. Okay, bird's dead. That makes me even more mad. We're punching holes in the walls tonight, chat. We're making this look like a, a boy's room. <laughs> Proper boy's room. I feel like that's a women's rite of passage to go over to a guy's house and they'll they'll show them the hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah, I just got real I just got real mad one time, dude. It was, it was, okay, so it was a crazy party. My ex, she came over to the party, but we didn't invite her. And, was, and she started like hanging out with some guys and it made me really mad. So I punched a hole in the wall because I didn't want to punch them. That's the hole in the wall. We can kiss now if you want. If you want, it's cool. It's up to you. I'm chilling no matter what. <laughs> it's a true John story. Yeah, that happened. That was real life. That was a page out of the lore book. Hey, why don't I just catch it? All right, I'm going. Yep, we're losing. We are losing big time. There's no way I can make it to five. Because I, I don't know if I really mentioned this. There are um, six shadow Pokemon we need to catch in a row. That is not necessarily feasible. Part of me just actually wants to lose right now. Why did I do that when I could have thrown a ball? At Absol's current health, it's about a almost a 20% chance of getting in the ball. Which is not good. Sharpedo is also, I think we just lose to that anyways. Sick. Post your favorite rat. Really need that motivation today. Nice. You have Bert. Bert's a great rat. Flinch, nice. <laughs> These swords dances are not nice. Oh, wait, you didn't swords dance. You s killed. That's different. I'm fine with losing. It's fine. If we had to do this one by one, we do it one by one. That's A-OK -okay with me. Catching you would be nice, though. That was, like, the longest animation. <laughs> really had to think about what we did wrong.
Okay, if I were to throw a timer ball, just one, one singular, one little teeny tiny, it's 30%. I'll take those odds. I'm a gambling man. 30%, come on, baby. Oh, we take those. All right, we definitely, it doesn't actually matter if we win or lose. I'm fine with losing right now because we just have to do those battles over anyway, so. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna throw. Cause what, what's the point? Oh, I can't check it off cause I already caught Absol in Emerald. I forgot about the bit where I caught Absol and I named it Absol. Rats. I'm not stupid, guys. Okay, I'm kind of stupid. I'm not like that stupid. Wait, you have a beak? What? That's so sick. I think I'm just gonna stay in with... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. Why don't I just run like the GOAT team? Boingo is great. But if I just set up, sweep everything, then I'm good. Because this setup is so cracked. Because sweep... Uh, because Raikou is faster than Suicune. So Raikou sets up the rain dance, and then Suicune next on the move list goes for Surf. And especially with the ones that we fight, that is like a really insane combination. I can't see that going poorly, just looking at what I fight. Okay, may maybe never mind. Maybe it's a little bit hard, but that's fine. It's not important. <clears throat> Whoever said I had an hour left of this game, they kind of lied. Because that was about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> this alone will be another hour. Sorry, I was messing with my mic. I won't do it again. I won't do I'm sorry, guys. Wait, you have an explode now? Yeah, I know, I know. I, I know the XC is like ridiculous. Oh, so instead of Porygon 2, you now have weird. Why'd you get rid of that? Oh. Wow, this is legitimately really difficult. <laughs> okay. Well, we're already set back. My GOAT team is no longer the GOAT. It's just a team. Instead of Miltank? But here's the thing, is we fought three Pokemon. It's Miltank, Porygon 2, and Zangoose. Oh, you replaced the Oh, I get it.
Now I use Boingo? Zangus had a heart attack like a middle-aged father. <laughs> oh, wow. Is probably gonna always do the water bird thing? Yeah, it's like, it's all thing. EP. Can we have? What is it? No, why? What happened to Gladge? You guys aren't Gladge anymore? go I'm so I'm gonna change it chat if my if my stream crashes by changing this that's not good but that might be the end of stream anyways <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna risk it today we're gonna risk it where is it where is the chat Okay, give it a shot. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Accidental power outage. So, Dom, I tried to uh, remove visibility on one source and it crashed. <laughs> this is my Pokedex counter. I just clicked it to make it disappear because it was bugging out and it just crashed the entire stream. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna really suck. I'm not gonna lie. I actually might grind. I don't want to, but I might grind off stream. Okay, Skarmory. I think Sneasel, yeah, I should attack Sneasel. Still burn yourself out? No, I'm fine, Chad, don't worry. Do not worry. I love what I do. But in the interest of you guys, I try and do stuff off stream that are really, that's like unnecessarily boring. And here's the reality. I do have to play this game tomorrow anyways. So. And I should, in theory, finish this game tomorrow. I think we're gonna use the Master Ball on T-Tar. It's harder to catch. I want at least one free one. Genuinely, Chad, I have no idea how you'd speedrun this game. It's mind blowing to me. This, it seems like the, the entirety of the game is just uncertainty. It's like, do I even have the capability to win this one battle? let alone 20 of them. No, T-Tar is actually harder in this game. We looked it up. <laughs> I think we genuinely have to go trial and error, battle after battle. 
knocking them out and catching Pokemon one one by one. So we have to fight this a lot, a lot. Somebody said when I first started they were gonna they were gonna calc what my Espeon was and my Croconaw, um, and they never said anything because I think that they noticed how bad it was and they didn't want to make me upset. <laughs> No, don't worry, John. It's it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, Shadow Rush is its own type, and it's like um, it's neutral on everything. And if I go, if you use Shadow Rush enough, you can activate Hyper Mode, which kind of like activates Disobedience. But if you use Shadow Rush, it has a really high critical hit ratio, so it's it's like kind of a Double-edged sword. You can be like my Shadow Noctowl, where I kept trying to make it use a fly while I was in hyper mode, and it said, Noctowl is not obeying you, and then it just goes for fly anyways. <laughs> Classic. I fly when I want to. Nice. So the, it seems like the next battle, the next battle is leading with a shadow Pokemon. Maybe. So I might be able to squeak my way through that battle. Um, I need to keep Boingo in good standings. Let me just do a quick calc for this one. Oops, I almost dropped my controller. Uh, yeah, how it's gonna be Houndoom. Spoiler, but that should be relatively easy to get. Do you guys like Wi-Fi? I'm more of a fan of Delan. I'll be hey guys. <laughs> I'll be here all week. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys next time. We keep those, we keep those funny ones coming. <laughs> yeah, listen. I did a little bit of thinking. I did a little bit of thinking. I think we can beat this Shadow Pokemon if we really try. We're gonna get serious. We must around here. What's that, what's that, uh, what's that intro to the, to the, to the Pokemon anime? The Gen 3 one, what is it? Born to be a hero? Born to be a champion? Born to be a winner? Pokemon. I believe at one point there was an oh, 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 I'm unbeatable, but that's not really important. That's a Gen 2 theme song? Perfect, here we are. Oh, wait, no, we're playing Gen 3. That's not important. Houndoom, I hope I can catch you because <laughs> my team is a little bit uh, damaged. EP. Yeah, baby. Boingo, boingo, boingo. If I just bonk it a little bit and it's asleep, it's a 30% chance. Whatever this does, we're probably looking good. Woo! That's really good. Okay. 34%. Whew, Skarmory is gone. <laughs> Actually, both of them are gone. What am I saying? I get one ball to catch it, because I have Entei. Actually, can Houndoom even really do anything? Probably not, right? Never give in, we'll never rest. Uh, I believe it's never give up, never what? I can't believe Boingo lived that. I didn't even notice that. 
Oh, it's never back down. Ah, oh, I forgot the meme. I'm sorry, guys. I'll just catch it. Don't worry. Okay. Boingo time. Boingo time. Boingo time. <laughs> you see the frames drop on that? There's a lot of post-processing. Or pre, or... Oh, I don't know. Either way. Don't, don't. Hound Doom. Okay, that's not good. Well. I'm trying to think how many turns it's been. It's really not been enough. What are my odds looking at? About 20%. On the upside, if I do catch this, we're halfway through all the shadow Pokemon for this section. Eh, actually, kinda. I don't really. A little bit. We do have the final battle, and I think that doesn't count. Okay. You're setting up. I really do wall this team, so. I should have, like, a couple more opportunities. Once I get poisoned, then that, that kind of seals the deal. <sighs> okay. Nice. If I use the Master Ball, I will straight up cry. Is that the bonus disc? I have both bonus discs. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Revival herbs. The issue is I have no money. I'm a broke boy in this video game. I have I have maybe five hundred dollars to my name. I don't live right. Don't you dare! Don't do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. We have one ball. We have one ball. Let me just. Let me just calc it. Okay. If I do a timer ball right now. It's a 20% chance. Ish. Yeah. They call me Timer Ball Tammy. Because I use the Timer Ball. Chat, dare I say, we bust out the OG strats. And by OG strats, the thing we just did for Skarmory. I'm running out of bits, I'm gonna be honest with you. We walk! It's a Skarmory only trick. I just really wanted to try it. Yeah, we got absolutely destroyed. I didn't even get a new Pokemon on this run through. <laughs> did I? Wait, no, I did get Absol. I did get Absol. My bad. So yeah, let me just check and see. How much money do I have? I have 33 hours of money. Okay, that's good to know. Actually though, how do I check my money? <laughs> oh, is it in my my uh, my PDA? My P star sign DA? I have 1100. So that's not good. Um, here is my game plan. As much as I really do want to beat the game, one, I've been live for 10, nearing 11 hours. I think what I'm going to do is tonight, I'm going to ha- I'm going to spend like, maybe an hour tonight, farming against the people that are in, um, Pyrite, so I can get money. 
And then I will also purify a bunch of Pokemon. Unfortunately, I have to walk out of here all the way out of Unless I can go that way. Unless I can just go down this way. Wait, that is how you get out. Never mind. Maybe I'll buy some of Poke Coupons and sell it. Okay. Yeah, because I uh, am not going to be alert tomorrow if I stream any longer than this, you know. So I would like to think that that's going to do it. I just want let me check the, the Poke Coupons first. And I know I said I would get Jirachi today. We're, we're just going to do that tomorrow. Um. I'll be alive at like 10 a.m. tomorrow. Something like that. Because how many coupons do you think I have? I've got to have like... 2k? I got 200, I got 800, and I got 100, but I, I didn't check for the other two times. So I assume it's 400 and 600. Um, I can go to Mount Battle. Let's see. It's all good, Star. Not to worry. I don't... Oh. Wait. Oh, so if you don't talk to that guy, you don't get your coupons? Or I just... I guess I don't have 1,500. It doesn't tell me how many I have. That's kind of annoying. Okay, well... Eleven hundred. Oh yeah, that means that if you don't talk to the guy, you don't get your coupons. Wow, that's what a dumb feature. <laughs> so every time that you beat, you have to talk to him. Okay. Well, um, I I think I should just rebattle in Pyrite Town, right? Just keep on fighting these same people over and over and over and over. Unless there's a better way I can make money. Maybe I can look it up. Yeah, like fight these people just repeatedly. These goofballs. Okay, chat. Yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, I doubt anybody's live. We realized that that's kind of a problem. Like yesterday when I'm ending stream at 10 p.m. And no one is streaming. Dom, you want to go live? <laughs> You're itching to stream? Point Crow's live. We can go raid him. Wait, Soldier Boy's live. He's playing Fortnite. That does change a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. That really does change a lot. It doesn't, actually. I lied. Um. Yeah. Oh, wait, Woofle's live. We can go raid Woofle. All right, chat. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow at like 10, 11 a.m. If you're not following already, I would, I would appreciate dropping a follow. Um, we reached 75K, which is pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, DZF, thank you for the prime. I'm sorry I didn't read that. I was a little invested. My bad. Um, but yeah, I'll be live tomorrow if you want to watch some large gaming. And we're going to beat the game and probably finish everything. So that's going to be super neat. And then we can go back to playing Emerald. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.